Oh, there we go. Everybody's going to be above average at worst, and they're going to be very good. All at right, best. welcome one, welcome all to the epic conclusion of the second trial by blood, North America's premier Chivalry 2 competitive duel tournament. My name is Beard Bandit, and I'm joined today by my good friend and Chivalry 2 enthusiast, Ziggy Lana. Left How's it going, buddy? Say hi, Ziggy, right parenthesis. <laughs> yeah, forgot that part of the script, <laughs> but we are both extremely excited today. The bracket's going to be made up of the best of the best of the dual community. All of our competitors today previously played through a series of three qualifiers in which the top eight of those qualifiers earned themselves a spot today in the competition. So win or lose, everybody who is competing today, you know, all the duelists on the grounds represent the absolute pinnacle of skill in the dual yard. And these competitors are not just fighting for their honor. Oh, no, of course not. The top three competitors will be taking home over a thousand dollars worth of cash prizes. So the stakes have never been higher, guys. Grab a seat, grab some refreshments, and get ready for the trial by blood. And this is going to be uh, a, a friggin' fantastic event. I'm so excited to be casting it with you, Ziggy. How, how, how are you feeling about tonight? I'm very excited. I've I've already been fighting a couple of people while just waiting, and yeah, people have been playing very well already. Oh yeah, oh yeah. People have been definitely keeping up on their toes and getting practice. I mean, these guys are, you know, again, these guys have already qualified to be here. So, some really, really excellent fighters we're gonna have tonight. We can see everybody's in the stands by the throne here. I think we gotta do as the as the tradition calls. We have to uh, go and expect inspect the drip. So, uh, let's and take I can, a look. I can see Connect here already. So I'd like to say thank you to Torn Banner for uh, being so kind to send people over to help with this kind of event. Absolutely. We really, really appreciate what you guys at TB do, giving us this awesome game to play and, and, and you know, facilitating these events for us. We really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Couldn't be here without it, you know? So. Let's see who we've got drip wise today. Cope going for the classic Agatha Knight. Coppola looks really simple, but I, I like it. You like that, though. You like that, that you know, good, good in the basics. It's, an, it's a really clean fit all around. Can't really complain not, about it. Not too much gold. The the brown, uh, like, sort of leather brigandine. Mm -hmm. it, just, it looks nice. Just really it, basic. It accents it really nice. Yeah, yeah. And then you got Swag right next to him with the, the amazing monk haircut. I, I love Swag's fucking character. <laughs> Got a baseball bat, man. Out. I bet this is using the, the the medieval baseball bat today. Is he going to be using that in the tournament today? Gumbachi. Uh, I can see Gumbachi's uh, his fashion sort of like... It's, it stands out. Yeah, I see it. I see and, the little purple and yellow. And uh, he's also got the, ex the executioner sword, which I'm excited to see in high-level duels. I actually haven't... Believe it or not, since that sword came out, I just haven't done any duels except for like today for 10 minutes really well let me <laughs> I, I tell you because i i have been using the highland sword and duels a lot that thing is disgusting i mean the amount of it's, it's like you know what if the mall and the executioner sword had a baby or not the executioner the executioner axe had a baby and like made them even better it's just a really really good weapon it's it's because it, it can be quick if you axe it but it can be extremely slow if you drag it it makes those kind of uh you know drags extremely long not to mention that it has extremely high stamina uh, damage as well from having such a high base damage. I think if it, I think it's the highest because it, it has is the highest, highest base damage. Yeah. yeah so uh, I mean, the only it's, thing it's that incredible. can match it, the only thing that can match it are things like special attacks. Like the That's greatsword true. special does as much as the Highland overhead heavy. Right, right, and the special in the Highlander Sword is pretty interesting too. It's actually not like a lot of the other specials in the game where it's a high damage wind up move. It's more of like a an around the back whirlwind move that doesn't do as much damage as just regular swings, but it does a very wide arc of attacks. You can hit somebody behind you. I thought that was a really fun mechanic. Like, uh, I'll wait for somebody to hit me. I'll go for a post and then do the special, and people go try and go for a you know a slash to counter, and that's a uh, not gonna work <laughs> you know it's i i honestly think the highland special is the only thing that keeps it from being too much because yeah. like greatsword has a really good special and the highland special is just not yeah. nearly as good you can't no, use it certainly. the same way you can use other specials where it's sort of like if they're waiting for you to do an attack you throw that out and now they're forced to do something else because blocking it's right bad very true exactly and yeah you, it's you one just, of those tools you you get a bunch of other tools and a lot of other power, but you just you lose a tool you lose that part. 
Well, that, that, and that's fair for such a giant sword. You'd figure that, that it had to have some sort of drawback in that sense. So it makes sense. It's still it really good with, with that drawback. So to, Yeah, you know. it's still an amazing weapon. I mean, I think it's probably the best weapon the TB's added so far. Definitely my favorite. Definitely the coolest weapon they've added. And I was kind of iffy on it at first. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it. But the second I took it into the, in the Warden Blade on the Duel Yard with the, with the Scottish kill outfit that they added with that same patch, I was, I was uh, already enamored with it. I don't think they're starting yet, but I, uh, oh, I gotta turn chat on before I forget. You wanna go ahead and talk about, uh, the bracket today? Like, I'll pull this up on the screen here and we'll tell you who we're planning on watching as it is right now. Uh, so let's see. Let, let me up on the display. Up. Yeah, so for those of you watching on our streams here, we should have the bracket up shortly. Uh, we're gonna be watching. A couple different events today. There is a loser's bracket. This is a double elimination tournament, so it is going to be a little bit longer, but uh, we're going to be having a lot of great fights. And all these fighters, again, had to qualify to even get here. So all of these fighters are excellent top tier level duelists. Uh, but we're looking for at the start time here. We're a little over time right now. I think we're still setting up. But uh, for the very first match, we're planning on watching Amethyst and Tons the Red, another streamer, a great guy, cool dude. Now, these guys are both excellent fighters. So I, we thought out of the ones that we've seen so far, it's going to be a great match to watch. But there's going to be even better matches uh, as we kind of go along through the bracket here. We can see here as well, Quasi is making his return. If you, uh, those of you who have been around for a while and watched the first trial by blood would remember that Quasi oh. was the victor. I, I hate to, I hate to interrupt. Uh, th they've already started. Starting? Oh my They've Lord. already Well, <laughs> they're just they're just going at it. Let me just. Uh... Uh, I was not looking at the chat. I think Funk already said that they were going to be starting the, uh, the the fights here. So that's fine. That's on us. I believe that uh... MSS is up 3-0 right now. He's three right now. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up the <laughs> scoreboard, which we were able to make last night, and it looks fantastic. So, really, really big props on that. Goodness, great! Really? They, they just they just jumped right in. I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah, me either. I was not ready prepared for that at all. And the other the other rings don't have anybody in them yet, which is odd. So right away, like War Club versus Polax. This is these are not two great weapons. They're they're very off meta. Very off meta. But the War Club is so quick. I think it's a weapon that a lot of people struggle with. Yeah, I I it's range I, for its quickness. I find people. They either know how to fight the War Club or they don't. That's very true. That's very true. So it and seems that Amethyst is up four to oh, and I believe this is a first to five in the early parts parts of this tournament here. So he's at match point, as it is. A lot of um, I I don't think War Club is like good, but I think this is the best scenario for it. Sands is playing knight and using a weapon that's not exactly like. It doesn't do a ton of stamina damage, which I think is the War Club's weakness. Just... Yeah, absolutely, it... I agree. Like, War, War Club doesn't do a lot of damage, but you throw it on the, like, the multipliers, and, you know, it can hit Knight for, like, 80 damage. It's not I mean, nothing. it's considerable damage, and the heavy attacks are very quick. You can throw out a heavy attack on this weapon at the same speed that a lot of light attacks are on other weapons. You can get used to that range. Changes. A lot of counters going on. Oh, this. wow, but an amazingly wow, quick so, axle. So fast. Yeah, it's incredibly quick. And, you know, on the weapon, you really can't discount, even being off meta because of the, the speed of the weapon. That's going to be a clean sweep for Amethyst. Hopefully, uh, Sarshans has better luck in the loser's bracket, and he has one more chance to keep himself in here. So best of luck to him, and uh, well done to Amethyst. Yeah, it's not. It's, I, it's a little bit discouraging to get, like, 5 would right away and stuff like that, but... I, you just if you can keep his chin up he I'm sure he can bring up some stuff in the losers bracket absolutely it's not over until it's over all these guys are here and have earned their place here so we'll not be surprised at all if we see some uh really great fights on on both sides of the uh, coin here so for some so, reason uh, only amethyst has fought mm -hmm. but none of the other matches so far have started. Uh, Funk is telling us that the rounds are being set up right now. Uh, I'm not sure if we missed some of the other fights that are going off we, in the other corners for the first we part didn't. of the bracket here. But the uh, only the only person who has kills is uh, Amethyst right now and Connect, but he's not uh, playing. <laughs> yeah. Gumbachi and Quasi are starting to set up. Huh. 
Yes, I believe that they are, and that's the second round of uh, the bracket, I believe. I wonder Let's what's... go ahead and take a look at the bracket and see. We're going to watch KC and Punk Daft that second fight, I believe. Kind of waiting on them to come up to ring B here. A little bit of... Hit ring B. Ring B is where Quasi and Gumbachi are right now. There may be oh, some organizational uh, complications going it on happens. right now, but it does happen. Oh, okay. They're moving to the right area. QC is at the right area. Refs are doing their jobs. Everybody's getting back into position. It happens. It happens. I, it, you, it's sometimes these, these things start off a little bit rocky. Now everybody's sort of like anxious right away. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, there's Punk. All right, so they're they're heading over to to ring B right now. I see Coplo is fighting. I see Punk Daft is right here. And there is KC, okay, yeah. And as I was saying uh, earlier, I believe that this is gonna be a man at arms fight. And I, I like watching these fights. I think it's a, a lot of, you know, dodging and dipping and, and ducking. It makes for a really interesting fight seeing the footwork. Cause I think man at arms has, you know, the capacity for some of the best footwork in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and get that scoreboard set up for these guys. Yeah, yeah. Before I, before I forget. Punk Daft and KC, guys. A little bit slow on the draw. There we go. So, oh, like, landing a special right away. Morningstar has a ridiculous special. Oh, my goodness. It's so quick. It's a very Pure quick special. Aggression. I really like it. Very, very aggressive. You can see he was keeping the pressure up on Punk Daft there. A lot of attacks, a lot of kicks and jabs, just to make sure that he has to guess what option and figure out what uh, what's going to be coming out next. With those ass weapons, it can be very tough to try and get, uh, get a read on what the next uh, attack is going to be thrown out at you. So the thing about like picking a weapon like the Morningstar is, for anybody who doesn't know, Man-at-Arms, or well, Footman in general, has the worst defense against axes and blunt weapons. So like this Morningstar is going to do more damage like out of the overall health pool to punk draft than you know any other weapon like a sword absolutely yeah it has that damage multiplier versus uh man-at-arms and knights but the man-at-arms uh health pool is already so low that it's really considerable you i think you can just like two shot with the morning star against um footman especially with us with a special for sure oh punk daft misses a stab just barely that would have connected if you would have but there's another one that comes out lots of jabs going between the two Mm -hmm. These shield players do like jabs. He lands Ooh. a kick, but then misses, and then gets, and gets countered punished. and punished. Oh, but he lands his own little shield toss, interrupts, and gets <laughs> immediately axled for his troubles. The, these fights effort, are so though. messy. They're, they are. They are. Like, they're scrappy. They're absolutely scrappy fights. They're they're really quick and they're really dirty, and that's uh that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. So, absolutely, that's gonna be the second win to KC. He needs five wins to advance in the bracket. Punk Daft's going to need to bring out some uh, other strategies here to be able to get an edge in here against his opponent. I, I'm really, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just, I, I'm still giddy that I'm doing this in the first place. I can't lie to you. <laughs> it's awesome. It's such a pleasure to be able to host these events. I mean, this is these are some of the most entertaining fights to watch as a fan of this genre and a Ooh. fan of this game. So, countered oh my the Lord. shield throw and then, like, there's Man, what a, lot, I a lot of kicks. But then he goes for he almost missed that opportunity again. Throws the shield again. A lot he, of he shield tried to tosses. hold it to trick it up, but he didn't. It didn't yeah. work. Oh, great axel from Punk Daft. That oh, that not, sword is so quick. I I am I'm I'm all I'm all scrambled right now, <laughs> man. <laughs> scrambled like eggs, Ziggy. All right, well done to Punk Daft. He's able to find an edge in that fight and take home a win. Quick Axel, gets the job done. Yes! I haven't seen anybody rocking that helmet, so uh, very, very cool. He's got an individual interesting fit going on with I the muted yellow myself, pants and the funky looking but, uh, uh, tall helmet he's got on. Boys and girls, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little scrambled right beginning now. Beginning here. Both fighters are ready to go. The fourth fights... round of the fight. These fights are so fast, I can't, like, talk about things in him. It's hard to do play-by-play -play with uh, Man-at-Arms fights like this. Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff that's going on at once. 
You can see that uh, Punk Daft tries to go for a shield toss, but it was interrupted by a heavy charge. I... They just they just keep swinging at each other and <laughs> jabbing yeah, and kicking. I... A lot of defense. Oh, you know what? That was a little odd. I feel like he may have not countered there. He went for an attack and didn't throw up the counter, so that's why it went through. Or maybe it was a little bit too early because that attack felt like he would have been able to counter that with the animation that I saw. But I feel like he may have not inputted a counter. So that's gonna be the third round going to KC. All right, let I got I gotta relax a little bit. QC switches <laughs> up to the um to the short sword. Oh, maybe he figures the extra yeah. speed would help a little bit more than the advantages of the Morning Star. Yeah, it's always Land interesting to see a, uh, a weapon switch after a win. Uh, you, you know, most people are, feel pretty comfortable when they get a win that they won't swap their weapon. But, you know, it's interesting to see players who will, will intentionally switch their weapon and maybe, like, switch up their play style. Keep things Shield's fresh, gone. make things hard to read. Yeah, Punk Dap Shield is gone. Casey opting to not use his own. He gets Probably a kickoff, lands a stab. A they both jab in order to cancel out the jab. You see having the upper hand here, oh. and he goes for a quick excel. And a beautiful decap. Immediately takes off the head there. Just a little bit too fast. I feel like the short sword speed outsped the, the regular sword there. And that's going to be 4-1 to one in favor of KC here. Uh, he's going to have to... Punk Daft's going to have to play perfectly here to bring himself out of this fight and stay in the winner's bracket. Oh, and KC with his opponent's head in his hands. Is that allowed? Just disrespectful. I think it's, I think it's allowed. <laughs> I think, it's I think allowed. as long as he doesn't throw it at him. Yeah, as long as he doesn't throw it, I think that will be fine. <laughs> a lot of feints here. Same side feints and a quick axel. Wow! Ooh. I thought he landed that jab, but then he got hit by it anyway. And then a just barely. Oh, oh. Ooh, is that Lord? Is that, that going to be grounds for a uh, call I don't know the if ref. that counts. I don't I'm know. I'm going to have to verify it, that. Funny, but, but I don't know if that counts. I'm not sure that it does. It could he be. Had, it could be other he had way. The win, we're going to but... we're gonna have to uh, refer to the ref's call there. I I, well, he hasn't written it down in score. Yeah, he, he hasn't written it down in chat, so I'm assuming. All right, no, they're counting it. No, they. So Jeb is going to go ahead and count that win. The thing is, is that uh, you know. Even if it was uh, something that he, he wouldn't have had access to in his normal loadout, I feel like that kick, he could have easily I, I, landed a stab and killed him anyway. Yeah, I, I feel like that fight was won regardless, but, Right, you know. right, of course. But you do have to be conscious of the rules, of course, right? But good fights from both of those players. Really, this is not the end of Punk Daft. I'm sure we'll see him again in the loser's bracket. An excellent job from KC there, clearing up the win. And that's going to be 5-1 to one in favor of KC. So, wild card is no, telling no, wild Jug. card is saying yeah I, I believe that I believe that um we might be getting a rerun of that last round because of the head toss yes he used the head chat so uh the, the rules of the of the of the dual tournament stipulate that you cannot use any item that is not part of your original loadout so if you have a throwing knife or a shield you're fine to toss that if it comes with your loadout but you can't pick up items in the world and use them in the middle of a fight so that may be grounds for a rerun of that fight right there uh, between KC and Punk Daft. We might have a chance here of getting this back. It gives Punk another chance. <laughs> Absolutely. Just waiting on him to get back into the ring here and see if we can settle this here. While that's going on, I'm going to go take a peek over at Ryan and Coplo. Another match I wanted to watch, but the first uh, the first bracket, I <laughs> we kind of had to pick. That's true, yeah. I mean, you can't watch every single fight, and there is a lot of great fighters in this bracket. Let's take a look here at Ryan and Cope while we are waiting for uh, that rerun, if they do end up going through with it. Coplo very familiar with the Messer, using the uh, the Fox Messer skin. Mm -hmm. One of the newer Messer skins has come out. Oh, a great overhead drag and an amazing Ooh. stab. The Messer stab is so disgusting. It's one of those stabs that you do not... You really just don't imagine how fast, how much reach it has. It's very deceptive. And that one 
always gets me. I'm, I'm always getting hit by Mr. Stabs, just not underestimating, you know, how fast, how long they are. And uh, th this is the last. The Coppolo is up four to Ryan's two right now. Yes. Let's see. I don't have the score up at the top because we're yeah, supposed we're to be watching, watching the other one. But Of course. Coppolo switches to the axe. I'm not sure I would rather use the axe, but I, Cop Coppolo is probably better than me, so I'm not. Who am I to say anything? <laughs> who am I to say? Oh, See, what a ooh. great dodge that was. Excellent duck. Perfect spacing by uh, Coplo and then a nice dodge by Ryan right after. I believe we're just waiting for Punk Daft to get back into the server. He left after his match is over, and uh, we're waiting to make some space for him. But this fight's still going on. Coplo hanging on to the last uh, bit of life that he has left. Yeah, it's not over. Ryan could, Ryan could make ooh. a miracle happen. He's yeah, not he down could. zero. Ooh, the jab. Yeah. These jabs, but in situations jab like this, away. easily a kick as well. Yep, in, he ooh. goes for it. Oh! In situations like this, I find that nerves are what makes the winner. I think yes. they're both at, a, at an even spot here, but whoever keeps their cool, I think, is going to be the one who makes it. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Ooh, goes for like a, a, he goes for an attack feint into jab, but it just it just happens to not land. Oh, Ooh, and an excellent overhead from Coplo. I think that's going to be the win for Yeah, Coplo wins 5-2. All right, excellent job, Cope, and a good try, good effort on Ryan's. And we'll be seeing him again in the loser's bracket. Best of luck, my friend. That was a really uh, nice last fight. It was. It was a great fight, actually. Let me go ahead and upgrade, uh, update the scorecards. We are back to 4-1 in favor of KC here. Uh, we should be running this fight back here shortly. What an yes. excellent dodge those were. Those were there's some really cool dodges in that last fight. I really liked that a lot. That's why I like those one-handed fights, honestly. They're fun to watch. Not fun to play against, might I say, but uh <laughs> for a lot of people at least. Don't think he's back yet. No, I believe we're still Which waiting on him. Alright, so what's going on over I, here? We've got Truth and Rabbit. Well, Trufaholic is another excellent player. The My first opponent in the very first trial by blood. He gave me a run for my money. Excellent guy. And he's only gotten better. A lot of the yeah, fighters, and I, I, I said this last time, the but a lot of the fighters that, you know, we've been seeing in these tournaments, we've been seeing since the start of the game and the improvement, like the, you know, you know the improvement across the board of all, a lot of the fighters that I've seen in the Dewey Yard is, is incredible over the last couple of months. I mean, it's just really, really encouraging to see a lot of those really, really good, you know, early early fighters, uh, you know, getting even better as time progresses, you know, getting really, 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 really strong. We have to fill the dead air. Quick, say something. Banana. <laughs> you know, on it. <laughs> All right. Talking about fruit, I, um, man, there's no better fruit to eat than a banana. <laughs> Seriously. You know like, I'm like, glad. You know, like, you, you, you would pick banana over any other fruit, though? All right, here's why. It, like, it's not, it's not about, it's not about the, like, the taste of the fruit. I mean, I like bananas, but <laughs> think about this. I'm hungry. I want to, like, yeah, get yeah. an apple. I have to, like, take a bite out of the apple, chew it. Like, yeah. it takes, like, a good, what, five, ten minutes. If well, I want to eat a the banana, clothes off. Yeah, I, I just, I peel it. <laughs> I eat it in, like, under a minute. It's over. It's, like, I've, I've gotten the food in me. That's yeah, it. That's pretty quick. Here's another question, Ziggy. Are you one of those guys that, like, opens it traditionally where, like, the, the stem is? Or do you open it from the bottom like a monkey does? I open it from the bottom. Like a monkey? Yeah. I, 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 used to, I used to do it that way, but I find that, like, if you try to open it from the stem part, it, like, squishes yeah. the top of the banana. And if you just open it yeah. from the bottom like you're supposed to, then it, it just works. It's better. Yeah, that's where the poison, that's where the poison bit is. <laughs> Still just waiting for some spots. I think we have a couple of spectators in the lobby that are uh, unaware that we need to fill right now. It's okay. Just waiting on that. We got all day to watch these tournaments and watch these events. Okay, now, not about what fruit you would eat, but what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit. You know, I like tropical fruits a lot. I'm a tropical fruit kind of guy, but I think my favorite fruit, just out of 
the you know, the most widespread variety of uses for it, I think strawberry. Easily strawberry. It's just because they work so good with chocolate. They're really good in any kind of dessert. They're really good in smoothies. They're really good by themselves, just normally. Like I think I think strawberry is just one of the most best fundamental fruits that you can get. Absolutely. I'm a big fan of um a pineapple. Pineapple's fantastic. Pineapples also fantastic. I like a um passion fruits and guava as well those are both really great guava obviously not the fruit by itself but just like i don't the think flavor. i've eaten the fruit like guava or uh passion fruit like yeah, i don't think I i've had never the, had a passion fruit, fruit, fruit yeah me either me either you know actually no i had a guava fruit once and it was not as good as like the flavoring <laughs> okay i think uh i think we might sh should i think we should move on to Short a different and fight. reptar yeah let's go ahead and watch short and reptar i think or we have truth and and who else We'll, we'll get the update on these two later, but I mm -hmm. think it'd be best for the stream if we move to somebody else. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and watch Short and Reptar. For... Oh, wait, no. I think they're back. I think they're back. I think he's here. He's All here. Right, he's fine. here. <laughs> As we said it. All right, let's get this fight going. And we can move on to the next All right. fight. Punk Daft. Down four. Needs to win four matches in a row to secure a victory here against KC. KC just needs to clutch one more win. Oh, Moon Moon in the chat. Hello, Moon Moon. Hi, Moon Moon. Oh, my lord. The amount of overheads there. And there's the and kick. Unfortunate. Unfortunate I, uh, end there for Bunk Daft after trying to go through the trials and tribulations of getting back into the server, but an excellent try. I think uh, the QC should behave himself a little bit more. Yes. Because I, I probably is doesn't a, feel. Is a value. I probably it probably didn't feel very good to try and get back into the server for ten minutes and have that happen. Yes, but of course. Things course. happen. But I don't think he meant game. anything by it. No, of course not. Of course. Okay, so I let's believe see. Uh, it's Truth and Rabber at one. Short is two against Reptar. Would you like to watch Short and Reptar? I think I want to watch Truth. Okay, that works Truth, for me too. Truth and Rabbit. They right now it's one one. So I. I think they they might be a little bit more evenly matched. Beautiful. All right, let me go ahead and update the scoreboard here, guys, and then we will watch Trufaholic and Reptar. Or not? Yeah, it's a rabbit. Rabbit. Is his name on on the Smash? Stab, Stab the, rabbit? the rabbit. I believe. so. I think so. Yeah, that makes sense to me. There we go, guys. Oh, an excellent uh, heavy Axel there from True uh, from a uh, rabbit there. Truth using the Morning Star instead of his Messer, which Ooh. isn't a hor not a bad choice, but I would want the range advantage. Always, always. I always agree. I'm always like, I, a lot of people like to fight one-handed versus one-handed for the speed, but Ooh. I feel like the range advantage is better, and that's another reason right there. If if he was just a little farther away, he could have probably punished that with a longer weapon like he has now. Yeah, the one-handed axe, like the only disadvantage I think it really has is that it's short. Compared to like say the one-handed sword, it seems like I would like I would always want to use a longer weapon against that. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, two for rabbits and one for truth, and the fight begins again. Use the controller to spectate? No, I uh, I just kind of smooth my mouse out. Oh, he reads the kick and gets a free punish off that. Another delayed attack. You see how he went for an attack and then immediately delayed and then went for something else, and that seemed to Ooh, deal the was... deal there for Truth. Very simple attacks, but they uh, got the job done. Real quick, I need to set a hotkey on Discord. I have uh, not Johnny asking me a question, and it's I don't want to have to like Alt-Tab and press the mute button. Got to get that hotkey, man. I love having that mute hotkey for Discord. There we go. No worries, though, man. Right. Looks like we've got uh, the match tied up right now. I would now. have to... It's 2-2, uh, uh, two two, Truth and Rabbit both tied. I would have to, uh, like, start the game differently. My controller doesn't get picked up natively because I use Bluetooth. Rabbit switching to the spear. I was just about to say, yeah, he made a switch to the spear now. Now he the has the uh, optimal range. I don't think I'd want to use the, the... The Messer is really long, like deceptively long. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's a pretty comparable uh, length, honestly, if you're not careful. You could definitely get punished on uh, something that you think you're out of range for, and then you're not. Oh, and there's Ooh, a great nice. drag for proof. I think it was a neutral drag. That wasn't a heavy. Right, yeah, it was a, just a regular drag, which is uh, very rarely seen nowadays, <laughs> and an excellent axle after a faint. That is uh, three for truth, two for rabbit. Very nice. I, I think uh, I think a lot of people don't understand the value of neutral drags compared to heavies. Because like if you want to do a drag, people often just go for a big heavy. But I find I couldn't exactly explain why, but it's different. It feels different. It does. It does, and it's honestly a good tool to have in the toolbox. Most people are not expecting neutral drags like that because they're not uh you know you, why why go for a neutral drag when you can go for a heavy drag and make it longer but sometimes having that like variance in the drag axe. timing will make it like you just the throwing axe is for real i respect it though he could definitely get a uh a throw off here if he's careful about yeah but range. now he's stuck with the throwing axes out against the spear which is uh tough Ooh, but, I mean, he and made he it work waits. really well he waits for the spear to swing and then punishes with the throwing axe. Ex exactly what I was expecting out of a, out of the ranged use there. Very, very smart. Uh, those throwing axes can be very deadly. They do a lot of damage, especially to a man-at-arms who has very little health to begin with. So being able to wait for him to, uh, you know, be into an attack animation and be unable to defend himself was very smart. Yeah, that was very nice. Smart. It's gonna see people using yeah. It's gonna see people be using throws in these games and throwing weapons. Uh, they're they're rarely seen in in uh, in these competitive environments, but they can be really effective if used you know smartly. You can't rely on them obviously. You can it, do it's weird. Some really interesting maneuvers. It's weird you say that because I found uh, in the couple of EU events that I've seen, people over there really like the throw in comparison. It, yeah, that's that's true. I I did cast one EU event. Uh, uh, it was a BKM clan duel event that we did. And they really play differently. I think it's so interesting to see how the different regions play, but uh, they, they play so differently than we do. They, they have a lot. They like to take a lot more risks, and a lot of the uh, NA players are very rigid and they're very defensive. A lot of the best players in NA are very very strict about what they throw out and how they throw stuff out to be very very defensive. And that's why they don't typically get hit very often. They out stamina you and they wait for the opportunity. But those EU players do some crazy shit. And it's really entertaining to watch. Keep your head on a swivel, boy. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually casting an EU event tomorrow, oh, wow. which is that uh, I was just asked. It's like a 64 TO four quad clan event, so oh, I'll nice. get to see the difference, the different playstyles there, because I actually haven't seen anything like that before. Excellent. Gotta love seeing other regions and how they play. I think it's one of the most interesting things. I would love to see if we could get a LAN event. Get the best of NA, the best of EU, the best of Asia, and get, you know, or wherever the fuck else, Oceania, and, and get everybody fighting together and see which region comes out on top. Ooh, Ooh an excellent back I, I believe don't... we're at four? Uh, no, I think, uh, I think Truth just won. I think, I, believe... I think you're right. Yeah, I believe, believe Truth just won 5 0. And. 5 2. I think. Rabbit, Rabbit wrote really on top there for a bit, but then I think Truth just started to get the hang of it. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, looks like we've got a couple other fighters on the field right now. I see Durag is about to start a fight, it looks like. He's in a ring, uh, I think that's A, with Cody No and Bungie. It's Bungie and Durag. Ooh. Is that the fight here? Yeah, let's go yeah, and watch this, that, huh? That, this is the one I wanted to watch. Absolutely. I'm really excited. Let's, let's watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and put up Bungie. Let's see, and... I'm excited to see uh, Halberd. I, I, oh yeah. I, I love Halberd. He's even wearing my outfit. He's doing the thing. <laughs> he is doing the Ziggy thing. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I don't know if I'd ever use a one hand against Halberd. That does not seem like a smart idea when you've got a long sword in your pocket. Certainly not, certainly not. The long sword but has he does the have speed of a one handed weapon. Oh, oh, and the kick kill. Excellent. You love to see the kick kill coming out. When somebody's so low, there are so little options you have to defend yourself if you're not smart. And the Bungie taking advantage of that. And that's going to be one for Bungie taking the first round of the fight. I, I I don't know if Bungie's playing Halberd because he wants to, or if or I think he's doing <laughs> He might be doing it for me because I mentioned how, how, how much I like Halberd a couple times. Well, there you go. Super Bungie fan, really Bungie. nice guy. 
Ooh, that's fucking! Great. That was a that was a great 360. It, yeah. it didn't it didn't work, but it looked cool. <laughs> it looked very cool, and you can like he's doing only, it again. Yeah, you love to see those in, in competitive fight. I mean, the, the thing is about 360s is that they're not even like not viable. They can be very strong if you use them correctly. Oh, oh my what a goodness. double combo there! I think Durag just missed time, just counter and got punished for it. Now, if I was Durag, and this is no. I'm not saying anything about the way he's playing. Those like fancy moves would not be on my agenda right now. Certainly not. Certainly not. You only want to throw those in when you're get, when you know it's not going to be a risk. When your opponent's lower health and you've got more health than them, you can take a hit maybe if you muss it up. Like it's one of those options you don't really want to throw in unless you're confident it's gonna it's gonna work. But you respect the attempts, you know. Oh, that slash is so quick. Yeah, it's a very quick slash. It's a weapon you don't expect to be quick, but it can be. It's very deceivingly quick. Look at all these great oh my feints and cancels he's using gracious. here. Goodness gracious, he's going nuts. Look this at him. A, look, look. <laughs> this reminds me of a Shinbop's playstyle, very similar to what Shinbop does. A lot of attack cancels that are intended to mm. make the opponent look like it's a feint, but he's getting outstand and out axel, and it's not working to his advantage here. Yeah, ever since they buffed Halberd, now it does pretty good stamina damage. It's weird. Oh, it's only a five damage difference, but it makes so much of a difference. Right. Absolutely. I mean, that base damage changes everything. And it's an axe weapon, right? So the modifier makes it higher as well, right? Against knight. Yeah. Should be. 10 I believe. Points. I believe a heavy stab and a heavy overhead do do eighty seven damage to a knight, which is an exact Ooh. two shot. That's great. Anything that can two shot a knight is 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 great. Well, more often than not, you're probably it, it just makes it so you're surely going to three shot. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna like uh, every time land a two shot attack. Oh, I these... think Durag is is getting red a little bit too hard here. He's going for too many attack cancels. Oh, but he Ooh, lands a lands great a... kick. Oh, oh, a jab to death. He would have had a really great combo, but at that low health, you have Bungie, to be conscious. Bungie was completely aware of, of like he didn't panic at all. Like he knew he couldn't avoid the hit against the one-hander so he just went he just went for the punish instead mm -hmm. it's easy to get the momentum and like not be aware of those like quick things that the other person can do absolutely switches to longsword finally to open up Ooh, hits him with hits him in the leg with a stab oh Bungie doing a lot of jumps yeah. What is what is going on with Durag right now? Yeah, I've been fighting Durag a little bit earlier today and yesterday, and he has some really fun moves he does. But he stabs himself. Confidence. He stabs himself out so often. The problem. Ah, uh, the quick, problem. the quick slash. I really respect the, the amount of uh, cancel attacks and spins for that, though. The well confidence. Done. The very confident, very con he didn't stop doing it until the very end. At the very end, he, ne he actually Definitely. he never stopped doing it yeah. the entire fight, and that is something to be lauded for. So well done uh, on both opponents there. I'm sure we'll see more Durag in the losers bracket, and Bungie will be moving on to the next round of the winners uh, rounds here. I don't see anybody else on the field right now. Um, All right, let's let's take a quick look at that list. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look at the schedule here and see who we would like to see fight. Pull this up think, here for you guys. I think it might be a little bit scrambled because we haven't seen Adrian here yet. No, and we have seen Short and Reptar. And Bungie just fought. Right, so we may have skipped Adrian and Captain Agatha. I did not see. Oh, they well, actually, it's skipped. A it's only 338, and we just saw the 345. Mm -hmm. So I think we might be into the bracket where Adrian and... Yeah, there, there may be, uh, be. Uh, uh, fights that are going ahead of uh, the scheduled times because their rings are, er are ending earlier. That, that possibly could be what it is. Uh, right now, Squid is fighting wild card. Okay. So yeah, that, we're I mean, uh, we have a lot of the uh, 345 bracket going right now. But it looks like... Um, Looks like we've got a couple more fights coming up here at four of the four the four p.m. bracket. Who do you think you want to fight or want to watch? I think uh, Shin and Eruption would be good. Um, Coplo and Mighty Owl could also be good. Mighty Owl, I don't 
think is he, it's it's weird that he, he says did. he's there. He, he's not. He said it dropped out above. Said he, but he might have a buy from his opponent. I mean, he may, he might be here now. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll see who's on the field. Let's go ahead and get onto the field and check it out. Real quick. All right. The I, anyway, are if being I was set up here from Mumpa Nice Funk, go ahead, Ziggy. I think I want to watch Quasi and QC, but I I could also watch Shin and Eruption because we already watched QC. That's what I was thinking. Is we we should switch it up a little bit and watch some fighters that we haven't seen yet. So far, I think Shin is a, a really fun fighter. He's very similar to uh, a Durag in that sense that he likes to do a lot of attack cancels. Has a really interesting play style. He's using the Polax now. He's usually a longsword guy, but I have seen him use the Polax before. He's quite good with it. Uh, he's, a, he's a good buddy of mine. I, I'm definitely excited to see what he's going to do. But Eruption, also a very good uh, night player. He's got a pretty strong, uh, solid fundamental uh, defense. So we'll see how he plays against a, a, um, a longsword knight here, Shin Bop. Get the scoreboard all set up. Yes, absolutely. Let's do that now before I forget. Thank you. Oh, they moved over to the right arena. <laughs> I followed Shinbop over to the wrong arena. <laughs> <laughs> Shinbop and Eruption. Can I turn on mouse? Is mouse moving a thing in the options? I don't For think real. so. No, sure. I don't see it. I'm kind of, I kind right, of just move my hand really slow to make the camera nice. Yeah, I try my best to do that while I'm like, uh, you know, locked onto somebody. I'll try and move it slow. I, I turn my, my sensitivity all the way down when I do that. That seems to work out pretty well. Oh, you know um, what? I can, I can do that. Yeah, turn the DPI down. Perfect. The blocks are good to start. Weaponized Funk says in the chat, our competitive uh, tournament organizer here. Uh, if with his say so, we should be good to begin these matches as long as the refs are ready to go. And I can see that Shinbop and Eruption have both taken the field. Shinbop rocking. His knights with Polaxe and Eruption doing the classic longsword and sword knights. Shinbop is a very good. I don't. I actually don't think his Polaxe is. He's he's really good with it. I know he likes it, but I find him a lot more dangerous with longsword. When of I course, fought him, of course, yeah, absolutely. I think. But I think everybody's still more viable. dangerous. <laughs> with the longsword, exactly right. Believes we it looks like we're about to be starting here. Both fighters are ready, and the first round begins. Ooh, Quick staff from eruption immediately gets an attack off. Shinbop opens up with a a double attack feint, and eruption just didn't care. Yeah, he just immediately threw out a stab. Oh wow! Ooh. A very quick finish. Shin misses his counter on the overhead, his footwork, and then gets overheaded in his arm taken. Eruption did that really clean. He just that was a very quick click. He had the fundamentals down right immediately. It was very very. Sp I don't. This is just my opinion as a fundamental thing. I don't think I would ever open up with a feint, ever. Yeah, it's just not smart. I think the best thing you want to do, sort of a fight, is go with your fast attack. Just the smart thing to do. Get a good opener, and then start from there. Cause then you get situations like where Shinbop did those feints and it just it just ate a longsword stab. Yeah, and now he's decided to play his own longsword. We'll see how this mirror match goes. Weapon he's a lot more comfortable with. He's gonna get all those attack cancels off, get some really good stabs. Weapon the the, the, the stab on the longsword is known for being so strong and very quick. One of them's already out of stamina. I can't tell who it is. Ooh, it's eruption. An eruption gets out the sword. Oh, a quick Axel. Ooh, those Excel. He's, he's sneaking in the hits. He is. Oh, he throws Shinbop out a, takes uh, out the throwing knives. Yeah, that would have been a kill, I believe. I think eruption is low enough that it would have been. Throwing knife damage was buffed in the Highlander patch, if I remember correctly. Yes, it oh, was. Oh, a and very a, good around the parry uh, foot. So. Yeah, lands a foot hit. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the, the foot is just standing up. <laughs> I see it, yeah. It's really, it's really, really like got a good base, you know? <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I'm really loving Shin's outfit. He's got a really cool uh, character here. 
a very large groin protector. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice how big it was. That is outrageous. Well, I know where your eyes are looking. <laughs> of course. You got to check the homies' packages, you know? Oh, he's going for the dance in the middle of it. Oh, man. We're going to see some classic Shinbot BM here. Not even BM as he doesn't respect his opponent, but he just likes to goof around and throw out some animation stuff like that. Oh, Ooh, he lands, lands a the great kick. kick. Ooh, wow, that turn around and stab. A stab to stab feint, but with a lot of movement added in. Ooh, he misses the drag and then gets mm. punished for it. But he just re he just returns it. Doesn't fall for that kick. Oh. Out of stamina nice. and punish. A wonderful stab. A good punish there from Shin Bob. Somebody in my chat, Joda, says that they would be cool. To, it would be cool to see EU versus NA. Now Absolutely. I'm of the opinion that it's kind of insanely difficult to get an EU versus NA given the ping differences because somebody's going to yeah. have to eat bad ping. Yeah, there's no way to make it even for everybody. And that would have to be a LAN event, and that's just not really feasible. But it would be amazing. It'd be so cool. I would love it. Fly, fly out all the the EU people over to NA for. Oh. A land chivalry event. I'd, I'd, uh, may, maybe in the far future. Maybe. Ooh. They both land range stabs on people. Or on each other. Oh, these attack cancels. Classic. Insane. I mean, they're so tough to read. It's a lot of stamina drain, but the thing is, is that also Eruption has to keep up his his uh, parry. Whoa! Ooh. What? Oh, he does oh, it. Oh, and he kills him with the kick at the very end. Unbelievable. Unfortunate. Shin started off a little bit behind, but now he's he's just he's just reeling it back. Uh, what They're are we? Really Shin nice 1, job. or sorry, Eruption 3 and Shin 1. Or sorry, the opposite uh, way. Yeah, yeah, the other one. <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, the, both these fighters are ready to begin again. Ooh. Round 5. It, it's kind of hard to tell because of the uh, the skin, but Eruption oh. switches to Messer. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's the Falk skin. It looks kind of similar to the Longsword, honestly. It's, it, it's, it's obviously larger, and there's a curve in the blade, but... So the thing that reveals eye. it to me is the hilt. Yeah, the there's no, there's well. no guard on it. I'm excited to see what he can do with this if he can pull something out. Ooh, but he's, he's get. I think he's getting a little bit panicked. He threw that jab out pretty sloppily. Yeah, Ooh, he did. The kick oh, and the right stab to stab combo. Yeah, yeah, stab to stab combo is a fucking killer move. Or the long sword. It is so effective. Match point. I, Eruption has it in him to, to take on Shin, but I think he's he might be getting those tournament nerves. This is a big tournament after all. Yeah, there is there is cash money on the line. Ooh. Over a thousand dollars of prize money to go out to the top three winners today. Eruption so. switches it up. I'm not sure I would, but <laughs> the 360 toss. He's going for it. Yeah, I don't know that I would swap either, but you know. It could work. Oh, oh man, he's a lot of Axels in. Sword versus Shin is, sword. Shin is pretty comfortable with the sword. He uses it quite a bit as well. Great 360, doesn't find purchase though. Eruption hitting the ground in order to stop himself from having recovery, a smart move, but he gets punished anyway, and then Ooh, gets hit man. again. And that is gonna be the set there for Shinbot versus Eruption. Excellent showing from both these fighters. Now, real quick, uh, I just want to go over. QC is uh, killing Quasi with the Highland Sword. <laughs> oh. All right, right, right in the ring, just over the fence. I need to go watch it, this. It, I've been wanting to see a Highlander Sword. It's four-one Quasi, but I mean, he did. QC did just get a kill with the Highland Sword. There you go. 
I mean, KC is, is is not one to be trifled with. He is an I will excellent never fighter in his own right. I will never not say his name, Quasi. I know. <laughs> Even though that Quasi is also Q fighting Quasi. Yeah, there you go. Quasi and Quasi. <laughs> Let's hope for a miracle. Now, Quasi hey, those, doesn't really fall. Quasi doesn't really fall for a lot of the normal mix-ups. You have to really get into his head to land anything fancy. Yeah, he's he's very smart, and he's really good at knowing when he has an opportunity to to, to initiative steal you. He's very, very smart about that because he has a good fundamental, and he knows how to be defensive, but he, when he sees an opening, he'll take the opening. That's why he's such a good player. He's got thousands and thousands of hours of experience. He really just does not get the panic that most most people get. Like, even me, I get a little bit of panic sometimes. Literally just thousands of hours. For those yeah. who don't know, Quasi was Trial by Bloods, uh, the, the very first Trial by Bloods winner. Uh, he took home the cash prize uh, for that tournament, and he's an amazing fighter. He's taken home multiple different uh, tournament, uh, you know, top-level wins. In the EU tournament that I, that I casted a long time ago, he joined with a hundred plus ping and made it to the top eight. So, you know, it, it, it just shows, goes to show you what, what kind of skill, you know, some of the fighters in this game have. I and mean, Quasi is one of the best in the, in the best. I think best he in came business. in third or fourth. Yeah, it was really high. He placed very high. <laughs> yeah, considering <laughs> considering his ping. Yeah, no, it was extremely. It was it was it was a it was a win for uh, America, I think, as a whole. <laughs> okay, so over here we can see Amethyst fighting Fat Walrus. Okay. Um, Amethyst what are up the skills? Four to three. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for another fight that's going to start, so we can reset the scoreboards here before we watch them. But we can watch Amethyst here. Using the uh, the Falk Smasher. Everybody liking that skin a lot, it seems. Great drag. Stab. Oh, he hits the ground and gets punished. Ooh. Fat Wall was using the Great Sword, not the Highland Sword. He's trying to get good mileage out of that special. Yeah, the special on that weapon is in insanely good. Oh, and yeah, he lands it! A, a, he landed one against this parry and one against Tim. He's, oh, ooh, out of stamina. But, oh, oh, but, but he's got enough range. The, the knife is good. The knife is good, the knife though. Knife is good. He's he's in the he's in the health pool though. He might just want to keep using the knife if he can. But he needs he needs to faint or throw something out that won't be so easy to counter. If he can get the stamina. Oh, oh my God! The double overhead drag on the knife. Incredible. Uh, nice. Lars has no health. He has zero health. Knife Incredible. is good. Knife is good. Cannot. Anybody oh listening? My God, they're Knife four is and good. four. They're four and four. This is going to be the, the match point for this map. My uh, my preferred my preferred secondary lately has just been the knife, even on classes where I can have other things. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't go that far, but it, it, it I, is usable. <laughs> I, I I think if you're ever in a scenario where your secondary comes out, the knife is just the best thing for that. That's I just, just don't like that opinion. it has it has hit stop. Is the only thing for me. You have to, you know, if you're in a more than one person fight, you're kind of in a rough spot. Well, I, I think if you get disarmed in a more than one person fight anyway, you're yeah, you're, you're in a problem toast. anyway. <laughs> you're probably so I, toast. So I'd rather have the security against one person. That's fair. Ooh, you know, that's fair. Somebody's already low stamina. Oh, oh and the quick. He, oh, man, unfortunately, Walrus mistimed his counters there and got hit with two overheads. But that was such a close match. They were both neck and neck close. match point. Very, very close. They both played Ooh, really well, I think. Absolutely, yeah. I wish we could have caught that fight from the beginning. Uh, who else is on the field here? I see Bungie using a Highlander sword and Squid. Another great player. I actually do like uh, seeing Squid. Uh, Captain Agatha. You want to watch this Bungie fight? Or we can I watch do. Somebody else. It doesn't really matter to me. But I don't we see. Have Jair? I do not see Adrian yet. No, I haven't seen Adrian either. I've been really wanting to see him again. Another great fighter. One of the best. Yeah, one he's of the not old here. Greats. So why don't we go over and watch Bungie? Sure, absolutely. We see Bungie and Squid here are taking the field. Let's go ahead and switch that scoreboard up as quick as we can. Now, let me let me just say, I fought Squid a little bit today. I haven't fought Squid a whole lot. and I, Obviously, I haven't dueled in a, in a long time. But Squid uh, was pretty much the only person in the lobby that I felt like I would have to try really hard to kill. I didn't kill him. Yeah, he's very tough. I I, I fought it. I, you know, I hadn't I hadn't played with him either until like a like a week or two ago. I, I hopped on just for some fun late night duels, and 
man, he has a really, really strong and aggressive play style, but he knows how to keep his yeah. defense up. We went to a couple counter wars that lasted a long time, so you can mix both of those options. He goes for a, a counter low kick there, misses and gets punished. Now Bungie, really good. He loves the Highland Sword a lot, a lot like a, a lot of the melee players that I talk to do. Ooh, nice. Very well done by Bungie I, there. Quick, quick. The um, oh god, what what is their Discord called? They hold. They're like a they're like a clan hub. It's called just Last Horde nights. right now. Or no. It, it it used to be the Vandals Discord, and then they started letting in a bunch of other clans into it. Now it's just like a big clan hub. Mm. Everybody in there pretty much just loves the Highland Sword. It's a great weapon. It's just so much fun. I, I, it's probably my favorite weapon by, by far. And I used oh, to yeah, it. it's my favorite yeah. weapon now. By far, by far. I like the great sword the most before, but I mean, it's just a giant great sword. <laughs> oh, what an Axel! Unbelievable! Qu quasi, uh, oh, quasi like, agreed with me I, when I described it like this. Uh, Highland Sword is like playing Shiv 1 in Shiv 2. <laughs> it, it just <laughs> yeah. it feels really... Similar. That's probably why I felt so good to it to use it because I'm so used to those those the drags Ooh, the that you need to perform range. the one. What? And he doesn't get it with the throwing knife. Wow, I know, and he fucking oh, reposted wow. that. Unbelievable. Well done, Bungie. Uh He's really, really, really uh, keeping his defense tight and getting some quick axles in. People think you know a Highlander sword is so slow. Not in the hands of a player like this. It's, it's, it's not slow. <laughs> it's not slow if you know how to make it fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of those some of those turn axles that you can do uh, after a repost, I mean, uh, incredibly quick. Incredibly quick. Now, if I was tr if I was Squid and obviously I'm not and he's got his own playstyle, I've got my own playstyle. I would do I would try to force out more specials if I can. Mm. Because oh, wow, the Highland Sword does not have the initiative. It has to sort of like play a little bit cautiously because of the speed. Yeah, you can't even combo a one-handed weapon with uh, you like you can't safely land a combo after you land a hit with the Highlander sword against weapons that fast. It's actually you have to be very careful. This is Go pretty one close. Time. Yeah, this is quite close. They're both quite hurt. Yeah, so my, my point is Highland Sword can't exactly swing from neutral safely because there's always the risk of getting gambled. And I would try to work in specials into that. Who disarmed and Ooh. he does land an Excel to And that's get interesting. The Axels after um, I, I noticed that playing the Highlander Sword is that if I get a disarm, I'm almost never gonna get the hit after the fact. It's too slow to land a hit instantly. So something happened there that Squid delayed their uh, defense, or was just a little bit too slow, and and Bunchy was able to sneak it in. But a majority of the time, after landing a, uh, a disarm, it's not gonna it's not gonna allow you to hit, get a hit off. Just too slow. You, if you hit at the end of a slash, you can excel the other slash, and that'll make it land. Right, yeah. If you're dragging or doing anything like that, like doing a heavy attack, it has to be an axel into an axel. Otherwise, it's not going to be. Squid, he's not he's not rolling over. Like He hasn't he hasn't Ooh. won a round yet, but he's it's it's still looking hard for Bungie. Ooh, and he oh, trades. What? what a he trade. He trades with a throw. How? Oh my god, yeah, you know, the trades are a thing that were in Chivalry 1 that are no longer a thing in this game, but I think we just saw our first instance, well, obviously, projectile, of course, right? He had to throw it, it left his hand after the fact, but insane, I mean, that's a good trade for him, and in a tournament scenario, he doesn't have to worry about fighting anybody else after that kill, he can safely trade and get a kill. I wouldn't have thought of it. Certainly. Real this nice. Three one in, in favor of Bungie. Good fight so far. These guys are keeping each other on their toes. I'm liking. I'm liking the uh, the Highland Sword versus the one-handed weapon, the sword. You know, with a very very quick weapon. It's just showing that it's so totally viable to use a heavy slow weapon like that if you know how if you know what you're doing. Oh my God, he's getting Honestly, axles I, off. I think it's worth bringing up the opposite. You know, with the counter changes to fast weapons, I feel like it's almost harder to play one-handed. Ooh, like that. Like I that counter just snuck right around. Bit. That was just a very, very sweet counter there from Bungie. I, I think you're totally right. I think the stamina negation off the Highland Sword, I mean, if you make one mistake, your your stamina is gone. And you, you can't do anything about it. And that is extremely strong against those one-handed weapons. So very, very uh, viable now, I think. People didn't really like to use, they would always swap to their one-handed weapon whenever they would be presented with one with a one-handed weapon in duels. But I'm seeing a lot more people just stick into their two-hand. And uh, good to see. Squid switching up to the to man-at-arms. 
Now, on one hand, I see the idea using the shield to sort of get past the stamina problem. Yeah. But there's the other problem of Highland Sword does so much damage, it breaks a shield in three, three hits. hits. Gotta be. Yeah. Four, three or four hits. Oh, he turned away at the last second there to avoid the kick stun. That was smart. Very nice. Oh, the footwork Ooh, from Bungie. Oh my goodness. Wow. I did not expect that hit to land, but he did. And that is going to be the set for Bungie and Squid. An excellent shot. Squid there is Squid. Squid is very good. I'm sure we'll see him in the loser's bracket. Absolutely. It's not over. Absolutely. Never over. It's not over until somebody says it's over. And we have not said it's over yet. We still got some time, folks. Now, I haven't seen... Adrian's still not here. No, I wonder. I, 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 I really hope that he does show up. Uh, I was very I was looking forward to seeing his fights today. He's uh, one of those competitors and, uh, and a good friend of ours that uh, you know is very very fun to watch. He's a great take, island and a great sword player. Let me take a look at the bracket, like not the uh, not the schedule, but the actual bracket. The actual tournament bracket, yeah. yeah. Let's see. So we've uh, got as things are going on. I'm looking at uh, Swag and Jr. for now until they wait for the next round of fights. Cryptic also not arriving. Really? Yeah, I haven't shame. seen Cryptic He could definitely. Today. He, he definitely he, he, could he make was, it. He was uh, number two a in uh, Adrian in the first also. Round of blood. Adrian also man a lot of disqualifications for a tournament with a thousand dollar prize pool. Unfortunately, you know things come up and, and people aren't able to attend sometimes, but. Unfortunate when some of those people are some of the you know most uh, sought after fighters and the best fighters in the game. But I'm sure we'll see them again. This is not the end of their stint with the game. But uh, we still got some really great fighters that did show up today that are taking kicking ass and taking name. Okay, so it looks like Funk is telling us that the uh, they are running both loser brackets at the same time. Gumbachi with the uh, the Highland Sword. Man, I just love the Highland Sword. Yeah, it looks like it's Gumbachi and Punk Daft. I'm sure the people who are here for Punk Daft are going to want to see this, and I always love watching Gumbachi fights, so what do you say we watch this one? Yeah, yeah. Let me just uh, get the scoreboard as fast as humanly possible. Yes, me too. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. Starting off with the a stab. Begins. Yeah, that's the a Highland smart move. Sword stab feels weird. It is use. very weird. It's not fast. It doesn't have a lot of range. Ooh, oh ooh. man, he just got pelted by the shield, and it hits the, the the fence line. Oh my lord, this is a brawl. This is a fucking backyard brawl right now. I was about to say that Goombachi was looking very dominant, and then just two quick hits, and it's even. It's never over. It's never over until the fight happens. Oh my lord! An instant disarm, Doesn't but again, stamina. not able. No, not, not no able stamina to... left on Punk. Yeah, he's got to be quite low. Just out of range for Goom. There, Ooh, throwing out some shots out to of... keep his range away. Gets his stamina back by staying away. Able to repost oh! it. Ooh. Wow, Very nice. that was a great Axel there from Punk Taft. Excellent shot. Look how little health he had. He was kick health away from death there. Yeah, the only thing that's, that stopped him from dying was that if you get disarmed or you get kicked on your block, you will not take lethal damage. Yeah. So I think he got disarmed and it did like two damage instead mm -hmm. of the, the normal amount. Yeah, you can, you, can in, you can infinitely block kicks and not Ooh. die. The second swaps you don't. To he swaps to Greatsword with the Claymore skin. Ooh, okay, good. I haven't seen too many of the claymore skin players and i haven't really gone back to the great sword uh honestly after um since the yeah, Highlander swords came out yeah i enjoy great sword but highland sword is just something else it is a whole nother beast <laughs> a quick stab but it feels so quick now like if you go back to great sword after playing highlander it feels so fast yeah it's it's not it's not a slow weapon i think people just treat it like oh. it's slow yeah, it really isn't. I was always saying that before. Like it's one of those weapons you can axel very quickly. It's like those look down overheads on the on the on the great sword are incredibly fast, incredibly. That's gonna be two for Punk Daft. He's putting a pretty dominant performance right now against Ubachi. Ubachi's gonna see if he can maybe get uh, so some some different strategies here. Yeah, I see him practicing some overheads. I feel like he's gonna be going for a couple axels this fight.
no matter what happens, Gumbachi's bringing home the fashion award. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, he gets an a Ooh. he gets a kick off. Oh, there it is. The jab collide. Yep. Oh, but he, he gets misses the kick that. and was not prepared. He's throwing out too many kicks and jabs, and that might be a way for him to get punished. Oh, he lands that. I thought he was gonna get gambled. Being cautious, keeping his parry up. Almost got Elden Ring jump attacked. Oh, and oh. a quick Axel rides the counter down immediately gets a hit. Yeah, see, Punk, this is what I'm talking about, you know. Punk who didn't do so well in the, the winner's bracket, but, you know, coming over to the loser bracket, he doesn't seem like it affected his confidence too much. That's great to see. Uh, you you want to keep that morale up because, you know, it, it, it's certainly not over until you are completely eliminated. You've got two chances here, and I think Punk is not willing to let his chance go this early. But Gumbachi is not one to be trifled with, and I'm sure that he has a couple tricks up his sleeve that might make this more of a close fight. Gets it might be the there. tournament. It might be the tournament nerves getting to him. I, I like I can tell you just from the the trial by blood that I that we participated in. You know, just the six hundred dollar prize pool got me all nervous. And this yeah, one's it even can, more. It can be, yeah, it can it can be very stressful to, to have to perform and obviously knowing that this is Ooh, being misses uh, the wow the two dodges and then he gets oh. shield tossed oh tragedy tragedy yeah like even if you're not thinking about the the money when you're doing the match it's still in the back of your mind. Match point. I believe in Gumbachi. I think he's I, he's got the stuff, but Punk is oh, looking he has very the juice. dominant. <laughs> he has the juice. He just needs to bring it out. Take it out of the fridge. Ooh, Gumbachi, punishes him for picking up the shield. Oh, and another one, another stab. Oh, oh what excellent decap. Oh, my hey, lord. There we go. He ain't rolling over. <laughs> yeah, he's not done yet. He got one. Let's see if he can get uh, four more in a row. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what's gonna take. Just reverse five O M. It's fine. It's it's easy. Yeah, no worries. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> I've been getting nothing but compliments. We got a compliment from uh, Moon Moon earlier, just complimenting on on the casting. It always feels good. Yeah, Moon Moon Moon's a real nice guy. The best one might say. Not. I'm not gonna oh, go, go too into it. But my relationship with Torn Banner is a bit rocky, but I still appreciate them. They're still they're still nice people, and I think they're really supportive of stuff like this. No, it means it's, a lot. It's the best. It, it means a lot to us that they help us out with these events and, and facilitate the uh, you know us being able to do them. So always appreciated, guys. Oh, oh, unfortunately for Punk or for for Goombachi, that's gonna be the end of his run tonight. Punk Daft securing uh, victory against him, but. Again, an excellent fighter, one of our one of our good friends, and I'm sure that we'll be seeing him in the dual yard practicing for the next. Over here, we've got a do rag and wild card. Let's see what Ooh. the score is. Two to two right now. Two to two for wild card and, and do rag. Okay, yeah, oh, I see me... it's two to three. I think in wild card's favor now. Oh, oh, they, they, I guess the score was a little bit late. Nope, Kip, Cody says wait no. <laughs> it's Durag 3 wildcard 2. We've been bamboozled. Ooh, lands a Mace special. Mace and Morningstar oh! have a... <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> that was an insane stab. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like Durag is pretty good. I, I think uh, just Bungie is sort of a powerhouse dueler. Wild card switching over to short sword and throwing knife. I don't think I've seen him play this ever. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't been to a dual server in a while. Ooh, lands a special. Ambusher wild card, you saying? I've seen him yeah, play I... well, uh, Ambusher a couple times. I love seeing Ambusher in dual tournaments. I think it's a uh, very underused and it's very strong for one of you. 
Especially because they they bumped. They uh they they uh buffed. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! What a special! The special on the dagger is incredibly strong. Wait, is, that a, is that a dagger? Oh, it is a dagger. I thought that yeah. was a short sword because it, no, he's using it, the dagger. All right, look at it. <laughs> all right, look at it. All right, that thing looks like a short sword to me. It's a little bit. It's a little bit long, but it's definitely uh, the dagger. It, I, I love the, the dagger. It's the guard. Yeah, the guard. This definitely I, what makes it I look use, kind of similar. I use I use the uh, the ivory dagger, like the really thin one. I think that one looks really nice. Yeah, I wish I other classes I, I could use the dagger, but then yeah, it wouldn't be class weapon. exclusive. That's true. That's true. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a reason to play ambusher. I want to play ambusher again. One of my favorite classes, honestly. I think it's just one. It, it promotes a very, very fun playstyle of being very dodgy and throwing stuff and keeping range. It gives you a lot of options. You snowball you fight. Up and... <laughs> yeah, they really are. Oh, Wildcard goes for a gamble and then gets punished. Ooh. With another Ooh, special. That's... Oh, that is just All right, dangerous. Four, four. Do not challenge Wildcard on a gamble fight. He will do crazy shit. He does not care. <laughs> All right, it's even. A very. This is, this is a four to four for Wildcard and Durag here. This could be a very interesting fight. Jesus. Relax. Relax, you two. <laughs> Cousin loving donkey swangler. Those are definitely words that you could say out loud. <laughs> Sorry, but you're <laughs> words like that don't even like mean anything to my brain. Like I, they're not even registering. Yeah. <laughs> Tough guy is probably my least favorite voice if I had to pick, honestly. But they have some pretty funny uh, lines. Yeah, this, the, it's a it's a good voice. It's just it, it's also one of my least favorites. There's just so There's many other lot, ones all, that are even the least favorite is still a good voice. Like all the voice lines and voice acting in this game is fantastic. Oh Ooh. my god, the dagger coming out on top. Oh, I'm I coming mean, back uh, for three wins in a row with this. <laughs> the dagger, absolute Chad. You know what? Props to Durag. That was an extremely close bout. That's going to be the end of Durag's stint today in the tournament. But Wildcard is going to keep moving through the loser's bracket. And Spy Team Fortress 2 does it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Looks like we've got a couple fighters in the field here. I see Coplo and Quasi. That's going to be an excellent fight. And there's also Shorts and True Valhalla. These are both great night players. So I want to watch. watch. I want to watch Coplo and, Qu and Quasi. They are both oh, powerhouses. Yeah. These are both absolute powerhouses. Both amazing defensive players. And uh, very, very strong fundamentals. So this is going to be a very interesting fight to see. Let me go ahead and pull up the scoreboard here and get this ready to go. I think I think Coplo might be one of the few people that could really take on Quasi. Quasi is like a fantastic dueler, but I, I, I feel like I feel like he's got it in him. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think I think he's in that tier of players that are that are definitely able to stand toe to toe with Quasi. And uh, even if he doesn't, I think it'll still be a good fight. Absolutely. The foot drag overhead sneaks through Coplo's guard. Ooh. Oh, he misses an overhead, and then Coplo is able to punish. It's always interesting when you see a fight of like this level, but this early into the bracket. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you have to imagine again. We were saying this earlier, but all of the contestants that we have today. Oh, an excellent drag there from Quasi. But all the contestants that we have here today have already fought in a previous Trial by Blood qualifier event. All these contestants have already proved that they are the cream of the crop when it comes to the dueling community. So yeah, these I kind of matchups so early is insane. I believe everybody who's here has placed at least top eight in another tournament. Exactly. These are all top eight qualifiers in the previous tournaments that we've ran. Uh, I believe that's the first win for uh, Quasi, right? Yes. Bungie, I think you're listening to me right now. I, I see you in the in-game chat. You probably shouldn't put on too much pressure on Coplo. You might make him nervous. <laughs> oh, wow. He misses the overhead there. He could have gotten an attack off on Quasi. And he... Uh... Got, I don't know if he got footworked or if he just missed. Or 
we're getting an exchange here, a counter fight back and back. Nobody's landed any uh, attacks yet. But I, I'm sure the pressure is landing up somewhere. We can't see their stamina bar, but that's for a fight like this, that's, that's sort of the invisible health meter. The, lo the lower the, the lower their stamina bar gets, it's just like yeah. you might You'll you start might start them up and them. well even just like seeing it go like halfway. If the other person's stamina isn't halfway, you might be feeling a bit more pressure to land those counters properly. Yes, that's which, true. Which you know adds that pressure. Quasi landing the first uh, attack in the exchange there, still countering back and forth here though. I assume most of these guys are, are pretty good on stamina as it is right now. Both of them are countering every attack. A little bit too many feints coming mm. out right now. Oh, Ooh. and Quasi comes up with a very quick combo, uh, and that's going to finish him off. That's two in the favor of Quasi so far. I wonder if Coplo will switch it up. Coplo, I know, plays a lot of other weapons very well, including Messer, Greatsword. He probably plays Highland Sword. I can't imagine he doesn't. Yeah. He, he could easily switch to something. Yes, yeah, he's pulling out the Messer himself. Yep, there it is. There's the Falks. Okay, so he says, from experience, if you hit Quasi before he hits you, you'll do damage to him, and he won't be able to do damage to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think he, I think he's onto something. Factually correct. I mean, he didn't say lie there. There was nothing lie. There was not a lie said there. If you win, the other person will lose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, an excellent overhead there from Quasi. You see, he likes to follow up attacks with a quick axle there. It's weird. Not Both these people time. almost seem like they're doing the same stuff, but then a couple of, of quasis just sneak through the gap. Yeah, just a I, I, little I, bit different. They do have uh, relatively similar play styles. They're both playing knight, but I think quasi is just edging out just enough to be able to land hits a little more consistently than cope. Oh, is, you see, is he's getting hit with faint and then he's not able to counter, or he's just a little bit too late on his reaction to be able to counter, but you, they're going back and forth quite a bit. Just quasi is edging out these fights just enough to be able to land the hit. Cope's gonna have to switch something up here to not feed into it. You can see that the kind of the rhythm that they've been taking. What is Cope even doing right now? Do you see this? Oh, I'm still out of sneezing. All right, I'm done. That <laughs> was, was he so doing? weird. He was doing the weird slow-mo run where he wasn't moving his legs, but he was still moving across the screen. <laughs> So well, I think I think if I was Cope here, I, I, I would have you. You want to switch something up? I think well, this game is, is, is certainly a rhythm game, and a lot of it is about keeping tempo and being able to pressure your opponent. He gets a good Ooh, axle Lance. there, but he, he he needs to keep uh, up that tempo and, and and keep the pace in his favor. He wants to he dictate swapped, the tempo. He swapped back to longsword. Yeah. He's at a stamina disadvantage, but he did land more hits with longsword than he did the messer. Yes. Now, this is just my... I feel like people don't use specials enough. Ooh, nice hit. No. Oh, he's ooh, getting he's, some really great axles. He's, oh, ooh, and he an keeps the momentum. Combo. He That's keeps great. the momentum. He kept the pace. Exactly what we were talking about, Ziggy. He kept the pace. He dictated the tempo. And he was able to delay his attacks. You see, he didn't go for straight-up combos. He kind of waited for a second and then went for a quick axel stab. And that was what it was able to finish off uh, Quasi there yeah. in, that, in that fight. The, the few times I've killed... Uh, Quasi, I've usually had to do like a really, a really nice mix-up. Like nothing yeah. normal lands against Quasi. I can't like land just a normal drag. He's just too used to it. No, absolutely. He, absolutely. he played Shiv one. The dra drags in that game are out of this world. Yeah, that's he's for not, sure. He's, he's not falling for any of this. You have to go out of your way to make it uh, to make an attack land on him for sure. couple has got it in him. Certainly does. I mean, we, we just saw proof of it right now. Ooh, that was an early counter. I'm surprised that that landed. Ooh, I think I think if uh, Coplo didn't, he had a little bit more confidence in his counter, he would have actually landed a hit there. But he, he yeah. fainted it on accident. Oh, wow. He Ooh, tracks him with a stab and an overhead. Oh, my God. How much three health hits. does Quasi have? Not enough to jab, but he's a hit away. No, yeah, he's one hit away. Not enough for jab health, though, which is good for Quasi. But Quasi's got nerves. This, he, he might not be feeling any pressure right now. 
He's, he's still he's still keeping the tempo. You can see that the, the pace has shifted a little bit, and I think Quasi is the one taking the aggressive stance here. Coplo's just mashing him and trying to get attacks off. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to happen, but I Quasi has a thing. If he swaps loadouts, that's sort of like a, a reset for him. Oh, Ooh, nice. Wow, excellent, he responds, Axel. He responds with, with getting hit by just swinging again. I, w <laughs> I wouldn't call it a gamble, but it was like just a, just, just aggression. Yeah, definitely a little bit of aggression. I mean, he had the health to risk it, so it's not really... that was It was a controlled gamble, if I would have to say. Yeah, so something that happened with uh, with Quasi is back when he was fighting Cryptic in the Trial by Blood number one finals, he swapped from Danax to Messer, and it wasn't because he was, like, he, he wanted to use the Messer over the Danax. It was just sort of like a, a reset. Like, he just wanted yeah. to reset his brain to something else to keep himself back to confidence. Absolutely, stuff like that. yeah. And I feel like if uh, if Coplo keeps the momentum up and he keeps that up, we might see Quasi switch. We might not. I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you caught that, right? <laughs> I I did. <laughs> Quasi got a bit of stamina for that, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, he did get some stamina for that, unfortunately. But I don't think it's going to change too much in this fight. <laughs> Coplo one hit away, Quasi about two hits away. Yeah. But Coplo, I know he's got it in him. These fights are really close. Yes, absolutely. A great 360 swing there. Not enough to find purchase though. A lot of matching right now. Nobody really has the edge. You Nobody's know what really I noticed? After getting hit with those foot hits a couple times, Coplo is turning his his guard really far to the left and right. I, I just caught it just a little bit ago. Ooh, nice. Ooh, very good stab there. From three, Coplo. three. And they're yeah, they're they're tied up right now, which is incredible. Incredible. These fighters yeah. are the top of the line. Very very. Yes. Good. So. Uh, Co Coplo got hit with a couple of foot drags early on, but now, like I saw, Quasi went for an overhead, and he turned his guard almost 90 degrees to the to the left to, to counter the overhead, just to make sure it wouldn't hit him behind his parry. Yeah, that's a smart thing because Quasi is very good at that. He knows how to play angles very well. He knows how to get strikes around your parry. Cope noticed that after getting hit with that foot stab, like you said. So I think. Again, another indication of these top tier players is their ability to adapt to their opponent's playstyle as the fight goes on in the ra in the later rounds. You can see that uh, visual evidence of that right there in that last fight. This is a really intense fight. Yeah. Like I said, I think I think Coplo is one of the few people that can really push Quasi. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing he's, it. He's he's gotten so much better uh, over time. Oh, but Quasi Ooh. lands a Ooh. really great combo. Oh, man, and a, a three quick piece combo. combo. Yeah. Quasi, Quasi, Quasi follows Coplo up. KFC. <laughs> he follows up any hits he gets with really fast options rather than going yeah. for like a, a feint more often than not, which it may not get him a hit every time, but it's a lot safer. Absolutely. Yeah, and you don't if, the other person, like if the other person does anything that they shouldn't, they get punished for it, like right there. Yeah, very, very smart play by Quasi. 4-3, match point. Coplo got a win two. Quasi's got a win one. Mm -hmm. Let's see who keeps the tempo here. The winner of this fight is going to be decided by who is able to keep that rhythm and keep the pressure on their opponent. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, Coplo definitely looks better. <laughs> Yeah. Look at him, beautiful. Well, you can't, you can't fault. I mean, Quasi has been has been default knight since like day one. <laughs> he's using he's using that messer skin because it's harder to read. It is. <laughs> he told me so. I know. I know it. Emmeth is a little bit close to the fight. He didn't see yeah. what happened to the ref, I guess. <laughs> Quasi, please hit me. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, you cope misses Ooh, an overhead and gets punished. And he punished. misses the jab too. Ooh, and he's oh, almost he out of stamina. 
Oh my lord. If I was Coplo, I'd back off and get your stamina while Quasi's not pushing. You could even yeah, right regen now. a bit of health if you're careful. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. very close. That Messer stab is just not enough damage to kill Cope, but solo. Oh, and, and there I it miss. Is. Very good, Cope. very good push from Coplo, but Quasi just had those nerves. Quasi has nerves of steel. He has thousands of hours of experience and is one of the best fighters in the game. Evidenced by his win in the first trial by blood, but Coplo putting on a really, really good fight, keeping Quasi on his toes. I mean, that he was anybody's back. fight. He can Absolutely. come back. He still has he still has chances here in losers bracket. I would not be surprised if we saw Coplo in the later stages of this game coming back up from losers bracket. Proof is Great currently fight. fighting short. Uh, short is up four to two. Two Messer Knights going at it. As they do, as they do. A lot of counters getting thrown out right now. We're gonna see who breaks first. That was a really close fight. Oh, that was a great stab around the parry from Truth there. Yeah, these two, these, these two seem like they're Pretty evenly skilled, but I I think Short has just been like he must have just been inching it out because th this this fight seems really close. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I I Ooh, fought both in. these fighters a lot, and they're very good at at counter trading. I think I, I had a fight yesterday with Short that lasted like two minutes because we just kept trading blows the whole time. I mean, all right, so far they've only really landed Messer stabs. <laughs> They just they just keep stabbing at each other. Oh, this could go either way. How how low is oh sh uh, short is is is, is basically Ooh, jab a special. Away. Yeah, he throws out a special, keeping short on his toes, keeping him on the back foot, going for the jab. You saw he went for an attack, purposely missed, and then went for a jab to try and land it, but was not able to do so. Stab stab. A lot of stabs coming out now. He just, he needs one attack. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for any any quick attack he can land. I think he needs to throw in a, 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 a kick. Oh, but there it is. Ooh. Truth able to inch back that victory. I think it's 3-4 now in favor of Short. So Truth needs to win two more rounds to be able to win the whole set. Short just needs to take care of business one more time. Who's making it happen? And then right and after Truth that, is... I see Bungie right in the other ring getting ready for his. I'm I'm excited to see more Halbert, honestly. But we could watch somebody Ooh. else because we already watched Bungie twice. Yeah, oh, Shin Bop and Amethyst are fighting right now. Or they're that's going a, that's to be another, fighting. That's another that's good, a really one. good set. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave it up to you to decide who you want to watch because I think they'll both be really entertaining. Like it. Is it Bungie and Swag and the Shin Bop and Amethyst? I think so. I think we've watched... Have we watched Amethyst yet? Yes. Something. We did? So maybe we watch uh, Swag and Bunch. That's the group. Both fighters here trading blows, countering everyone that comes through. I th they both landed a hit on each other. And Proof lands another, another stab. stab. Oh, an Ooh, excellent th special. Putting on the stamina pressure. Short throwing out more feints and heavies, and also eating that special. I feel like his his stamina might be a little bit lower, but I can't I, prove that. I think it is. I've seen him eat a couple reposts as well. I have a feeling that he might be lower, especially after taking that damage. There, Troop is definitely going to be up on stamina. Yeah, I can hear them huffing. I I heard it for a moment. I think they already got their stamina back up a little bit. But they're on the cusp. For very low on health, Truth still has a pretty large health advantage. If he Could wins go this fight, way. he's going to tie it up. Yeah. Another, Another special. He's doing really good at that. Keeping pressure up. Anytime. This is a little tip for anybody who's watching. If your opponent is waiting for you to do something, you can throw out a special. Yeah. Unless they're like face hugging and they can react with a jab, they probably can't react with a normal attack. Wow! Look at these guys. Specials incredible. are really nice. Incredible. Ooh, yeah, but incredible. he's a hit. Truth not not letting him get any momentum oh, though. Oh wow! Unbelievable. Four four. 
four four to these guys. I definitely want, I believe Shinbop and Amethyst have already started fighting, but I do want to finish this fight out. This looks fantastic. It's been a really, really good match so far. These guys are very evenly matched. It's, oh, you, you really love these these kinds of fights where they're very neck and neck the whole time. I need a drink. Thirsty. <laughs> All these fights are just really intense. Absolutely, yeah. It's very, very nail biter. And as we go up the time. bracket, they're just going to keep getting more and more intense mm -hmm. each time. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially when we get to first to seven for the championship fights. A lot more time to adapt. Oh, a great... He Whoa, two! Oh, Truth is really low health Hello, now. He's like one good hit Doom. away from dying. Probably not a stab, but I would imagine an overhead what or a What region are you in? It. And welcome. I hope you enjoy. He's got to be feeling the pressure here now. As long as you don't get hit. Just just don't get hit. Just don't get hit, silly. See, I, uh, that's what I was he's saying. Another stab. But he, he's not he, dead he's yet. Not dead yet, but he, he is probably jab at the way. Fight to your last breath. Short not going for any any jabs or any kicks. I was thinking about that. I was about to say something. Is if I was in that scenario, I, I certainly would have already went for it. But that he also might not might be, be thinking about it. He might not be thinking about it, and he might be thinking that Truth is expecting it now that he's I, in low health. I don't but, think Truth is being safe enough from those things. Truth no, he's, he's, he's a bit close. farther away. Yeah, he needs to be staying a little farther away. He needs to use his range because if he gets kicked once, he's fucked. Man, this fight is incredible, though. They're really, really going at it. I, I've never developed a muscle memory, but I've thought about it. I, I've always wanted to be able to react to a kick with my own kick to defend myself in those scenarios, but it just it <laughs> never comes up enough to practice. Yeah, it's a tough situation. I feel like it's almost always better to just back away and go for an attack of your own. Well, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you're too close. Yeah, sometimes you're just not, you're not far enough away, or sometimes you don't have enough health to trade and you're fucked. Oops. Nice little jab to break up the rhythm here. He might be able to allow Truth to get some time to... Uh... But here's the thing. Now that Short has seen Truth jab, is he going to think about it and use his own? <laughs> I was I was also thinking about that. Ooh, Truth misses, but he doesn't get punished. My lord, this fight. It, it's, it literally it hasn't stopped. <laughs> They're really... They really... I mean, this is, this is for cash money, gentlemen and ladies. So everything is on the line here. Wow! Uh, and the ex Excel just sneaks through. Unbelievable. What a fight from both of these fighters. I mean, that was incredible. I mean, props to Truth and Short. Both incredible fighters. Very good I fights. Don't, Very good fights. I don't think the I don't think Shinbop and Amethyst have started, but uh, now Bungie and Swag are going to fight. Would you like to watch Bungie and Swag? or? Yes, absolutely. Let's go watch Bungie oh. and Swag. Swag is the guy who took me out. You know, the first trial by blood, I fought Truth. Then I fought... Quasi, and then I fought Swag in the loser's bracket. <laughs> really did good, uh, really good did odds. You, did you know, a Swag Mountains does not have all the subclasses unlocked. <laughs> he only plays Knight. He only plays Knight Longsword. Well, he does, he does, uh, uh he, you know, he, I, I played with him a little while ago, and he's always been a, a Longsword Knight. The only one that I like, of course, but he's, uh, um... What he has also done is he, he, he got Longsword to 200 without buying the premium skin. He got it, like, through straight-up leveling, which is insanity. And uh, now he said, oh, you know what, I guess I have that, and I can start playing other weapons. So he started playing other weapons now, too. But he's still a Longsword hard, uh, Longsword made at heart, of course. I'm always excited to see somebody play Halberd, because it's, it's just, it's, it, it wasn't good, and now it's good. <laughs> I just really like pole arms, man. Like even in Elden Ring, I just really like pole arms. Of course, of course. I mean, they're just cool weapons. You got you're like on a stick. <laughs> it's like a blade, but on a stick. I love it. Well, so, it's something of going to like realistic physics and stuff. And obviously, none of these games are realistic. But some, it's something wow. like swords are bendy. They're not really rigid, and mm -hmm. wood is really rigid. So you can deliver a lot more force with like. A, an axe on a stick than you can like a big sword even 
I f yeah, I totally understand. That makes sense. I'm no physicist, Bungie, but uh, Bungie makes sneaking sense. in hits. What? And yeah, he nice. snuck in three hits there, right around that, uh, right around this guy's parry. I don't know if he had a parry yet, but it was an angle that would have hit behind him regardless. Bungie ate, I believe, a jab, just a jab. I don't think he ate too much. I used to fight a. Uh, I used to fight Swag with my with my halberd. Yes. It it was pretty yes, tough, Lord. but I mean I, he's not like naked from experience. You know he I, he did fight me a lot with it. It's just oh I don't know I don't, that he can do that. I don't. Think I don't think do that's that. allowed. No, certainly not. Uh, but but we'll I, see I, if I don't. It's called. It didn't get hit. So I'm sure the ref will tell him otherwise. Like after the fight or whatever. But right. It's all right. Ooh, lands a Ooh. lands a kick. Big kick. He avoids actually... the jab. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Almost punishes him. Oh, the stab! Oh my lord! It's a real shame Highland Sword came out, because I would love to play Halberd. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's... I think, I think one hit from Halberd, no matter the attack, would kill Swag now. Yeah, he's definitely a one hit away. He can get stabs, flash. Halbert is Halbert is just a three hit machine now. Like it just kills everybody in three hits. Those fifty five damage light stabs. Oh, Ooh, real what an nice. Overhead Axel, that was beautiful. That's gonna be one one tying up the fight here. One, no, I Bungie's up two zero. Oh, is he? I thought Swag. Yeah. I thought Swag won that first fight. That's my bad. I don't know. I apologize, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Doofus, stupid, stupid, stupid. Nah, you're not stupid. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, right, here it, we go. Go, go back like a half. No, wait, was that like an hour ago? I think it was like an hour. Yeah, go back like an hour and a half ago. I was, a, I was like a wreck. I, I couldn't pay attention to anything. <laughs> but now, now I'm all relaxed. It, it, things happen. Yeah, somebody's looking like you, cosplaying as you, playing a halberd. You gotta be, you gotta be feeling good. <laughs> I, I do. I like it. If it wasn't for Highland Sword just being so nice, I'd, I'd still be playing it. I still like Halberd. Just, you know, they add in a weapon like that. It's just It's real nice. I've been going back to Pole Hammer as of late, just for fun. I've been enjoying that weapon again. Old CERN. I do like Lucerne. Fights Bungie, of uh, migrating. Really nice. Oh, that was oh, a look. good little turnaround there. You like that? Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Ooh, that almost landed, but longsword. Yeah. Longsword, you like? Can we go home soon? <laughs> I I think given the buff to Halberd, Halberd isn't like bad at all. I think Halberd is like a A tier weapon. Yeah, I don't know if it, I don't know if I'd call it as good as longsword, but I'd call it like. Especially for team fights, I think it might be like just one of the best weapons for that kind of thing. For, for, for sure, dueling? I think it, duels is not really the the range can be helpful if you know how to do spacing correctly. Oh, great stab from Swag there! But I feel like uh, the 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 benefit of the halberd comes into play a lot more in big team games. Sure, having that reach is very helpful to hit multiple people at once. Yeah, I uh, I. The thing about it, like, I don't normally think I can out... Like, with, if I'm using Greatsword, I f almost feel like I can't outrange Longsword at all. But when I'm using right. Halberd, I feel like I can outrange Longsword. And I I, I feel like uh, Bunchy right there didn't think that he was going to get hit with that stab. I think he was trying to do range stuff. Yeah, no, I think he was trying to... He was relying on his spacing, and uh, the Longsword stab is very, very long. It is long, as it, as it implies. A tough thing about playing Halberd is Footman is, like, Footman's not super slow, but Halberd is really heavy combined with that. And what it ends up happening, what ends up happening is, like, you aren't moving fast enough. You aren't, you aren't moving fast enough. You know? Yeah, I guess you. It makes, it makes using your range harder. Absolutely. And the fight begins. <laughs> he really just killed the ref. Pal on the field. <laughs> Roughing the ref up. Yeah, Bungie's a goober. <laughs> yeah, that's the one word I would describe him. I love him. 
Gotta he's he's actually Bungie's the reason I'm I'm casting things at all. Like he's he asked me to cast things for him and also encouraged me to cast other events like this one. And uh, I, I I really gotta thank him. It's been an amazing thing. It's a lot of fun, man. And being able to host these kind of events is is uh, for the community is just a blast. He's a great guy. Ooh, that was a great uh, slash that there. A, I'm surprised that landed. That was like a neutral drag, right? Yeah, Halbert has amazing neutral drags on the slashes. It's it's kind of wacky. You wouldn't yeah, expect that it. Right there. Oh, he lands a great stab in between Bungie's attacks there. Oh, but Bungie retorts. Kick lands is not land flush though. I'm wondering if we're gonna see a special from Swag. Swag is actually there. It is. <laughs> literally you, called it the second. <laughs> you made it happen. I literally made it happen. He's fond of specials. He's one of the f uh, few longsword players I see uses them pretty consistently. Swag almost out of stamina. I, I heard it yeah. for a moment. Oh yeah, I can see like him going for those early counters just to like make sure he doesn't get reposted. Yeah. I think he's back up to normal stamina, but it was. Oh, Ooh. wow, what an Axel, my lord. Nice. Well done by Bungie. Albert, like my Shin beloved. Bob and Amethyst to finish up their set. Shin winning five to one. So we'll be seeing more of that later as well. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a couple of these uh, Longsword Knight players face off at the end of the, the brackets. But Bungie three, Thank swag one as it is right now. Bungie... I now this is it unexpected. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed because the skin, but Swag switches to Messer. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. Then Bungie opens up with a special and misses. God bless. <laughs> God bless. Oh, I don't know if I've ever that. seen Swag use the Messer. Ever. I've I never have, seen it's it. Very rare. It's very rare. Very rare Swag Messer. Oh, he lands the kick, but he goes for a foot attack. He gets a little bit less damage out of that. Probably was making sure he doesn't get ducked, just, just yeah, in case. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, he went for a quick axel, but didn't get it off. Halbert a three-shot regardless. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, what and a the drag. neutral drag. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, those neutral drags are dangerous. Because, like, Halbert can be really fast if you excel the slash, but then you, just, you can just slow it down. Yeah. You can slow it right the fuck down. Oh, yeah. Excuse me for not answering. It's just, you know, I'm commentating and stuff. Yeah, Highlander is just a little bit longer than Greatsword. Now, Swag swag is really good. I, I feel like he can bring this back. But Bungie is just a real Ooh. powerhouse. Ooh, nice. Ooh, oh, and wow. those overheads those from range. Oh, oh he and gets a, a little bit too, yeah, a little bit too sloppy. And that is going to cost him the win there, unfortunately. But good fights from both of these guys. Both 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 powerhouses. Both big swag, names in the dual community. Swag tried to uh, tried to abuse the longsword speed there in case he did a mix up, which I guess I could call a gamble. And uh, Bungie just defended himself from a gamble. Yep. But we'll be seeing more of Swag in the losers bracket. So. All right. Are they? Uh, in... Is this halftime or? Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the yeah. Take brackets. a take a quick look. Because um, I, I don't see anybody moving onto the field. Uh, we're probably going to yeah. be heading to... Because yeah. we, we just finished winner, winner's quarterfinals. Yeah, Funk um, just said 10 minutes. 10 minute break. All right. So can you take... Uh, just give, give me two and I'm going to go use the restroom and be right back, Siggy. So uh, yeah, and I'll grab a drink when you come back. All right. Two to five. Give me one second. Probably I might, I might throw some food in too. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Now that I'm here by myself... Hi, everybody. Uh, I can't exactly talk to Beard's chat, but I hope you're all enjoying. And again, I'd like to say thank you to Torn Banner for being so kind and supportive and stuff like that. Listen, I look. I don't. Our. How do I put this? My relationship with Torn Banner is not the healthiest, but I'm always. I like you guys. <laughs> I, I I do like you guys. I just, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little bit of a, of a grouch. I apologize. And uh, thank you guys for being supportive of events like this and stuff. I do appreciate it. 
Dude, nice job, Bungie, with the halberd. And hello, another rain. Great to see you, too. Glad you could make it. I'm a, I'm a I'm a big fan of this. I got I want to watch Captain Agatha. I was excited to watch Captain Agatha fight Adrian, but Adrian just didn't show up. He didn't show up today. This is nice stuff. The, these fights have been have been real nice, and I'm glad there's a lot more. I'm glad there's more than just... Uh, oh, look, there's Adrian showing up super late. I wonder if he can sneak in and get the matches in. Uh, I, I'm, I've I'm, i been liking the different matchups. I'm glad it's not just all longsword and, you know, basic messer and stuff like that. I'm glad there's a lot more new stuff. I want to see more Highland Sword. I, I like... I like Bungie's Halberd and Highland Sword <laughs> mix. Big fan. You're so Oh, Adrian thought it was at six. Oh, no. <laughs> Clueless. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully they can. Hopefully they can make something happen if they're lucky. Maybe they can get Adrian to, to get his matches in a little bit late. Maybe not. If they can't, you know, sh shit happens. But if they can, y you know, you know. Why don't we take a quick look at the the bracket real quick and see what's going on with that? What do we got going on here? In the winner's bracket for the winner's semifinal, we have Shin and Quasi, oh man, and uh, Short and Bungie, also oh man. These are going to be nice, nice matches. We've got a couple of losers bracket matches to go through. QC and Rabbit, Eruption and Wildcard, Walrus and Kara. And uh, who knows? Maybe they can make. Maybe Adrian can. No, I don't. I don't know how they could get Adrian to. I don't know if they can sneak Adrian back in. If I don't know if they can undo decisions. I'd like to see Bungie and and Quasi go at it. Though I don't. I don't know, man. Wasn't Colin supposed to be here? I don't see Colin on on the list, so I don't think so. I don't think Colin signed up, which would mean that he wasn't supposed to be here. What do you guys think? Have you guys been been enjoying this? I I think it's pretty nice. Colin backed out. Ah, I see. Well, at least this slot got filled. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving this stuff, man. Hey, you know, not just me. Beard is also casting. Let's not... Let's not give me too much credit. Don't give me too much credit. We're having a connect and Moon Moon are having a, a fight. Moon Moon wins. God bless. Oh 
man. Uh, wild card, if you could let me know, what's the what are the prizes for this for this uh, tournament? What what's what's like what's the winner's like prize? What's the what's like first, second, and third place? Because I I know like the prize pool is a thousand dollars, but they aren't uh, like it's not winner gets a thousand dollars. It's like winner might get like eight hundred, and then second place gets six hundred, three hundred, and a th and one hundred. Damn. Damn, that's that, that's that's some stuff right there. Six hundred million dollars. All right, I'm back. Sorry, Ziggy, we got kicked for inactivity for a second, so I will be right back. But you can go ahead and uh, take your break. Yeah, I I needed to get a, dr a drink. I'm thirsty. Hey, Adrian showed up super thirsty. late. Oh, Adrian. <laughs> he, sh he showed up and he went, oh, I'm late? I thought it started <laughs> oh, at 6. No, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think they can sneak him in either, which is unfortunate. I don't think so. That's so unfortunate. Sorry, buddy. I, we're I mean, looking he, forward to watching you. He missed all the announcements. That's true. Well, next time, buddy. Love him, but yeah. Ah, oh, well. All right. I will be back in just a moment. Just got to get up here. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Got yeah, everybody out here on the field just uh, having a grand old time hitting each other. That <laughs> looks like Daddy Ware doing a doing a Montez con cosplay. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, I, have, I have a choice. Do I go with do I go with Pepsi or do I go with uh, a mug moment? Are you a mug gamer? You I like might mug? be a mug gamer. I do have some <laughs> mug. Do I make it a mug moment? I don't. Oh man, I am not a root beer guy, but I'm so glad that you are. Please, I, please enjoy that I'm mug. A, I'm not. I'm not a super root beer guy either. <laughs> but you know when I'm drinking root beer, I've got to have the mug. mug time, brother. All right, I'm getting the mug. <laughs> do it, man. Uh, just so you know. It looks like we'll be returning with Squid and Sir Sans and then Captain Agatha and Punk Daft so we can pick between those two fights when they go down. All right, I'm back. Mug moment. What are, who are we watching? Uh, we can pick between Squid and Sir Sans or Captain Agatha and Punk Daft is what I'm told. Squid and... All right, my brain like skipped a beat. Squid and who? Squid and Sir Sans and Captain Agatha and Punk Daft is what I am told in the chat. I brought a PB and J if you want to bite. I don't know if you're like a strawberry jam guy, but I am. I've got some. I've got some blueberry jam, and I peanut butter Ooh. blueberry jam is nice. That sounds amazing. I never tried that. I've had raspberry jam. I've had grape jam, but I've never had. Blueberry jam. That sounds great. Okay, so here's the thing. I want to watch Captain Agatha, but we've already watched Punk Punk Daff like twice. There are a lot I... of Punk Daff fans in the chat. Of course, we haven't seen Captain Agatha yet. All right, let's, we have let's watch seen them. both of these other fighters. I think as well, right? All right, let's go ahead and get those scoreboards up. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're already starting. They're good. They're starting now. Ah, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, there we go. <clears throat> Ooh, Agatha. Go oh my lord! Not all, not all that was damage, but he just he did a lot of pressure. He did a jab into special into backup shield throw. Oh, and he uh, got disarmed. I don't know if that was from low stamina or if it was from oh, oh the toss. Oh my lord! And he pulled out the rapier. <laughs> Oh, He's the rapier! You remember, remember what happened oh. with the- Oh, he went for the Captain Agatha fist, but he got hit with a short sword. <laughs> God bless. What a maniac. God bless. God bless. Punk Daft won. Agatha Hero. A fight of two man at arms players. Captain, Let's see Cap this. Captain Agatha is kind of fighting like Mike Tyson. He just throws out all of his stamina <laughs> right away. Yeah, he's a brawler. He's like, uh, fuck, what's that guy's name? Mike Tyson was pretty technical, actually. Yeah, he was, but he but he was like, 
His uh, his thing was he did not have endurance, so he would try to end a fight really fast. Really quickly, yeah. He's and like all um, of like like Rocky. That's what he's like. He just takes a hit and keeps going. <laughs> all of Mike Tyson's losses were not in like before round three. They were always like later on. Mhm. Mm and later in his career, of course. Yeah, I think he I think he got like twenty something wins before he got a loss. But I don't remember. Well, good thing this is chivalry hour and not yeah. boxing hour. Man, I, I like boxing. No, I think boxing is cool. Well, I love boxing. Absolutely. Here we go. Round two of this fight begins. This, this is round three, actually. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> Punk Draft snuck in a, a win like really fast. Man, I just uh, totally missed that while I was talking to you. <laughs> Agatha puts the weapon away to, to fist. Wow. He's 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 right, going Lord. in, but Punk the is just fist. not falling for it. Oh, and right in the back, how unfortunate. Kevin Agatha, our hero. Yeah, he's just he's just not falling for any of those tricks. Adrian asking if uh, Quasi and Shin have fought. I don't I don't believe that they have. No, I don't think that they fought. They 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 might meet up later in the in the bracket, but as of as of yet, I do not believe they fought. Let me check real three. quick. Yeah. No. Actually, they're fighting next, I believe. They're fighting next. Or, okay, and, wonderful. Or whenever we go back to the winner's bracket, I think we're going to doing a bit of loser's bracket first. Right, right. I admire Captain Agatha's persistence. Mm-hmm. But I just... I really think he should be a little bit safer. Oh, my Lord! Oh, but look at it. But look at him go. Look at him go. Oh He's my god, trying. imagine. <gasps> <laughs> you know what? He got one. <laughs> yeah, Captain Agatha! <laughs> jumps over the <laughs> jumps over the overhead. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, who needs to be safe when you're a fucking legend? <laughs> like Captain Agatha. A hero. He has plot armor, Ziggy. <laughs> he threw on barricade shield and he's, and he's having a good time. Oh my god, barricade shield. <laughs> oh! Ooh! This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really interesting. I mean, this is an entertaining fight at the very he, least. I, he's getting, he's getting in Punk's head. Yeah, he really is. Oh, but he's. he's oh, gonna, but that was a bad move. Yeah, he's gonna get punished for that. They're both out of stamina. He gets, he gets the shield back. Stop jumping, Agatha! Get some stamina back, you bastard! <laughs> he doesn't need it. He's got a shield. Oh man, I'm surprised he didn't land that. Wow. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> My lord, he's an animal! No! Oh. No, Agatha, no! <laughs> oh, man. Excellent fights from these two. This is so fun to watch. <laughs> I, I have to just admire it. It's not a good plan, but it... <laughs> but it is awesome. 4-1 <laughs> in favor of Punk Daft here. Captain the Agatha, unbreakable. The hero. The Captain unbreakable. Agatha, the unbreakable. The unshakable. <laughs> Never in his life has this man ever given up. No, not once. He's been in so many of our tournaments. I, I love him every time he comes. Every time he comes to fight for us, I love it. You know, I actually, like, I actually, the first time I encountered Captain Agatha, he, like, he started, he was doing the same thing. Oh my god, around and, the parry, did you see that? Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> wacko. <laughs> <laughs> he got two! Unbelievable! The no. first time I fought Captain Agatha, I, uh, like, I actually pulled out my fist, and he, and he like, he asked me, no, please use your weapon, don't please use, use your... Please use your weapons, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't just use your fists. Yeah, Adrian pointed something out, too. Uh, he, he has some, like... The best mix-ups with the shield. He's so good at hiding the throw, 
or like mixing in an attack when he does those jump attacks like it's so off kilter oh you see he's he's went night now interesting I, Going for a little more what, health here i i don't know what to say i've never seen this in my life <laughs> I, said. I fought him yesterday with this this class he was using an axe though oh my lord now he really is unbreakable <laughs> Somebody's out of stamina already. Oh my god. He doesn't need it. He's got a shield. Oh my lord. Unmatched durability. <laughs> Unmatched endurance. <laughs> He's gonna pick up his shield? Oh my lord. What a fight. What a fight. <laughs> oh. It's, oh, it's he gets hit. It's actually kinda even. No! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Captain Agatha likes to toss a little bit too close to his opponent, but man, is, isn't it God a bless. show every time he fights? And you cannot get any better than that, folks. One of the most entertaining, fun fighters to watch in the tournaments every time. But props to Captain Agatha, props to Punk Daft for putting up a good fight as well. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, Winter Soldier and Falcon coming together. Unbelievable, what a fight. All right, so now what's going on? Uh, this looks like we've got Rabbit and KC on the same side here, both using spears. I don't see any other fighters on the field as it is right now. Are they are they fighting? I don't think they're fighting. No, they may just be goofing around. Oh, let's check the bracket. Da, da, da. It looks like being updated right now. Halftime is gone. We already watched Captain Agatha fight, so it looks like the next one should be Guac and Reptar, KC and Rabbit, so they are fighting. Eruption and Wildcard and Fat Walrus and Caratello. You know, I thought Jim Thickens was supposed to be here today too. That might have been another I dropout. Don't I don't see oh. him on the bracket. <clears throat> he was supposed to be here earlier, and I remember yesterday he told me he was going to be fighting, and that's what the Miles excited. Wait, no, there he is. I, I can... I can see him. He's a uh, on the the ring A side at the 4:30. I can, I can see him on there. Ah, I see. Okay, wonderful. Well, but I, I don't see him fight. I don't. I didn't see him in the game either. Unfortunately. Uh, if I way. check the bracket, where is he? Is he on here? Do you want to want to go ahead and watch this spear fight? I don't think anybody yeah, else qualified. Is... Oh, that's. Done. Yeah, let's... maybe next. One. Yeah, we can watch this. I don't think they've started yet. No, it looks like they're about to right now. Looks like Cody is refereeing the fight and Rabbit and uh, this is KC, correct? KC and Rabbit are fighting spear to spear. It should be an interesting fight. I have wild never seen a eruption. spear to spear fight. Wild, wild card and eruption are fighting, but I, I this this is honestly more interesting. I want to see how this yeah, goes. I've, I've, I've never seen a spear on spear fight in 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 in, uh, in a tournament. This is very rare. I'm gonna need to reset my scoreboard now. <laughs> oh my god! No way. <laughs> Look at him. No. Oh, but but even with the throw, it doesn't matter. Now look. He's, oh, oh he's, he, he can't, can't do that though. He can't, he can't, he do, can't that. do that. He can't do that. Oh, oh he got, doesn't matter. He, he lost do anyway. You can't do that, rabbit. Everybody's picking up stuff today. You gotta be a little more careful about that, guys. That's a uh, KC's win for the first one. Four boards apply. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> believe. Q so QC did the special. I'm not sure if you noticed it. QC did the special, and he just waited there. And Rabbit tried to stab him from a safe range, and he did. He just barely missed QC's face. And then QC just does like the little stab that you do from the, the low position. Was <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I was in the scoreboard. I'm so mad I missed that. <laughs> so, so awful. Oh, they they take the out those short swords. Incredibly BM. The spear can be a very incredibly BM. Oh? Oh, he goes for an early counter and fucks it up. Yeah, the counter windows on these uh, these really fast one-handers are was like so much lower now. What is I, going on? Did he disconnect? Oh, oh, oh God! I've had worse he's having a, he's having a bit of a <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, of Lord, course. Connection. Uh, that you, man, you just don't understand high skill maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> oh. This is a bloodhound step Ooh. in real life, bro. Oh my god, he's so low. 
Rabbit's at zero health. He's easily. Oh! <laughs> uh huh. Incredible! Well, this later half of after halftime, things picked up really quick. This is he's, insane. These fights are stupid. These are, these are some of the best fights that I, I've I've watched <laughs> as, as a caster on Trial by Blood. I'm not even gonna lie. If you guys are missing these fights, you are missing out. <laughs> QC switches to longsword. Mm, rabbit as well. Uh, I think they might be. Are they just doing mirror matches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're having a little bit of fun with each other, which I, I respect. You know, I'm just gonna give my opinion on this. <laughs> that armor that Rabbit is wearing looks terrible. That you don't like that. It? No, I hate it. I think it looks I, cool. I, I don't wear it myself, but I, I think it looks cool. I despise all of all like every variation of it. You don't like studs, man? No. <laughs> hey, man, to each their own. Oh, wow, he missed. He overdrags the shit out of that attack, and he misses, but he gets punished with a quick overhead. Oh, Lord. Oh, and KC grabs another. <laughs> Almost kills the ref. I think nice it's 2 1 in KC's favor. It, it switches again. Yeah, what are we going to be seeing here? We're seeing a variety pack of uh, of loadouts today. I see Rabbit's responding with an Executioner's Axe. Executioner's Axe? On Vanguard. Axe? What yeah. in the goddamn? <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is a really interesting matchup. I, I like. I'm glad that QC we chose to watch switches to Highland guys. Sword. Better Executioner oh. Axe, you might say. Yeah, somebody might say that. Rabbit's attacking Me. the wall. I'm wondering where he's, what he's doing. He's, he's, he might be swapping. I think he might be mirror matching. I, I assume oh, they're God, talking to one another. Is he, is he really? Quick? Are they really? Let's see. What does he spawn with here? Let's not drag this process out too long, competitors. <laughs> we love a little bit of fun, us. but let's. I know, I know. Yeah, they, they're, they're def no, that's, yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, definitely mirror match. Mirror match. Here we go. Highland Sword versus Highland Sword. These are fun fights. I haven't seen one of these yet on the tournament. So, uh, gotta be very interesting to see these guys. Let's see. Big wide attacks. Rabbit going for it. Oh, but he gets immediately sprint attacks and an immediately deck. Oh, my lord. You that see, was unfortunate. Yeah, I, now, look, I don't want to take all the credit. But I did teach QC how to do the funny mall drive-by technique where you just kind of stay in full sprint <laughs> yeah. and like swing the mall. Yeah, I, 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 I'd like to think he used <laughs> a little bit of that just now. <laughs> Those sprint attacks on the Highland Sword I use pretty often in duel. I like to do is I like to throw one in that they're going to block, obviously. And that, even if even if that's all you do, that's a lot of stam loss. But uh, what's even better is like running up in their face and not doing a sprint attack when you make them think you're going to do a sprint attack. <laughs> that's a really fun maneuver. People get really confused, get really, really scared. It might do something stupid. Then big you just go sword. Crazy... Yeah, big sword I... go. Whoa. This fight instantly looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dodges with a dodge. Hold on, rabbit. Hopping like a rabbit would. And he gets e caps Ooh, immediately. Just... Yeah, the, yeah, I when, saw that when you happen, get... the, the range, yeah. So, something interesting about these Highland Sword duels is they, like, they go really fast because neither person can really parry for a long time and neither person, like, can eat a hit. Yeah. So they just snap, it's over. A lot of, a lot of axles and they go very quickly, very quickly, especially after a spritz attack. That's uh, KC4. Rabbit having Rabbit. to take four wins here to, to, to have to bring this back. What is five hours possible? Oh, here's the fist fight. Now a little bit of respect for each other. Oh. No, oh, no, he comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's not even against the rules. That was just incredibly it, BM. It's, it's, it's not against the rules. <laughs> but you know what's going to be embarrassing is if he, <laughs> if he dies. Yeah, that's going to be even worse if he dies. Oh, my God. Oh, oh he no! Has stamina. <laughs> I, I, they were having the fun though. Lab. They, yeah, they were having a grand time. You could see that they were obviously like ch chatting with each other and having a fun time. So I, I bet, I bet, as, I bet as soon as he pulled out the weapon, QC started laughing. 
<laughs> he was probably dying. Man, that's too funny. Props to both these guys. Thank you for putting on a good show. You guys are great. Fist fight my ass. <laughs> that's too funny. Okay, so who else do we have fight? I, I see wild card and eruption are on Let's the field see. right now. Wild card and it is two eruption three. We were pretty close fight. Oh, never mind. All right, that's uh, that's gonna be eruption four. Seeing the rapier come out too, which is cool. I remember when Ziggy doubted the rapier last tournament we cast I, together. It's bad. <laughs> and then the guy who took the rapier went all the way to the finals. <laughs> I mean, you could just say that that guy was playing. You could say Marduk was playing really good. I'm not. Oh. I don't want to give the rapier credit. All right, like he could. He could just pull out the the one handed sword and just oh, wow. as good. You see that that wild card went for a kick. He landed it and then still missed the stab. Gets punished with his own stab. I do like the dagger plays. Oh, I really do. I, I love the dagger. I think it's a really fun weapon. It's very good to dive in and out of range and get some big hits off. But oh, he, that was a little bit of a greedy special. Yeah, for sure. A brave, They're but both... greedy. <laughs> Absolutely. No. All right, that was all. Also... That was extremely greedy. greedy. <laughs> you appreciate the 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 attempt, but two in a row, I think, might might have sealed the deal there for wild card. You know, you know what I think it was. I think it's that he's not using the better dagger skin. I think if he picked the That's other true. dagger skin, it'd be better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you buy when you when you get the the better skins, they actually do more damage. Yeah, that's why. That's, that's why Quasi keeps winning with his uh, Messer skin. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a joke. Just to clarify, for anybody who's new watching the game. Joke? <laughs> a joke? You say? <laughs> you mean this but whole the, time? But it, <laughs> my but premium it's a, battle axe skin didn't get one hit kills. <laughs> but the the it's a bigger sword. Why wouldn't it do more damage? That's true. That's true. It makes sense would, logic, right? Why would I buy King Argon the Second's longsword <laughs> if it doesn't do more damage? What's the it point? It looks cool, Ziggy. Okay, and fashion is like half of this game, as it is for 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 many people. I feel like. Now, Punk and Punk and Ryan seem like they're about to fight. But what other fights do we have going? We on? We have watched Punk Daft three times already, so I, I I wonder if we can if there's any other matches that are going on. If not, we will watch this fight. But I don't know if anybody else is on the field right now. I don't see anybody. Punk's out doing pretty well, though. Coming back in the loser's bracket. Yeah, it, like, I, like I said before, like that was the first match we watched, and I and I said he probably shouldn't keep it. Like He should try and keep his head up and stuff. And, I mean, look at him. He's he's coming back. I mean, it, uh, what was the... In the first Trial by Blood, was is his, is his name Revian? Uh, the the guy who uses Rayon. Uh, Maul. Revian. Rayon. Rayon. Uh, yeah. Uh, like he started off with great sword and he lost the very first round so he said fuck it I'm gonna use maul and he did he beat three one-handed sword users in a row Yeah, it was insane actually that that was one of my favorite moments of the trial by blood tournament series and If you haven't seen that clip you, you got to go find that and watch that I'm sure we have it in the discord and then, uh, TBB, which I'm gonna throw a little plug for <laughs> if You guys want to sign up for these events in the future in the future the TBB Discord for the Trial by Blood Discord is the place you want to be. As the command exclamation point TBB Discord, I believe it I is. Believe I believe so. Think, yeah, we have the yep, same commands. And if it's the same, then yes, it is. Make sure you guys check that out. If you guys want to participate in future events and keep up to date with all this tournament stuff, that's the place to go, the place to see everything about it. Okay, so they're waiting to start. So I imagine the refs are sort of getting everything organized. Yeah, yeah, I believe we're still taking a little bit of a break, waiting for the rest of the matches to get ready here. Ooh, Kara and Eruption. Oh, yeah. And there's a, I am he's using that Shepherd Staff uh, War Club's. It's interesting. We can watch that fight if you'd like. Yes, please. I, uh, right. I am of the opinion that the War Club is not very good, but I'm always excited to see how far somebody can push a weapon that I think is bad. Even the rapier, you know, I don't think the rapier is good, but that also makes me more interested to see, all right, so these people don't think the rapier is bad. How far can they push it? <laughs> and I, the, I, I, I understand. War Club 2. I, if I think it's bad, how good can Kara do with it? Yeah. I, I think, honestly, you, you, you give the, the War Club a little too little credit. I think it's a pretty good weapon. I, think, I don't think it's, like, A-tier craziness, but... The range that it has and the speed that it has, it's kind of tough to deal with with people who don't normally fight it. 
Yeah, it's just I like my the way that I play these games. I'm I'm very fundamental and I'm very almost I don't want to say textbook, but I'm very like I'm just perfect at the game, you know. So no, uh... no, no, no. It's it's like a <laughs> I focus a lot on basic actions and adapting and like I don't I don't do crazy things. As all the best and, players do, the fundamentals is the most important part, 100%. And when I play like that, the War Club doesn't have any options. And that's right. why I don't think it's good. That is from the perspective of a very experienced player. Uh, to be yeah, fair, all the people who are in this tournament are, are uh, very experienced players in their own right, being able to qualify and play here. So. Ooh, Eruption landing two quick Ooh. hits in. But Carcello comes back with at least one. Dodges away. Not to bring up boxing again, but playing the World Club is kind of like being an outboxer instead of an inbox. I'm sorry, outfighter yeah. instead of an infighter. Absolutely, you got to use that range and go for quick attacks to stifle your opponent before they can get into range. It's, it's just a, uh, it's it's so it's so long for how quick it is. It makes it really easy to keep spacing going. But that is going to be a win for eruption. Now, what round. do you think about War Club versus the Glaive? Because they're both super similar in, in the yeah. way that they play. I think it kind of comes longer. down. Uh, it kind of comes down to uh, you know weapon selection for who you're fighting. If I'm fighting a knight, I would probably take the work club in a one v one because his stop is, is going to make my combos faster. And, and and if I was doing like one v x, I'd probably take the glaive because it's a little more applicable applicable against a lot of different uh, you know, enemies, and you can use it to hit through multiple people at once by cleaving. So it kind of depends on the situation. Now I'm of the opinion the work club actually has a 45 damage overhead. <laughs> As a base, base damage, and that's really not that bad. That almost eliminates the weakness of it. Ooh, but he's already out of stamina, and oh, yeah. Oh, unfortunate. That was a clean stab, and just Eruption has, has no uh, damage right now. He was just taking a very slow, fundamental approach to uh, that fight. Like you were talking about, like if, 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 a, if a strong, fundamental player, like a longsword player like Eruption, just keeps his wits about him, waits for openings, and just does not make any crazy moves against somebody like that, he's probably going to gonna edge out the win. <clears throat> but I I should explain my case. thought process on this. Oh, Kara switches up to one-handed sword. Oh, interesting. To, ex to explain my thought process on this, if you are playing War Club, you have to land all the mix-ups, and that means you're using up your stamina more, and you're not doing much stamina damage, so you have to like kill the other person. Yeah, that's true. And that the makes War it Club just really has very difficult. little stamina damage because it has that low base damage because of the, the blunt modifier. So that that is that is a good point. But I think Kara might be a little bit better off with the one-handed sword, which does more stamina damage than the World Club. Ah. Uh, um, I've just been informed by Funk. I believe we are going to be doing Quasi and Shin, and then Bungie and Short. Those are both going to be one at a time, so we can uh, watch Ooh, we those watch fights. Both of them. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Funk. Funk. Uh, uh, I'd, not to, I'm not discrediting anybody at the uh, Trial by Blood staff, but Funk does a lot of the organization, so I'd like to, I'd like to give him a, a big credit here. Love Funk, he's the man. Nice Excel from Eruption. Yeah, that was a very clean Excel. F Funk. Uh, that is three the, for Eruption, or is that does a lot four? of the promotional organizing, the the scheduling. I, he gets into contact with everybody. He do be doing uh, it. And we appreciate uh, him. Yeah. God bless. God bless. They started the... F they, it seems like they started the fight, but um, on my screen, I actually don't see Kara. He's invisible for me. Uh, uh, you might have to do the old turnaround oh, quick. Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> That's happened to me just, at the start just, of the tournament like once or twice. Just, uh, just fighting a ghost. It's no problem. <laughs> He's a spirit hunter. And uh, also, everybody else, at, blade. everybody else at Trial by Blood has been doing a lot of work as well. All the refs uh, always showing up on time and doing their best. Drop Toe for making a lot of the promotional material and art. Oh, Drop Toe has some of the best media stuff that we have ever seen. I was so impressed with all the gifts and promotional stuff. That this arm, but it's not. Drop Toe is the man. Kara, Car one health. Oh, a, a quick stab sneak. with the leg. That'll take him out. Eruption was quite low that fight though, so it's not without it's not outside of uh, Kara's grasp. He just needs to focus on his fundamentals and wait for openings, and he needs to play a little, a little more cautiously against a very very you know strong fundamental fighter like Eruption. 
doesn't do anything you, flashy. He's just waiting for opportunities. If you Don't can 5-0, option. you can be 5 0 would Exactly. Now, Kara uh, seemed like he was flourishing as he was running up. I feel like he should maybe take a deep breath and chill for a second. <laughs> yeah, the uh, immediate run back and flourish. It happens to the best it, of us, man. It, it's it's not... Given that he's down 4-0, I would, like, take a deep breath. Sort of get my bearings. You just gotta reset, think about yourself, you know, uh, about your strategy, and Im implement the plan. You know what I mean? Uh, have, have, a, have a sound strategy by observing your opponent, seeing what they're doing, and, you know, adapting to what they're doing. If, if you know, if he's watching and if he's li looking at what he's, uh, the opponent he's been fighting, he would know that he's fighting a very fundamental fighter. So he just needs to work on the basics and not give him, not give him opportunities to get, you know, hits in. All right, the eruption wow. already <laughs> landing two hits. Let's see if Kara has something up his sleeve. Oh, a nice heavy overhead there. That lands. And he actually gets the, he gets a repost off the jab. That was uh, pretty slick. Oh, but he's at a... Ooh, the, and the shield oh. goes. And that's why I don't like having a shield in my hand. Yeah, but unfortunately, the shield break is going to stop you right then and there. Eruption, very good play from Eruption, Kara. You did your best. You'll be fine. <laughs> Very inspiring words, Ziggy. I, I don't. <laughs> I I think Car. I think. Uh, I mean, Kara made it here. No, absolutely. He, he, he got invited. Say, all of these players who are on the field, win or lose, are players of exceptional skill. The the fact that they're even here means that they qualified as a top eight player in a previous qualifier. Props to anybody. And it can happen to anybody. These players are all fantastic. So, you know, they're, they're filling each other out for the first time, a couple of them. Bound to happen. But uh, I believe uh, we're waiting on the next I, rocket of fights here. I don't know how else I can put it other than that, like, in a, in a <laughs> tournament setting, somebody has to lose. That's true. Absolutely. You know, not not but, everybody can be a winner, you know? But that's, that is where you grow. You learn from those defeats more than anybody. I had to get my ass beaten in the dual yard so many times before I... Finally, even got slightly good at the game. Besides, I, I think, I think, you know, tournament nerves are also a huge part of this. Absolutely. If you if you haven't competed a whole lot, it's it's tough. Like Quasi, I'm sure Quasi has competed so many times. Like even just outside of Shiv Two. Like like right. him being at a tournament doesn't probably doesn't bother him that much. But like, yeah. <laughs> even me in a tournament, like I I was so nervous when I was in the first trial by blood. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. It, it bothers it, it's, you. It's a lot of nerves. It's a lot of nerves. It can get to you really quickly. All right, let's. Uh, what is? Punk is oh, up four. Ryan's right two. Good tosses back and forth here. Both of them using their shields against each other. Both out of stamina, though. I imagine from tossing so much. I'm not gonna update the the scoreboard. Okay, this might be the last one. But if yeah, it's not, I'll, I'll wait until we go to the next one because I think we have to do uh, Quasi and Shin next. So start getting ready for that. On keeping on the pressure despite being at lower health. Ooh, ooh he punishes him for picking up the shield. Yeah, when you that pick was a up, great punish. Oh, something, ooh, and a wow. kick. Wow, nice job, a, Punk. A nice, that was a, that was a very good Punk finish. Punk doing a really strong losers run. Yeah, absolutely. He's been he's been uh, making himself known and keep coming up for it from his uh, from his loss in the in the first round of the tourney. Now I'm not a I'm not a Smash player, but I've I've watched like Smash like Melee as a like competitive sport just because I'm curious and interested. It's entertaining, yeah, of course. And I, I see a lot of like like some of the really top players can sometimes just get sent to losers bracket right away, and they have to like come all the way back through losers bracket. But some of them do it. Yeah, and that's that's. Honestly, almost more entertaining because it's just a crazy, you know, run from, you know, Hail Mary run from the very, very bottom all the way to the top. Like, those kind of uh, success stories and competitions are always, always black horse. Uh, looks like the, the players are almost ready. Uh, and then Cody should be refereeing this match. It's going to be Quasi and Shin Bop. Well, these guys are really excellent fighters. I, I, this is going to be a nail-biter fight. These guys are really, really good, both of them. They have is a, this 
interesting play styles. They're going to be a little bit because first to yep. seven or first to five. I believe this is still first to five. I'll ask. It, it's probably first to five, but I'd like to just check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, we're oh, going to restart the map. the map. One second, guys. We just need to make sure that the uh, score limit does not get reached. Uh, unfortunately, we can't, like, increase the score limit. We can only re increase the time draw. limit. Uh, but we do what we can with what we are given, and it's working just fine. That appears QC is still tournament. <laughs> completely fucking blasted. <laughs> no, I think he drank in game and it's still drunk oh. and going to the oh, next map. Lord. I think that's what he meant. That's even funnier. <laughs> I'm excited to see this. Oh yeah, this is going to be a really good fight. Again, what I was going to say earlier is, you know, Shin is a very aggressive fighter. He has a lot of feints and a lot of like uh, you know, animation baits, and Quasi is pretty pretty good fundamentally. Now, but he, but he can be aggressive when he wants. I'm wondering what kind of side of Quasi's play style we're gonna see here when this fight goes on. Now, if I may give my opinion here, I do not think it's in Shinbop's best interest to open this up with Polax. How, but he's gonna do what he does. He likes Polax, but against Power Quasi, I would not bring anything other than my best. For sure, for sure, but. You know, it may it may end up working in Shin's favor if he's able to secure a win here with a weapon that he's not as good with. It might be a little bit of a morale hit for Quasi, but you know he's got nerves of steel. I don't see him going down like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't I don't see Quasi ever having a morale hit on anything. That's true. That's very true. He is a robot that TB made to uh, beat dual tournaments. But he did, Shin Bob gets a hit. Oof. I, so what do I know? Stamina, it's Shin. It's Shin. But he still goes for attacks. Well, as long as he's hitting the ground and not comboing, he's not using much stamina. Ooh, those mix-ups did <laughs> not work. Ooh, and he combos to a jab. Ooh, goes for another jab, but that big Oh, threat. he punishes him. Oh, my lord. It's a lot closer oh. than I thought it would be. Wow, yeah, but that was insane. But that stab track at the end that Quasi did was phenomenal. I, I thought that, that Shinbop was going to land a hit before he did, but... He was able to uh, land a stab drag. I mean, that was insane. You see how he brought it out to the right and then right back in. Those are those, the most the most satisfying kind of stab drags to Puma, see. Puma Sagan brings up a good uh, a good point here. Le Quasi, just, he, no matter how good Quasi is, he probably has less experience fighting the Polax than Longsword. I'm sure Quasi fights Longswords all goddamn day. That's true. That's true. The off-meta weapon pick is kind of is kind of sometimes better than picking your very strong meta weapon pick because you know it makes it very uh, hard to read sometimes. I think the Polax has some has some hard to read animation. He actually missed that. Ooh, he so missed, I'm not sure he misses how. the foot drag. Yeah, Just, he, he uh, barely, barely. And he's oh, out of stamina, out of stamina. Right now. Oh, this is not looking good. Shin trying to back off to get some stamina. That might be the best move. I think that was a good choice. For sure, yeah. He's smart enough to know. He's an aggressive player, but he's smart enough to do Ooh, and he misses enough to get his stamina special. back. He gets an axle off. Man, the special miss I thought was going to be the end of that fight. And then he got an axle off after that. That's insane. Shinbop managed to recover the situation at, at the very least. He, Shinbop yeah, for went sure. for an intentional miss there and tried to combo it to Jeb. Mm -hmm. So it looks like those misses before that he comboed to Jeb were intentional. What an axle. What is he? He's, what's he doing? Man, he's, he's insane. He, he, but... But this is why he's giving Quasi so much trouble. He's doing such unorthodox stuff. And that's what I knew was going to come out of Shinbop, is that he has a very unorthodox playstyle. He's very good at, at, at sneaking stuff in and, and making his animations look crazy. So this is exactly his wheelhouse. Wow! Ooh. What an overhead to overhead! Excellent and just job like that, Shinbop. I need to eat my words. <laughs> he's doing that's the first things round. I could have never expected he would do. Unbelievable. Actually, the second round. I'm sorry, but they're they're tied up now. They're one and one. So I mean, that's shit, and that's that's as much as Shinbao can ask for with the pull axe here, and he's doing quite well with it. I think it's actually working in his favor. Uh, you know, one of the things about the pull axe that has always confused the hell out of me. Thank you, noisy. The uh, special, a special is very hard for me to read. It looks like an overhead for most of it. The spe I actually don't have much problem reading the special as long as I keep my eyes on it. 
Yeah, which I, is, is normally how I play the game. With your eyes on the screen? Imagine. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, back when I was playing Chivalry 1, a lot of people would like look away to do those big fancy drags, but I just kind of kept my eyes locked on the other person instead, yeah. which is just yeah. sort of something I would do. And I mean, that applies a lot more in this game, but if I just don't take my eyes off them, then I can uh, I can see the special pretty easily. Jim up out of stamina here, but he did land one hit earlier. There's out of stamina, but he's making sure to. Out specials. <laughs> he's, he's playing so he's playing so weird. Like Quasi is like. Yeah, you can see he's very like. Oh, cautious. the special missed. He shouldn't have missed that. Yeah, he's he's missed like two or three specials and overheads that like should have landed, but he's just out of range and, and Quasi footworks it. Red Skull type out exclamation point. Yeah, but you were brackets. saying earlier is true. Like I think Quasi is a little like fused by this playstyle. I mean, Shin is very tough to deal with. It's it's like fighting a fighting a new player in TO and they like they're just pressing right. buttons. Yeah, it does. Except I, 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 except it's a really good player. <laughs> except uh, like yeah, except it's on purpose. Yeah, it's on purpose. He's doing it intentionally to bait attacks out from Quasi to make him He's, confused. Like, Shinbop's not stupid, and this isn't just mindless nonsense, but it's oh. almost untraceable. Yeah, the the range on the Messi. The, the range on that was insanity. I did not think that was going to hit. That is another win for Quasi. Here, These two fights one. are taking a really long time, too. Yeah, Cause it, yeah. Like, Quasi I mean, just can't put on the pressure because it's just it's so scary. Yeah, it's so unpredictable. Shin, Shin can do anything at any moment. He's incredibly hard to read, which is why I think this is causing a little bit of a problem for Quasi. He's still eking up the wins here, but it's getting a little closer than I think he likes. Because he's, uh, I think Quasi's really good at reading opponents and knowing what people are going to do most of the time. That's when he finds those opportunities to initiative steal, and he's so good at that. But Jin is so unpredictable that it's really tough to do that. I think the the combination of inexperience against the Polax, ooh, he didn't give a crazy. shit about that feint. He just, he just went yeah. for the overhead. Yep. So I'm talking about Quasi knows when he can throw out those attacks. The combination of being inexperienced with Ooh. the weapon as well as the unorthodox playstyle, really just nailing it in. Ooh, Oof. and the big drag to get around the big. the counter window. That was a very very good drag there from Quasi. He's gonna take it to three wins for him. Now, just one Shin, for Shin. Shin countered really early there, and I don't think Shin would counter early as like a, a mistake. He might have not been used to the. He he might not be like super adept with the new counter window. That. That's what that's like my thought on that. Cause I don't Shin doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would like counter way too early at a drag like oh, that. Oh my god, he landed the special! Oh my goodness, that's half Quasi's health. That's half his health. Yeah, that's in, that's a very big. That's very big. That could be the edge he needs to take this. But Quasi is still. Oh, oh man, yeah, well, that was insane. I think if he went up, if he would have went for an overhead, I might have killed him. Oh, no, the, uh, the wow. Ooh. The jab, no, the kick, kill. That was great the pressure. The stab and the uh, overhead do the same damage on the polax, no matter if they're oh, okay. normal or heavy. So either one's a good option. And I, it'd probably be best to get the stab because it probably hits faster. Yeah, that's that's probably true. You're not wrong. Skip a poo. I'm a I'm a big fan of the polax stuff going on here. I don't know yeah, what I would do against it. I, uh, I, it's it's incredibly tough to fight Shin when he when he's in the zone like that. He's just so unpredictable. But Ooh, he, he is going out. Of, yeah. That that was just barely out of range. Yeah. Hmm. Look at that. he read the jab and did his own. That's incredible. Oh, but he lands a good overhead. We're gonna see another special here. I'm so into this fight, it's so bizarre. It's very bizarre. But it's incredibly, incredibly interesting. Shin's but I feel like the down. now this is just my opinion, but I think the longer this fight goes on, the more confident Quasi is going to be. Yeah, for sure. I think he's starting to adapt again, and this is one of those traits we talk about all the time, where the best kind of players in these games, and Quasi, easily one of the best, top, top, top three, like one of the best players in the game. Um, you know, they, they know exactly what to do. They know how to adapt to their to their fighter as the fight goes on. That's why we like these these longer fights, best of five, because it allows those two uh, opponents to start getting a feel for what they're doing and adapt and change their play style, what's, 
based on what's happened. I think Quasi's starting to adapt more. But Shin swaps to the sword to make it even more confusing. Going for Lots a lot of, of attack cancels, cancels, but Quasi is thing. not falling for them, but he did eat that XL. Oh, <laughs> he would have. Wow. Good jab there from Shin to break up the jump. The combo there. Another one. Oh, my goodness. He's very, he's very aggressive with his jabs. He likes to keep pressure up and just be aggressive. It, it works for him. I think the combination of weird attack cancels is making the excels more powerful by comparison. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the other Quasi the just has to wait. Have... Oh, but he's out of stamina. Because he's attack canceling Quasi so much. doesn't want to oh. push because of things like that. Yeah, I mean, that Axel was incredibly good. That was lightning fast. Oh, he almost made it out that. That would have been amazing. Brave man. Wow. Ooh, yeah. He almost went around the parry there, but Quasi was quick to turn around. I'm, I'm wondering how Quasi is oh, feeling about this right now. This is this is just like an unusual mood to have. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know? Because I'm nope. sure every fiber of his body wants to push. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I, the second he made that kick, that fight was over. That was a great, nice job great by Quasi. Set, yeah, that yeah, was excellent job by Quasi, good. showing the fundamentals off and, and learning. You know, learning as he fought. Uh, that was a really good showing of that adaptability of those really top tier players. And Shin putting on a, on a show, put on a show with the pole axe, but you don't see you get pulled out very often and doing some incredibly, uh, you know, disorienting. Attack cancels and faints. I mean, it is such a pleasure to watch fighters like those that go at it. But uh, now we've got another great fight, which is going to be uh, Short and Bungie, two uh, you know also well-known uh, duelists in the community. So we're going to see how, how those two uh, duke it out here now shortly. I'd like I'd like to just point out though about that. I bet every part of Quasi wanted to push, but he's just like he just had to keep backing off, otherwise he'd be at risk. Like there was a of bunch course. of times where like he. Like I figured he might just keep on the pressure, put on the stamina damage, but he just did. He just chose to back off instead. Yeah, and I think that was a smart play for him, though. Yeah, I think he yeah, needed to, to kind of, you know, download the play style a little bit, like organize and see what kind of uh, feints and attack cancels that Shin would do, so we can kind of figure out about what time he was gonna go for a real strike. You know, take the time. Bungie using battle axe. God, what? this guy is just like, just won my heart. I love the battle axe. It's such a fun weapon to use. And he it's picked, a really and he picked a, fun weapon a to, nice to watch. skin. Yeah, yeah. Nothing it's a, it's too glamorous. It's just a battle axe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, a fucking axe. <laughs> just a hungry axe. Yep. Oh, I didn't Versus even the, the messer. Uh, score here. Let's go ahead and put that up in a second after this fight. Wow, slow poke. Oh. <laughs> now I think Bungie's got some moves with this thing. Ooh, yeah. There's a like there's Jagger? a nice neutral drag. You hush. <laughs> Here we go. Doesn't fall for the kick, but it doesn't get punished for the kick either. Yeah. Bungie not backing up at all. Just staying yeah, real he close. He needs to stay so close to that battle axe, otherwise, he's going to get outranged by the long messer. But the the night night class can't really back up either. Ooh, that was wild. Yeah, you saw that, right? Uh -huh. That sword was As inside of Bungie. They, that they, was a they saw it too because they've stopped. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> they're both thinking about what just happened. They're probably they're probably <laughs> they're talking probably right now. Out, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're probably in a voice chat together with the ref. So I, they, I imagine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so they, they just they reset. That's when you know you're fighting a good duelist. You both see something funky, you back off, you like look you like look at the, look the other way and then look back at each other with your character models like that just happened, right? Like <laughs> I saw I saw Short do a little bit of a teleport. Yeah, he's having internet issues. That's what it is. Ah, that's what it was. That makes sense. Poor guy. You don't you just hate internet companies. Oh, oh, oh yeah. damn. Oof. That was rough. He, he stood still for a second there. He's not one of let's like basic attacks get past him. Oh, and the jab to finish him off. Bungie was pretty low already as well. Now I uh, that now uh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna give my opinion on this. Oh please please. Salutations. Uh oh. Uh, 
What's his ping at right now? Is he having problems? It's probably packet loss. Yeah. Twenty-three. It looks hey, like I can type really go. fast. All right, don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> the chat's making fun of me. Oh, they're restarting the first round. All right. Well, the sportsmanship is there from Bungie. They obviously respect each other. Yeah, that. Bungie's a really nice guy. Yeah. Fashionable. Look at that outfit. I know. Gotta love the purple quarter bendy. That was my favorite for a long time. I played a. Uh, ooh, what a, what a counter. That was my favorite for a long time. Playing man at arms mercenary, uh, the Mason mercenary skin. With that color, it was very very nice. Seems like his internet's acting all right right now. Knock on wood. No commentary no, first, please. Yeah. We Ooh, and we the special. That was a great I think special. the special does a, does 100 base damage. Oh, yeah. my lord. What the a drag. neutral drag around the back there. Incredible, incredible. Uh, unfortunately, with the internet issues, is you know we can't when stop jab, every competitor I, that has... He might be at you know, kick health. Oh, now, what an... I, I do cap. agree, but we are in we are in winner semifinals. That is true. It is. There's a lot on the line. There's money on the line as well, of course. So everybody wants and it, to have and if a we, shot. If we, uh, now I'm not saying to delay the whole tournament, but you know, if there, if there's other matches that can be done in the meantime, I think that would be okay in my opinion. It seems like Shorts having no, not not too many issues right now. I haven't seen him jumping around, so they're probably fine to carry on. He should he should uh, as soon as this tournament's over, call his uh, internet provider very you angrily. You cost me hundred bucks. <laughs> and hope that it's not Comcast because if it is they won't they won't even answer. Who are you again? Oh, oh yeah, well I mean it's it's gonna keep happening. You just gotta deal with it, fight through it. Yep. Unfortunate for him. Nothing I'm sure he can't do anything about it. We can't do anything about it. It just be that way, but I mean, he's still in hits. It's not. It's not like it's impossible for him to win these fights. He's still a, a fantastic player. Oh, another Ooh. great attack! He's gonna get a jab and get a hit and get a kill here if he does. Jab or kick will kill. I don't know. Short Short's not somebody that I know that kicks or jabs a lot. Even, even at oh, there oh. it is though. There it is. I I eat my words. That was smart though. That was the play. It was a smart option. Fainting to... See, that's the thing. I, I found against higher level players, it doesn't work against, like, average or lower. But, I, like, a, a player who wants to counter all the time, you can faint to jab pretty reliably. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I like, I like to do faint to jab, faint to kick at, the, at, the, at those low health uh, enemies. That, that tends to work, like, 80% of the time, most of the time. Unless they're really, really good, but a majority of the time, they will fall for it. And you can get it off. A big Trading counter exchange. Here. Yep, gotta love these counter exchanges. Ooh, the overhead does so yeah. much damage. It, it, it's devastating how much damage. It, wow, he actually missed that. That would have been a kill. And then uh, Short's able to retort with his own strike. Right, so two shots Vanguard. It could it could oh. just go either way. Oh Ooh. wow! He's not dead yet. He's gonna let him pick up his battle axe. Saying, oh, that strike was a little delayed. Yeah, he noticed it too. Oh, well, that's going to be the round for Bungie. Very close fight. You notice at the very end there, he, he had a strike that was really delayed by lag, and he immediately backed up and said, sorry. <laughs> Unfortunate. That happened, though, of course. Well, empathetic, if I could give my opinion on that, I think it Bungie would be up two, to Bungie shorts, if he was one. going to push that. It wouldn't. I don't think it would be... Like, the ref could make that call, but I, I think that would be a, a Bungie call more than anything. If Bungie doesn't feel what's fair, he would probably say oh, something. I know Short is not part of TRO, so I'm going to change that. Well, I, uh, that's the name he put in. <laughs> yeah, it is. I could, I could pull that out, too. I'll do that real quick.
Trading blows here, heavy on heavy. Light on light, counter to counter. Who will break first? Who will break the tempo? Jor is teleporting around. I'm surprised. I'm seeing. I'm seeing Bungie do a lot of counters, and Bungies are real uh, in repost enthusiasts. Yeah. I think he's being counterfed right now by Short. Short's a very big counter person, so I think he's kind of feeding into Short's uh, playstyle right now. Ooh, Ooh big special. special that doesn't that doesn't land, but does do a bunch of stamina damage. Specials are good. Another he does another one. Oh, that one that's, lands. That's a hundred and thirty damage, I believe. Yeah, and, and, any strike from Bungie should be a kill here. I, I, I would even venture to say a stab might kill him. The stab on the battle axe is actually really powerful. A lot better than you'd you'd expect, and a nice. Ooh. Right nice around the swing. parry, he yeah, it was a little odd. I think he might have had some kind of issue there, but I saw right around the parry. I would have hit him behind him. Good strike from Bungie there. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame about the internet. I, I've I've had shitty internet before. It it does suck, but it does suck. You know what? Can, what can you really do? His his options are like drop out, postpone the the round, or just deal with it. Yep, that's well, that's all you got. <laughs> Somebody from my chat mentioned that it doesn't feel fair to Bungie that that shorts having internet issues because it could go in in the could go the other way. Yeah, but I feel way. like if I feel like if Bungie thought it was a problem, he would probably mention it. Yeah, I think he's willing to take the take the risk. He's pretty confident in his abilities. Oh, he he he, he blocked an attack, dodge, and then blocked another attack. He's probably got to be low, but that went right through him. I think he got over Axelt, and uh, Short got uh, unlucky on that. Tried to axel the attack a little too hard, and it went right through his opponent. Ooh, he's out of stamina. Ooh. Yeah, he's actually just kick jab or kick. He kill managed away. to parry that, but didn't yeah. get disarmed, so it must have had just a little bit left. Yeah, he had just enough to not be disarmed there. He's literally kick kill away. He should be getting punished here by by short, but Oh Ooh. wow, inches, a game close. of inches. Wow, he countered that. What an excellent counter by Bungie. Last minute counters like that are always impressive. Especially when you see somebody goes for a uh, a strike after realizes he's not gonna land it, cancels it with a dodge or a parry or something like that, and then counters again. Like those are always very clean to see. Oh, what a crowd! Another one. I'm so engrossed oh by Lord. this. I know this is amazing. Oh my lord, he was about to get hit and get the jab Ooh, off. Oh, you know what I've realized? Bungie's actually like been out of combat for at least a little bit, and I don't think he's at kick health anymore. He's no, close, he's but he's 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 at maybe jab health. Vanguard health is low enough that that might kill him in a jab, but if not, it'd be close. Wow. Oh, but it's not over. Wow. It's not, oh, it's not. <laughs> Dude, he could die. He could die. He has these low enough that a headbutt would definitely kill him. Imagine. No. Oh. Oh. Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> I would run. You, stay in, you do have to stay in the ring, though. He can't move out that far. Uh, for the next round. I think that's just going to be a warning. I imagine he's not going to be deducted, but... I I imagine, given the, the nature of the internet problems and the fact that he just yeah, a couple disarmed there's a that... <laughs> there's a couple concerns. <laughs> I, I think they'll let that one slide. Yeah, they'll let that one. I can't believe he got double disarmed. Yeah, that's insane. This fight feels really tense for some reason. Yeah, I mean, it's been really back and forth.
One of them is at low stamina. I can't tell which one. I think it's Ooh. Bungie. That was a really good use of spacing there from Bungie. Oh. oh. Whoa. Oh. oh, my lord. <laughs> All right, they're, they're just running with it. I feel like I'm watching Elden Ring PvP right now. Yeah. She's low stamina. I, I'm sorry. I said she because that's the voice actor. Yes. Uh, Short was at low stamina for a second there. Mm -hmm. But I think they've recovered now. Oh. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh, Unfortunate. dear. Unfortunate <laughs> there. Oh, my God. Jesus. Well... You know, I I think it's just gotta happen. I uh, yeah, it's just one of them things. That was uh the the set for Bungie, right? Yeah, that's that's five. I well, uh, unfortunate for short. I bet yeah. I bet short's going to have an angry phone call later. <laughs> unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll see short again. And there's still this is a this is still winners bracket, so he could go to losers as well, right? They all right. Well, they're redoing that round, I suppose. All right. Like he's getting another chance here. Now I I'm just giving my opinion. I think uh, a round like this should be hurried along. But that's yeah. you know not not that I want to not that I want to cut short off of their chance. But it just doesn't feel as fair. I suppose. Yeah. It's all right though. We'll give him a shot. Poor, poor short though. I like. I, I bet he's not happy about this. You know. All right. Imagine Here you're competing in a tournament for a thousand dollars, and your internet just starts taking a dump. Yeah, that's the worst feeling ever when you have internet go out. Uh, that literally happens. The uh, the day, the, the the very last fight between Quasi and Cryptic and TBB One, my internet shout out the very last fight in the middle of the stream <laughs> it was horrible luckily we had you know a co i had a co-streamer who could cover the event while it was happening but that's how we do this you never know what's gonna happen oh right around there that was interesting oh he, he oh. tries to pull away because he notices he's gonna get hit and then he is not not enough oh my lord bungie's getting triple stabs Oh damn! And that I sword still phased the... through him. Yeah. Yeah. I. Bungie's kick health away. Uh Oh, but he outstamped. Interesting. Oh, he took so away good. his sword. Oh. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> I takes... mean, not technically got the rules. He's not. That's nothing. No, that, that's that's completely fair. He stole the weapon yeah. and then threw it out of the map, so he can't pick that's it back totally up. That's totally fair. That's actually super smart as well. Wow, Benji's pulling out all the stops right now. Oh, oh, and the jab! My lord, what a play from Bungie. Really secure in the victory there. Uh, it's, uh, it was as it was intended. An excellent let's, display of skill from a short, though. Unfortunately, let's, let's, give a, let's give a quick uh, F for <laughs> short's yeah, internet. F in the chat for short, please, guys. F in the chat for short. <laughs> I, I bet that would have. Uh, I bet that would have been a really nice match had that not been the case. For sure, for sure. So it looks like we have a couple different matches from here. It looks like Squid's breaking out the shovel against okay. Coplo. That could be All really right, fun so that's, to watch. That's a good one, but also QC is using the Highland Sword against Swag Mountains. Yeah, it's another great fight. We have Truth Interruption as well. These are all that. So all right, you got to pick. pick. Because there's, you there's pick. so many good fights. Let's, let's watch the shovel. Hand. Let's watch the shovel. We haven't seen the shovel, shovel used in, this all right, shovel. in a competitive tournament yet. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I think it's the first one. Yeah, I've never seen a, I've never seen a shovel be used. Have to see this. All right, Coplo and Squid put up the scoreboard. Bam. Yeah, wait. <laughs> right, Lands so the Squid first gets hit. A hit immediately. Yeah, now, with the shovel. Now the shovel, shovel used doesn't. To be really good. The shovel's still really fast. Yeah. Uh, the only thing about the shovel that's kind of bad now is the slash damage is really bad, even for like a blunt weapon but the overhead yeah. and the stab are still fine i remember it used I, to be uh used to be one light overhead and then one heavy overhead to instantly kill a knight I, he, that's, 
I mean, look Dude. at him. He's going. He's doing great. He's doing great. There it is with that slash. He doesn't even have a backup. <laughs> he doesn't even have a backup weapon. He's playing engineer. That's the I... only weapon he gets, guys. <laughs> wow. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's insane. No matter how it goes, he took the first one. Yeah, you know, and I think that's probably going to be a huge blow to morale for Cope. I think that's going to put him that's going to put him on the on, on edge. <laughs> Dying to a, an engineer with a shovel in a, in a competitive tournament. And he's a great player, Quid is. So, you know, nothing to scoff at using a shovel. You could use it well. But it, it is probably a little demoralizing. Oh, but he gets a quick stab. And the double stab on the longsword oh is the, the bread and butter move of the longsword. And it is so strong. You mean to tell me longsword's good at stabbing? No. <laughs> the bread and butter double stab on the longsword. How many times has that gotten me? I have no idea. I couldn't count it. But he's not lying down. Squid still has some fight in him. But he's doing a lot of blocks. He wasn't ready to, to counter that. And he's going to be in dangerous territory if he loses that weapon, which is right now. Ooh. Ooh. No, you know? Coplo won't yeah. fall for that. Patient. No. He was smart enough to wait. He almost got it around his parry, but you saw Coplo adjust it at the last second. That was a very, very clean, very fundamental play from Coplo there. And that's going to tie up the match. Someone say shovel? Yes. I never thought I'd see a shovel this far into a tournament of this caliber. No, certainly not. And this is also this, this is also the first time it's been brought out, as far as my knowledge. But uh, yeah, this is interesting. Oh, a crazy double stab there! Again, the bread and butter, bread and butter, or the long sword. But he gets punished immediately with two slashes. <laughs> if only those did more damage. And I know. Uh, that's, that special's really fast. Oh my. Wow, yeah, it is really quick. He was did a really good job of being aggressive, but I think uh, Coplo read that, figured he was going to go for some sort of quick attack, and then just went for a longsword stab, which is always quicker. <laughs> it's always quicker than the attack that you think is going to be fast. <laughs> That's what I found out about the longsword <laughs> stab. That's going to be two to Cope. Longsword and Messer stab is just, like, too much. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't know what they could do to really like make it better without making it like too bad or anything. Oh lord. Like you could maybe just increase the wind up, I suppose, but Oh he went for the counter Ooh. kick, the low kick, and landed though. Oh, look at that. Interesting. He went from a heavy to a jab, I think, right? Hmm. I think so. Oh, he mistimes the counter and Cope comes down with a hard overhead. Well done. I wonder how long Squid's going to use the shovel or if he's going to fully commit to it. He swapped the he long sword. The, he got the first one. Ah, yeah, there's the long sword. No, he swapped a sword. He's, he's, he's pulling out the, the Sword the main, long sword, sword secondary. <laughs> he's got throwing knives. Throwing knives are yeah, a nice tool. They're great. They're fantastic. That's exactly what they are, a tool, for sure. I've stammed people out, broken their block with, with fucking oh. guys before. An, a oh kick my into, god, that's a, special! A Incredible. kick into punish into special. Wow! That was incredible, but he's getting a little too cocky. Oh, he oh, gets a throwing knife, throwing off, knife though. And... Oh, and the jab! <laughs> Incredible. That's very impressive. Yeah, very, very good show from Squid. And this is why, uh, this is why Squid kicked my ass today. I, f I feel like I might be able to take Squid if I practiced, but the way that I, the way that I've been playing, I couldn't, I don't think I can take him. Yeah, my fights with Squid uh, today were close, but still. Too much Elden Ring, huh? I, I like Elden Ring. It's good. Maidenless, are we? Oh, I didn't even notice. At some point, Coplo swapped a Messer. Yeah, it's that Falx, man. It's tricky. It's happened like four times today in the tournament. We've mentioned it every time, too. You've said it. 
<laughs> I I just didn't notice. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to tell, man. It's a very similar weapon. Like the only way that you can really tell is if you get close. Like if I'm looking at this from an overhead view and he's using that royal longsword that he's been using and compares it to that Falx, like from a distance it looks like the same weapon. Okay. So here I have I have a little question for you. Sure. A couple sure, of people it. in my chat are not exactly like happy that he swapped to a one hand weapon. But I don't I almost feel like that's not really fair because with the counter changes it's like it's harder to use a one hand like as safely as well as it's... like I mean, are you really going to tell me the one handed sword is better than the messer? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's kind of old hat to to like brag on one-handed users at this point in the game like the counter window changes helped a lot and also but i think people realize pretty quickly that uh, people who are using one-handers consistently like are most of the time going to gamble unless they're really really good so if you're just smart and you play defensively and you go for a post you're going to stam them out with a heavy weapon almost every time and you're going to win the fight so it's not that difficult unless they're a really good player and they know how to footwork and they know how to get around your parry like they're not going to win the fight and it takes them more shots to kill you to, to begin with so it's one of those things i don't think i don't think one-handed hate is really is really like like warranted anymore i don't know how you feel about that but that's kind of what i say I, I i kind of agree there's a lot of options to deal with it i think, I think nice, and nice showing by squid though yeah uh, I, I he played played very well uh, good, good try, good effort. You did a good job. <laughs> I don't know what else to. S I mean, I, I don't love, know what else I to love say. Ziggy's motivational words after the, <laughs> after the fight. So I don't know good. what else to say. Good, good try. <laughs> All right. So it looks like I mean, he played well. He did. He did. He did a great job. <laughs> I'm not making fun of him. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I don't think I'd be a good motivational speaker. <laughs> Keep your day job, Zach. Keep your day job. All right. Oh, looks like I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, I will. I will. <laughs> Ooh, a big overhead from KC. I'm kind of watching Swag and KC right now. Yeah, K Swag is up oh. four. Uh, oh. It's now four three. Wow. QC. Uh, I. This is his. Uh, this could be the last match he plays. But I mean that he's he's doing it. He's god dang doing it. Can he kill Swag Mountains? Longsword like Maniac just... who's now using Messer. Oh lord, yeah, yes. the 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 Falx Messer that looks like a longsword. <laughs> Can he pull it together? Can he do it? And the handle is really the only way to tell super easily. Oh my god! Okay, it is now match point for for Who both knew? these players. Oh man, man, Highland Sword, you really can just do that. You really can just make the fight end like that, like that, bro. It is so quick. It is the the fucking instant now, ending. Now here's a real question. Oh, he swaps back the long sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The true swag yes. mountains. The true, the real swag. I mean, the yes, real no. swag. Now, I no. don't know about you, but if I died <laughs> that quickly and it, and it brought the fight to even, I might be a little nervous. Oh, I would be very nervous. That's, it was 4-2, and now it's 4-4. Four, four. That's Ooh, mega. Gets a that's hit mega, in. Yeah, he's got a big hit in. That was a heavy strike as well. That's going to have QC swag. QC might be like feeling good half. right now. Yeah, KC's feeling really good. Another Ooh, swing. Wow. That's, that's swag kick is, health. Is that, he's kick health away. Now, easily. will he go for the kick? Ooh, a great stat from Swag, though. He's not lying down yet. Somebody's really low on stamina. I'm pretty sure it's KC. He may have <laughs> done too many. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be almost it. Wow. I thought that. I thought he <gasps> No way. Oh, I, oh I, my I, God. <laughs> he did it. Wow. Big sword, man. Unbelievable. That was a good, yeah, you know, even Swag had to say it. He does not, he's not, he doesn't feel disrespected. That was a good option and he took it. Can't blame him in a, in a, in a cash prize tournament. Go for the kick kill when it's there. I mean, I would. I would too, easily. And that's not out of disrespect to anybody just because that's the way to win the fight. Hold Fantastic. On. And he's bet. and QC remains. He does. All right, so now, what, is, what is the bracket looking like? 
Yeah, let's check got... into the bracket real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up on the on the display so everybody can see. Take a look at see who's available still. Quasi and Bungie in winners finals. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Proof is back. going to be fighting QC. Coplo and Punk Draft have to fight. And then the winner of that one is going to fight short. Short. Oh, that's right. I thought that short had. Oh, I forgot that he hadn't lost yet. So that's going to be his. Doesn't... I forgot that there was Interesting. Doesn't... Yeah. You can see here, Short lost that last match, but he's going to get the buy into the Losers Quarter Final. He's going to fight whoever the winner of Co of Coplo and Punk Daft is. And then KC and Truth are going to fight, and whoever wins that fight will fight Shin. Uh, those two groups will fight, and then that'll basically go until we do Losers Final into Winners Finals. And then Grand Finals. The winner of Losers Finals should uh, be going into there. Already. This is, this is quite the hurdle for the people in the loser's bracket. Absolutely, absolutely. So now we're going to be going two at a time. There's going to be a couple matches that we are not going to be able to spectate as we are trying to get a couple of these uh, through to make them a little faster. Uh, but we are getting close to the end here, guys. We are in now, uh, if I am correct, the loser's round five, which is just before loser's quarterfinals. So these fights will determine who goes to loser's quarterfinals. Those fights will determine who goes to losers semifinals and finals, and then whoever is in losers finals will make it to the grand finals. Does losers bracket win money. Third place wins one hundred dollars. Second place yes. wins three hundred dollars, and first place wins six hundred dollars. That is the spread. Looks like Coplo and Daft, or P Punk Daft, or I don't want to copy right now, are uh, taking the fields. All right, so let me set up the oh, yes. score yeah. for you. It's really nice that we can import the players to this to this list for this. It really helps. Like I just gotta t I gotta type like one or two uh, keys, and then it basically does it for me. Very helpful. Would be even better if it updated automatically, but we'll take what we can get. I'll, I'll take this free software that allows me to do this much already. Already, yeah, no, it's great. It looks fantastic. Put on all the stops for this tournament, chat. This is what we're here for. Here we go, round one. Coplo's got out his longsword messer. Ooh, that was a great Ooh. little. Co oh my god, Ooh. punk that with a great combo. Quad hits there. He's disarmed and him. Oh my lord. Now, can Coplo regain his composure? Wow. No. That was an incredible combo from Punk Daft. He was just delaying his attacks enough to be able to sneak in the next one, and he mixed them up so well that he wasn't able to guard against any of them. That's an extremely, extremely exp impressive display there, honestly. Very, very well done by, by Punk Daft. Coplo I, is no slouch. I'd like to I'd like to give it back up for Punk on this, and that he like lost the very first match of the winners bracket, and he's and he's still he's still going. Yeah, absolutely. and he's still giving he's an impressive show. Very impressive, absolutely. Coplo's gonna counter that shield toss. People forget a lot that, oh, he lands the kick. Wow, that was an unexpected kick for me. I would've probably lost that as Rather well. Rather than push the momentum, he picks back up the shield when he can't be punished. Throws the shield, he knows it's gonna get broken soon. He gets another kick off. And, and the, he runs the, away just enough. The movement wow. speed. Oh, and the, he runs the, into the stupid yeah, I spinny. Know. <laughs> The, the then, movement speed of Man at Arms is actually just came into play big time right there. The 10% movement speed buff. Yeah. Now that was, I don't think that was the smartest decision, but. Ooh. I think he was going to try and make things, uh, Cope think that he was going to toss the shield, but he wasn't what he was going to do. do. Oh, he's out of range there. You gotta be careful throwing out those counters when he's not ready to hit them. Pick up your sword, man. There it is. They're both extremely low. Cope is a little higher health than he's his knight, of course, so he does have more health to begin with. When uh when he Oh, that was when a Punk really did solid the runaway, 
I feel like he gave Coplo a little bit too much regen. I would yeah. not have, I would not yeah, have, have given that. Up. He did such a good job of keeping the pressure up on that first uh, combo attack that he did in the very first round of the fight. I was expecting a little more of that. But it is good to mix things up a little bit. You can't be aggressive the whole time, otherwise it becomes predictable. Well, give, given the performance so far from Punk, I feel like this could go either way. Yeah, no, this is certainly not an, an easy decision. Now, it's weird. I've never... I mean, I don't spend a lot of time in dual servers anymore, but I uh, I have not seen Punk draft Oof. before today. Uh, I've seen him a lot throughout the uh, throughout the course of the game. I, I, you're not like a big duels guy, but I, I've seen him quite a bit. He's a, he's a guy that I, I saw at the beginning of the game a lot, and I, I've seen him sparsely uh, in the more recent uh, months. But he, he does play. And uh, he's, he's, he's doing, doing a, a good job. Yeah, absolutely. He was a... Uh, Always a good sword, uh, sword and board guy. A lot of people played sword and board at the start of the game because you know it was pretty lauded as, as the strongest weapon of the game for a while. Um, but I think I think he really, really was one of the ones that was really good with it. That was actually good with the weapon. Those, those shield throws are really fast sometimes. Yeah, they, and they hit stun, which is insane. It's very, very. It's a very good tool to have a ranged hit stun. No other projectiles do that that I know of. Uh, bigger weapons Javelin. can do that, like Dane axes and stuff like that. I don't know. Like I, I you'd have to get like a list and like yeah. track them all, because like I, know, I don't think I a messer does. For sure. Ooh. Oh, the pressure! Coplo's putting oh on Lord. a lot of pressure right now. He blocks the jab. That was a good. He's going for too many kicks, and he's gonna. Oh, Ooh. he. Oh, oh wow. So what's oh, interesting he did a there? Backflip too. <laughs> what's, in what's interesting about that interaction is that kick would have killed him, but by blocking it instead, he actually gave himself at least a, a chance to avoid the follow-up to the kick. That's true. It is a better option. The only the only option that could have been better than that was kicking himself to, n to nullify it and not get stunned. Yeah, that, that was a pretty bad to be in that scenario to begin with. Right, right. If you're, you're if you're in that scenario, you're already in a lose-lose scenario. There's no winning that fight. Being at low health and getting kicked is the worst thing that can happen. One of one of two things is going to happen. Oh, what a great read there from Coplo. Immediately goes for an overhead axel and does a lot of damage. Oh, he's just out of range. He gets range baited and spaced out by uh, Punk Thaps again. He's doing a really good job of keeping spacing, but he's Ooh. using too much of his stamina and getting punched Ooh. really hard. That was an insane combo of jabs and, com uh, and, and kicks from Coplo. He's not I afraid to get aggressive too. With, with with the way that that interaction went, I almost feel like I could see like his helmet glow red and like steam come off him because I he looks pissed. <laughs> like the way he, he charged at him and like th he threw his weapon and like kicked and jabbed so many times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some of your own medicine, you bastard. <laughs> All right, these two guys are ready to go at it again. Cope is a wow. That was an excellent stab. Good use of the crouch there. He somehow blocks that and then gets Please. another stab off. Coplo's looking was... very dominant right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's got the tempo down completely. Yeah. Wow. Very clean. Uh, that's a, a 180 from the start of the of, of the of the set. Complete 180 of the start of the set. That was what was happening to Coplo that very first match. And then he, uh, again, these players are so good. They learn very quickly. They learn very quickly what their opponent is doing, and that's exactly what Coplo did. He just adapted, and he got very, very close to, uh, you know, figuring it out completely. So, well done Punk, to Coplo. Well done to Punk, Punk Daft as well. Punk Daft had a very impressive loser's run, and I... I great work, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Well done to Punk Daft. He had a great run. Good streak. He just... <laughs> He he like loses the first round and how many how many did he win in a row after that? Let's That was a lot. Like must be like one, four or five. Two, three, four. Wait, he just wins four matches in a row. Yeah. A lot of matches. God bless. <laughs> God bless me. Alright, so now Coplo is going to fight short and QC is going to fight Shin. I would like to watch QC out of that. Truth be told. Sure. Sure, absolutely. I don't know if they're doing that now. I they see might be doing on the that field now. right now. So it looks like. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, that's rude of me. Uh, QC is and Truth are still fighting. Yeah, they are, I believe. It looks like QC is up right now. He's 4 0.
I'm not sure where, where, no, where uh, you got me saying QC now. You got, I don't know where KC is. <laughs> yeah, uh, right now it's right now it's four one. Proof uh, got the last one. Ah, okay. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Uh, he's in spawn right now, over on the side. He I, he might have like run to the bathroom or something. Somebody, oh, weaponized funk saying that he may have DC question mark. Let's see. No, I think I see him. He's over here in the corner. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He had to run and do something really quick. He said, "Good timing." In the last uh, one of the last rounds of your uh, match. <laughs> hey, you know when your house lights on fire, you. Just... Yeah, you know you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Hey, you gotta you gotta chill out. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean. Well, while we have a second, what do you think so far? Of the fights? What do you mean? Yeah, just the whole thing. I mean, the event has been fantastic. We've seen some really, really good fighters putting out some really weird play styles. We've seen some first for the for the tournaments that we've been running, like a shovel being used in a double spear fight, and Highland Sword, you know, making its appearance in the the dual tournaments. And I, it's, I've been so impressed with what I've seen and a lot of the weapons that are being brought out that are not. Super meta. I mean, we, you know, uh, the very first tournaments we did, a lot of a lot of long swords and messers were, were present, and of course they were. You know, they're really good weapons. But it's interesting to see that there's a lot of, of variety this time. A lot of variety. Everybody's pulling out new stuff that they haven't been using before. Wildcard with ambusher. You know, these these spear players and, and highland sword players. So it's, it's it's really cool. I've been really excited about it. all the matches okay. we've seen so far. They've been entertaining. You know. QC uh, returns, and yeah, I, I completely agree. I really, I really liked seeing some of the off-meta picks. Even, even the shovel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, match point for QC. Here we Truth, go. Uh, needs to land four more kills in a row in order to stay in. Oh, immediate jab to really throw off the uh, pressure there. Now it's, oh, now it's he went for a feeling. combo off the parry and it lands with a Highland Sword. That's just incredible. Oh, but he gets punished. Let's to see it. Oh, I want to root for Q. I want to root root for uh, QC, but I, I definitely also believe in Truth. Oh yeah, both it, great fighters. It's hard when you like everybody that's competing. <laughs> I know. That's what I was going to say is all these guys are our friends. All these guys are great duelists. You know, we fought all of them a bunch of times, and I just really enjoy, you know, watching them fight. It's hard special. to pick sides. Oh, that would have been special that was. Wow, he, what? He missed. He missed. <laughs> you know what I think happened? I think he hit oh, the fence, wow. and he couldn't yeah. drag it over anymore. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. That's so tragic for Truth there. He actually would have won. Tragic. But tragic. Casey, Casey takes the bacon there. Truth would have had a really long road ahead of him to win all those matches in a row. Could have been possible, obviously. All right, but, so uh, Coplo takes and that one down. Coplo and Short are going to fight, and then I also I wanted to watch uh, I wanted to watch QC and Shin. Sure. I don't know if they're fighting at the same time. I think they may be. But they I are. See yeah. Short and Cope. They are. Okay, so let's go watch. Yeah, Shin. I, I see. I see Shin. Shin over in the same arena where Truth just fought. All right. Let me set up the scoreboard then. There we go. I, I I figure since there's only two matches going on, they can avoid the the one with the the spinner. That's fine. That makes sense. Spinner's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, it is. It can be. It can block movement. It can block footwork, and it can also be used against you. It's not like you can't you can't intentionally hit it, but at the same time, like shit happens. Yeah, you know, one of those things. Where is QC? Where'd he go? I'm gonna spectate the. Oh, he's coming up right now. They're probably about to start. All right, beautiful. Now this is going to be interesting. Oh, I should have set up the score while I had the time. Yep, now you're in that position. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> in there a couple uh, times. Nah, nah, I already got it. Oh, he's quick with it, huh? Fast on the draw. Fast on the draw. 
Here we go. Who's going to be faster on the draw in this bout here? The first round begins. Starting off with a longsword stab, probably the best option. Yeah, the safest, the most reliable option. Wow, what an axe over. Now, what's interesting was. is I feel like the Highland Sword is just as good at killing Knight <laughs> as the longsword is at killing Vanguard. Yeah. It does, such, it does so much damage that it's it, it can easily be a two-hit kill if you if you play it the right way. Oh Ooh, my god, he's so low! Health. Oh, oh and he misses he the, jab. the jab and then gets punished! Wow! You know Incredible. that jab that jab would have landed, but it was just too far. He was too far. Shinbop made it I think he crouched and attacked at the same time to also stop himself from moving. A tip that I only found out from you. That's right. I I wrote that in the in the big guide. <laughs> I actually I put um that in the big guide. Not, not to give myself too much credit, but I think uh, I, unless they already were planning on doing so, I actually asked Torn Banner back in the alpha to add that in because that was a mechanic in Chivalry One. Yeah. And I really liked using that with Halberd in that game. It's so I asked them to re-add it into this game because it wasn't a thing at some point. Bleedy, please. Oh, now it stab. might have already been in oh their plans. God. Oh yeah, I should probably <laughs> double the double long Ooh, the stab. aggression. But oh, QC man, doesn't but fall for that kick. Axel. Oh, with the ballot. <laughs> He's wild. Insane. He's crazy. <laughs> He's mental. Oh man, the fucking mallet. Nice. I'm more. I'm talking about uh, how you can crouch and it will not lunge you forward. Yeah, these fights with the Highland Sword, like it can. If there's a weapon you could reverse 5 0 with, it's that weapon. Yeah, that's the one. It's just. It has such stopping power. It is insane. And that drag felt like it was forever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. Ooh, nice. He misses the axe. And He's out of stamina. That. He yeah, doesn't get he the punish. <laughs> oh my god, that is just it's nuclear. Visceral. <laughs> That's gory, man. I. I I'm surprised we haven't seen more of this weapon in this tournament. That That's my uh, opinion. Absolutely. I think it's such a good weapon. I think it's a contender for a very strong weapon considering how much stamina damage it does. Look how he I, instantly disarms Shinbop in like two hits. And yeah, you know, like fighting um, fighting Squid earlier felt like a, a, a huge uphill battle because of like aggression, like jabs and stuff like that. But if you can get past that, it's just, it really is... Like, I, a cl it's either close to top tier or top tier, I think. I yeah. think it's an amazing weapon that I requires a, a little bit more discipline. For sure, for sure. You have to be able to know how to use it because you can get gambled very easily if you're not smart. But when you do play it smart, it's so devastating. I think it's in that little tier that, like, straddles A and S, like an A plus or something like that because it has, it has to be in the, the hands of the right user, you know? Yeah. Now, people are saying it's, like, broken and it's top tier, but I I feel like an important aspect of this is Longsword is not very difficult to use effectively, but I feel like you can't just give a new player this weapon and they're going to exactly do a great job. Like, it, there, there is, like, a difficulty of use equation to this, too. Because if you just LMB spam like somebody with a Longsword is going to do, you can land that with a Longsword and you can't land that with a high. You'll get killed. You'll get gambled immediately. So you have to have some modicum of respect for the weapon's slowness for because it overhead. can be quick. But only I don't if think you I don't think right everybody way. knows how to do that, man. Only if you're safe about it. That sounds like a high tier maneuver to me. Wow! Look at oh, oh the stab. so close. Destructive, be quick two, stab. Two, two. Tying it up there for Jen KC. Exciting fights. I like these guys a lot. So this is going to be a good entertaining fight for the rest of the set. Ooh, oh, yeah, the call. hesitation. Yeah. Somebody's out of stamina. Oh, that was a great special. Great special. It's horrible. How did he even land it? 
It's one of those that it's very confusing, and and and, oh. and it come, it kind of looks like a like a slash for a wow, what a drag. It, yeah, it so it's like a slash for a second. So it, like people will like try to counter it and then get hit, or like you can do it after a block and repost, and that is always confusing. I tend to land it a lot like that. So, very interesting. At the end there, QC did a really smart thing. I'm not even sure if you if you really noticed it. What happened was, uh, after Shin got disarmed, he made it look like he was going to do an XL, and then he just dragged that out instead. Yeah. Because it, like if he didn't counter, he was going to get disarmed. Yeah. And that's the kind of power that that weapon has, where like you force people to have to like deal with your mix-ups just by the pressure that it gives pressure yeah you have to make a decision gotta make a call uh qc has to forfeit yes to uh, leave I, he has to leave oh that's unfortunate uh, could that's i get really could i even hear a reason yeah i'm wondering what it is i hope it's not like an emergency or anything with his with his family with you know i'm not sure what the case is for him. i'm not sure if he has to go <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. But it gets so funny. <laughs> Shin Bop. He said I was too good and he was too nervous to finish the fight. What a shame, man. <laughs> that is I, so I, sad. I, I, I wish I knew what, what the reason was. I, uh, I sent him a DM and asked him, but he might not be able to answer if he had to yeah. leave at such short all, notice. All the best to Casey. I hope everything is okay. You know, best of luck. Thank you for the fights, man. You were very entertaining and we hope that you come back the soon. The Heroes Champion. We would, we, would, we would love to see you attempt again where you can stay the whole time. The hero's champion. Unfortunate. It uh, has so to how be important if you want to give up $1,000. So Coplo is up 3 to 1. Let me set the score on this. 3 to 1 for Cope, huh? Short just got a kill, so he's at two. Yeah, he hasn't answered, so I'm assuming he had to like just get up and leave. Probably the same reason he had to go AFK. That's what I figured. There's something going on. Uh, in a surprise pick. Great Sword Knight makes its first appearance in this tournament. I am actually baffled now just realizing it that I haven't seen one so far. Yeah, you know what? I just thought about that. That's crazy. We haven't seen any knights pick up the Great Sword now that it's been added to the class. And he's using the Zwihander <laughs> skin. It actually yeah, matches his, his ar own. armor perfectly. It looks really good. I like the accents on it a lot. And now uh, Short brought up his own Great Sword. Is he playing Vanguard? Or no, he's playing Knight too. Oh, he's playing Knight. He's playing Knight. Now I, I like the normal Zweihander skin the best. I actually have the pre-order one. I just there's something about the metal of the Zweihander pre-order skin that looks a little bit different. Like it's almost shinier. Yeah. Wow. Oh really quick axel. He's going spins. right for it. I know. This is beautiful. These are the kind of fights I live. I live to see. Great sword versus great sword has always been my favorite. The clang. I need to pick this up and back up again now after I've been using Highland Sword. I gotta see how fast it feels. It feels like just a very slightly slower me Messer. Yeah. I think that combos flow a lot nicer than Messer. Whenever I use Messer, I just don't like it. it, it, it the, the animations and the combos on Great Sword feel great to use. The range and the other weapon feels great to use. And you know what? I like the stab. I like the, the Great Sword stab. Me too. Me too. Fuck all the great sword stab haters in chat. I know there's somebody out there. Ooh, Coplo has brought this back to a pretty good spot. Oh, Ooh, wow, what a, what a decap. Ooh, holy decap. And with the, and with the uh, I'm not sure what music is playing in your game right now, but I, it's getting blasted uh, of duty and honor, I believe the song is. Oh, duty and honor the, the, too. The, the classic one. The yeah, I love duty and honor too. I have the Chivalry 2 OST on, on repeat right now on Spotify. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just playing the in-game music. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Alright, looks like they're gonna continue here shortly. Yeah, they I, I, back. Maybe he's just doing something real quick. Let's see it. I'm excited. Hell yeah. It's four to two. Co uh, short can definitely do it. But I Coplo's looking real strong all day. Only losing to Quasi, who uh, understandable. <laughs> Oh, he barely whiffs the overhead. Now, Coplo, I've actually seen... He doesn't use Greatsword as, as often as I would like, but I've actually seen him win, like, a, a 2 or a 3v1 Ooh. with it in in, in, in competitive matches. Yeah. I've seen him I, use uh, Greatsword in duels a couple times. We fought. He's a, he's a really fun uh, person to fight with Greatsword. He pulled out the Messer, the Falk's Messer. Oh, jeez. The long sword, you might call it. The long sword messer. If you squint. <laughs> it's like a backwards katana, looks like. That, <laughs> that, actually, that actually pretty much is. Yeah, it's literally what it is. <laughs> you could turn that around and it would be a katana. Apparently, and this is a, what some people tell me, is that that's really good at hitting armor because of the way it curves. Now, I can't prove that. That's just what I've been told. Yes, I am an armorer. I have been for many years. And I can oh, you know what it is? Oh. It's the way it curves in at the tip. So, like, because of the curve, it has, like, has more power affected at the tip when you swing it at somebody. So you, you hit the little edge of it at somebody's armor. I see. Something like that. Something. I'm sure a physics nerd could tell me, but I'm not I'm not a physics nerd. I'm not a nerd. I just watch knights in a video game swing swords at each other. They're the nerds. Ooh. Ooh. Dab comes out and it lands for short. Trading blows here, a lot of counters. Short fights uh, tend to and tend to evolve a lot of counter fighting. He, he, he. I don't know what it is about his presence in this playstyle, but it brings out the the counter fight in other Ooh. in other players. Ooh. Oh, what a 360! Did a, did, he, did, he did both sides of his of his 180 and got he two also, axles off. That he also just, picked up the, uh, the the other's Y hander. Yeah. <laughs> Almost symbolic. Yes. The changing of the guard. Excellent defense here from both players. I think one oh. of them should throw out a special. Yeah, absolutely. I think there needs to be something to get mixed up here. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to break the pattern here. Breaking the pattern is going to be important for winning this. Somebody needs to jab or throw Ooh, a kick. The that slash. was a good uh, axe Ooh, that, was, that was also really close. Yeah. Short almost got, got hit up. there. Yep. But he barely countered that as well. It's anybody's trading, game. Yeah, trading blows here. Both very low health. Both one hit away from dying here. Whoever finds the opening first is going to take this fight, and that's going to be tied up if four wins. Not only tied up, but match point. Can Coco stop the comeback here? Short threw out an attack cancel there, just desperate to make something happen, but Coco just did not flinch. Yeah, he is unflinching right now. He is reading everything as it comes to him, playing it very safely, just making sure he finds the opening, and he hasn't found it yet. So just waiting. Playing very smart. I can't imagine or the pressure going through both of them right now. Oh, I know. Ooh, that, was, just, that was scary. It's down to the wire. If, if, if Coplo wins this, he wins the set, and if Short wins this, he gets back to match point where it's anybody's game. They're both feeling the pressure right now. Somebody needs to throw something else, though. You're going too back, too too much back and forth countering. There's not enough jabs and kicks. Yeah, to, but to by now anything. I would definitely special. Mm -hmm. Special attack would have been helpful as well. Somebody's out of stamina. I think somebody's low. Can't tell who. If I had to guess, I think the I think the Messer would be landing a couple more excels, just because it's just that little bit faster. 
Incredible fight, though. This has gone on. Oh, wow. What an Axel. Great fight from these two. Now it's going to be match point between Short and Coplo here. Excellent showing from these two. I mean, an incredible display of skill. These guys are the tip top of the dueling crop. And uh, it does not get any better than this, guys. It really doesn't. Somebody, somebody said too risky. Now, I... Uh... I, I think a really good mix-up would be to, like, sort of delay my attacks a little bit and see if they're willing to wait and then go from there. Because if they're willing to wait, what I would do is I would parry and then just throw out a special and just see where that can go. Yeah, absolutely. All right, this is it. Match this point. This is it. All the marbles. Match point for this set here. Both these players have proven their, their medal, but only one can go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, an excellent Axel from Short Lands True. 50 damage. Chip, chip, chipping away. Another Axel for Hundred. short. Cope is under is uh, under half health. The momentum. The Zweihander. You can see Short is, is setting the tempo here. Cope is just reacting to it. I think... Yeah, uh, Coplo is low on stamina. I heard him I heard him breathing. You, you can see the way that he's being back... He's backstepping this whole fight. Short is pushing the envelope. He's, he's moving towards Coplo. Ooh, that... And Cope is backing away. But he's starting to retort a little bit here. This, this is starting to become a little more of an even fight. But he needs to land something to be able to get some momentum. Otherwise, he's, he's going to be in a bad spot. I was sure that Axel was going to land, as I was sure that was going to land as well. But these guys are on another level of, of defense. Oh, a great heavy overhead drag from Coplo. He barely misses oh, that 360. No. Oh, but they're both extremely low. They both have no and health. Back this to this. Oh, oh, and short lags at the very end. That is actually so. Oh bad. yeah, his internet sucks. I forgot. Is is he actually got? Oh, that's unfortunate. I I mean I. I a deserved win from Coplo. They both, these guys are both amazing fighters. Yeah, they both deserve it. Both deserved, but, but unfortunate that that's, that's the way that it ended. On to the next fight, though. Good show in short. You really tried your best, unfortunately. You know, internet is how it be. <laughs> the internet be like that sometimes. Next up is Shin versus Cope. This should also be a really good fight. I wonder if Cope is going to swap back to Longsword or keep with the Messer. He's fighting somebody in the stands right now. He should be getting ready for his fight. Let's actually check real quick. And look at this, reset look at that scoreboard. mustache on Shinbop. I know, it's actually so great. I love his hairstyle and his, his face paint and everything. <laughs> Shin always has really good fashion. He's always had some, yeah. some good fits. We're close. I think I think half of the power you derive from your character is dependent on how cool you look. So you gotta have a good fit to, to really bring it together. And it looks like he's gonna stick with the. Uh, no, he went to longsword. So we're gonna get a longsword fight here. First to five, Reset. still good to start. Whenever the round will be starting here shortly. Shinbop versus Cope Low. This, this certainly is a mug moment. <laughs> yeah, how's the mug, man? I mean, I'm not really a root beer guy, but I, I can enjoy it once in a while. I gotta remind myself to send you something that I that reminded me of that the second you mentioned mug. It's oh man, <laughs> you're gonna laugh later today. It's amazing what takes off as like a, like a meme. You ever just, yeah, like, right? like how did Mug Root Beer become a meme? It's Mug. I mean, I mean of course it is though. I mean, like just, just the, the mascot, the, the fact that it, it, it is Root Beer. Only a I certain kind of person drinks root beer, okay? I, I always, <laughs> I always did like this, 
I always did like the stupid mug root like dog yeah. when I was right, a child. Yeah. I was like, dude, that dog's so cool though. I, I want to drink that. There's a cool dog on that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we start off with the normal counter exchange that we've come to love. Come to know and love. Come to know and love in these tournaments. Uh, a long counter exchange. Are they? Are these the last play. three people? I Sorry to interrupt. So. Yeah, we, we, I mean, I'm gonna actually... Yeah, we're in losers semifinals. This goes to losers finals, and we have, so we actually have four matches, including this. Left. So how much? Are, who's who's left in the match, right now? Is it just like uh, Koplo, Cope, Shin, Shinbop, and Quasi? Quasi? And Bungie. So whoever, ah, Bungie's still in. Yeah, yeah. So whoever wins this fight is third place, and we'll get a hundred dollars no matter what. Yes, kill each other for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Kill, kill! That was a great stab there from Shin Bob. Shin Bob's eyeing that Franklin. Yeah, he wants that. He wants that Benjamin baby. Fight begins again. It's, it's out pretty. Tester stabs. Ooh. Ooh, what an excel. That's wild. Wow, that was wicked. That was wicked fast. Oh, yeah. For a I moment, I forgot, how, I forgot how unorthodox Shinbop is. Yeah, you have to remember, he's so unorthodox in his play style. Coplo can win a counter exchange, but can he win against uh, whatever the hell's going on with this guy? <laughs> oh, my lord. Ooh, Another axle. Shin is so quick. It's so hard to know when he's gonna throw a strike out. I wonder how he just—he's so like I don't know how he's so fast. It's just whip quick, you know. He's so good at axles with that long sword because he just knows how to contort his body to make the strike hit as early as the game will allow. And then maybe some. <laughs> I wonder what Bungie is going to use against Quasi for the the other finals. Yeah. Ooh, that was such a beautiful 360. I wish I would have land. I wish that would have landed. But that was great defense there from Cope. Uh, I wish anything would land. Ooh, a special. <laughs> great special, great jab right after they keep the pressure up. See, Shinbop is doing a lot of attacking the ground. That is one of the things he is known most for is resetting his recovery by attacking the ground. He'll throw stabs periodically just to keep you at range, and then if he doesn't think it's gonna land, he'll throw it to the ground immediately and throw now, that one at you. I don't know if you're if you're of the same opinion here. It feels like Shinbop is really dominant right now. Like they're both even, and they've both done a lot, like damage to each other. But it, I almost feel like Shinbop has the the forward momentum on this. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And Shinbop is really good at doing that. He keeps people on their back toes, and you can see it constantly. Again, it's like one of those rhythm things. Oh, he actually just got punished pretty hard there. And he now he tried. He tried to back. parry that. He, he yeah. realized the kick didn't land and tried to recover. But it was if you queue up the attack, it, it's sometimes just too slow. Yeah, yeah. Coplo found a little bit of an opening and was able to punish him. Oh, and there it is. Oh, Coplo and he, able to bring he, it back. He pushes. Yeah, absolutely. See that you can see that you can see the changing of the tempo right there. The whole time Shinbop was pushing forward, Coplo was on the back foot, he was constantly backstepping. Then at the very end, Coplo's able to find one hit and that allows him to take the tempo, take the momentum away and push and be able to take the kill. So extremely important to be able to recognize that and know when your opportunity is. That was a really good showing of that. I couldn't exactly tell you why, but for some reason, Duty and Honor has been playing for like the last like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's the best. I love <laughs> Duty and Honor. It's such a good song. Shouts out to JD Spears. Oh, you know what? It, you know what it probably is. It's probably that uh, Coplo's close to winning, so it's playing the like end game music. It is. Yeah, you're probably getting the end game stuff. Oh well. I have it playing right now too, just because it's on shuffle. <laughs> oh, so that was uh, how many wins was that? That's one to one. One to one. Damn, bro. <laughs> I thought you we already it. had like three wins at this point. Like. <laughs> no, we. This oh, is gonna wow. be a hurt early. ooh Coplo pushing in the aggression, oh, not letting not letting him do his fancy. But those oh my god, oh. see you put 
<laughs> you, see, you you push Shin though, and he's like he's able to just punish you for being aggressive with those really fast exhales. Yeah, don't corner a wild dog. That's like the kind of that's the kind of play style Shin has. Like you just do not want to try and do shit like that to him. But Coplo, like despite eating two quick exhales, just didn't even flinch. Like he just didn't care. He realized that he had the health to make one more trade. So he said. You know, I I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna go for it again, and, and he can't, he gambled on that, and it paid off. Longsword slash only does like 40 damage. I, I think yeah, it's exactly. it's pretty easy to forget about it since the stab and overhead do quite a bit. Right. But the slash really isn't that powerful. Yeah, you're you're never gonna go for a, a, a longsword slash intentionally to do damage. It's really just to mix up. I think it's it also easier to an excel a uh, a slash. Yeah, it, you don't have to worry about uh, aiming as much. What a 360 Ooh. that was. That was beautiful. Oh, wow. What an attack cancel. He gets he gets baited, Ooh, though. When he gets and a six, stab to overhead. And so he it's even six. again. Yeah, and now we're back to right to square one. But Shin is and really low now. Shin on the back foot here. But I don't think Shin would. He gets kicked yeah. and then he gets a stab off. Yeah, see oh, that. Oh, my lord. Shin I don't know if Shin... Help would fall for those. Oh my god! Oh my god, he- What?! Wow, we woo woo. Whoa! That was an incredibly good- Wow, I mean, he gets the stab off, and then he tries to go for another attack, he notices he's about to get gambled, and immediately blocks and reposts. I mean, that was lightning quick. I don't think I even had, I would have had the reaction speed to even think about. You would if you were on the adrenaline that these guys are on right now. Yeah, these guys are on another level today. This is literally a money match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whoever, whoever wins this, whoever wins this fight is third place will guaranteed at least have a hundred dollars. hundred bucks, hundred smackaroos. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Now they're two and two. This is gonna be a back and forth fight. I can already tell. God, those those excels. Yeah, like I, you he, can he, see he whips them. Yeah, you know, yeah, you. That's why it's so fast. You can watch the watch the post swing. Like after it connects with their their guard, you can see how far Shin has already moved his mouse. He's, yeah, he's already traveled to the left side of the screen. Like he's already done like almost 180 of a turn. That's how quick it is. He literally whips it across the screen. Again, there it is. I, oh, he almost did it again, but Cope read it. But there is a fundamental disadvantage to that sometimes. I don't know if Shinbot plays in third person, but you wow. do have to take your eyes off your opponent a bit to do that kind of stuff. I, I do believe that he plays in third. A third person would probably I, be a little bit better. I know sometimes he does play in first, yeah. but I, I think he plays in third for the most part. Coplo plays in first person. I know that for That's a fact. I, That's very cause, impressive. Because I had mentioned, like, like, he's insane if he's playing in first person, and he is. He is playing in first person. I mean, well, that's I mean, incredible. Well, I, I said he, it would be insane if he played him first when he was like won a 3v1 in a competitive match. Like, that's what I yeah. mean. Like, how yeah. does he even see what's happening? He just got eyes on the side of his head. He has game sense, bro. And that's the eyes, only eyes he needs is good game sense. Going back and forth on counters right now. Shin throws out a little Shin overhead to the ground so behind weird. him. so yeah. weird. He counters, moves back, hits the ground, and immediately does another option. Yeah. Wow! Oh, wow! We wow! Oh my God! That was incredible. He turns away, cues up another overhead, and then comes back after Cope has already missed because he's gotten outspaced. I mean, that's incredible footwork. Wow. Three that's ultra the wide monitors. <laughs> that's some of the best footwork I've seen today. That's definitely on my highlight list. I'm playing at a 196 by four resolution. <laughs> My aspect ratio is nuts, dude. <laughs> it's like uh, like getting sent into a hyperspace. Like that's the the <laughs> like getting pulled into a black hole. <laughs> Man, I love that combo that he does. He likes to go for a 360 uh, slash counter, and then he while his back is turned towards you, he goes and cues up the stab. It's it's honestly so hard to tell what's coming out. It's an incredibly good body feint. He counters and then brings it away to get stamina. You saw that? Yeah, it's it's wild. Here's the stab again. He goes for that stab. I, I love. Uh, he's that he gonna. Does yeah. That. Okay. So yeah, he keep, he keeps doing it. He he com he counters, 
hits the ground, and then brings and like, immediately queues up an attack. Yeah, and you can see he's doing that because he has low stamina. So he goes for the counter, immediately brings it behind him so he can get away and still get the stamina from the counter without having to engage in the fight. Oh my god. Incredible! Oh, that was a, that oh was a really good play. God. Coplo is no Shin at, Shin at match point right now. Yeah, Shin's at four with Cope at two. I know Coplo's got it in him, but he's got to he's got to keep his his head up on this. Yeah, he has to he has to adapt the way that Quasi adapted when he fought. Shin. This this is uh, this is almost like a it's almost like a movie. Like yeah. you've got like the guy who's like all fundamentals, and you've got the fucking wild maniac Mutt who's, yeah. who's just <laughs> he's got all, he's got all these like things. Yeah, he has a lot of utility utility in his in his uh the thing is about Shin that I love is that he uses every move in the arsenal. Wow. I I mean, I'm at a loss for words of that spin. That was beautiful. I don't know how they didn't take any damage there. Both of them blocked it somehow. I mean, you just have to respect that he knows every option and he knows how to use them all. Like he has so many tools that most people don't even think about. The attack cancels and the ground hits. Like, that's, you know, it's very the niche. miss, and he gets punished. Yeah, he does get punished for that miss. I think he was going to try and go for a, a jab, an intentional miss to jab, and then got punished for it. Now, look, I'm not actually a huge fan of, long, of like, longsword, longsword fights or messer, messer fights. But, this, but this, is, is, this is super entertaining. This is a whole different level. This is what you get when you come to the, the finale event with cash on the line. These guys play their hearts out. Cope does not want to give him the victory this easily. He wants to make him work for it. Shin's hurting on stamina, but he's using his uh, ground hit technique to, to make up for it a little bit. Trading blows here, trading blows, but nobody finding an opening yet. Shin, a little bit on the back foot. You can tell that Cope is kind of pushing his advantage, but he, he over pushes and misses an attack by over, over accelerating. Shin uh, punishes before it. Somebody's low stamina. I couldn't yeah, tell Shin. you who. It's always Shin. Because he's always doing a lot of attack cancels, but that's why he does those ground hits to get his counter back. Oh my god, what a good crouch that was. He still gets punished though. Coplo with the stamina advantage the whole fight, but Shin has a really good way of playing at low stamina and still keeping it like relatively safe. I think he kind of uses it to his advantage because he makes you think that he's going to get disarmed and you push him. And then you you get attacked by a crazy nut job attack. You know what I mean? I, I, there it is oh, again. Oh yeah! Wow. I mean, Coplo it's, it's played very well, but Shin absolutely earned the earned that win. Yeah, that was an extremely good fight. Coplo put up a really 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 strong uh, defense, but I think Shin just brought something to the table today that not not a lot of I don't think anybody else plays like him. And you There's know a lot what? Of players in this game that like just are very unique, and he's he's one of them. I don't think anybody's really emulated his play his play style to the, to the way that he has. And you know right. what? It makes me feel a little bit better that he beat me in the first trial by blood. <laughs> he's an amazing player, man. You can't yeah. you can't be faulted by that. I mean, I I did. I don't think he killed me with the pole axe. <laughs> So we're going to be first to but seven so. from now on. We're going to be heading okay. into, I believe this is the, Oh, Bungie, uh, please don't. <laughs> Bungie. Well, what's going on? I'll let you figure it out. Oh, hold on. Oh, the mall. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. Let me get my scoreboard up. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, he's... He's an animal. <laughs> he's dragging his fucking balls in the sand right now. <laughs> he's making little trails. <laughs> Here we go. Um, okay. No, not yet. <laughs> I was trying to make sure he wasn't going to do some crazy stuff. Here we go. I don't... I couldn't Round predict one. a more interesting finals. I mean, I guess Bungie's bringing home $100 either way. Yeah, that's true. Well, I, I don't even like, I, like I'm supposed to commentate, but I don't even want to talk right now. 
I wonder if he'll stick oh, with them all if things don't go so well. Go for the special, I fucking dare you. <laughs> Do it, you maniac. You won't, you won't. Will you will oh. it even have a chance to one hit and that's that's like forty percent of the health. It should probably be more, but hey, what do I know? What do I know, huh? I'm not a mall player. Bungie is an <laughs> everything player. Yeah, gotta respect those guys who, who like to use everything. That was probably my favorite part uh, of, of Chivalry's launch was it was that challenge I made to myself to get every weapon to level 15. Like, it, it, it felt good getting to the end of that and being like, ah, I've used everything, I know what everything feels like, and now I'm gonna use the great sword for the rest of my time. Oh, Jesus, that messer. Yeah, messer. Quick. Very quick. So that's gonna be round one going to Quasi. You stick with it, he's going Halberd. A man after my own heart. Let's see it. I I think I think Halberd has a bit better of a chance against this. Yeah, he could but, use the range here, but the Messer, but, again, we talked about this earlier, it's got such range already that it's like kind of yeah. a nullified advantage. I talked about how Halberd feels like you can out outrange a longsword. I never oh. felt like the, the Messer was something I could consistently outrange. Yeah, absolutely. That was a crazy it, little exchange right there. You saw, like, Quasi missed an opportunity for a counter, dodged to reset his counter, and then was able to get it. And then Bungie... Uh, missed his own and dodged. He didn't get to counter, but he was able to just get out of the way to footwork and get out of that strike. It was a nice little exchange. Kick comes out, does not land. Now, I have... I love Quasi. But I am fully rooting for Bungie on, on this whole thing. I can't lie. I can't lie at all. <laughs> Very impartial of you. <laughs> well, Qua Quasi's been playing Messer the whole time, and I would love to see somebody wild get something, uh, but unfortunate. The Excellent Messer drag just takes it again. Messer drag is Messer drag, but Quasi's an excellent player. I'm sure if he picked up another weapon, it would be relatively the same outcome. Here comes the Highland Sword from Bungie, though. I'm excited to see how this fares against the Messer. I think this is a better option. This is a much better option. I feel like this is doable. Wait, did Bungie already? No, yeah, but no, they they made him. They made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. they fixed. Bungie going out the gate with a quick Axel slash. Quasi's quest to become the ultimate champion. Oh man, he tries to go for the gamble, but Messer is just a little faster. Highland Sword can make this happen. I know it can. It certainly can. It's a great weapon. It just needs to... Oh, man. I was. I thought that that might land, but no. Ooh. Good splash Big there. damage. He's going to go for a ground hit. Oh, but he gets Ooh. foot dragged. He misses his counter because he's a little too far back. Does not get the parry box. Doesn't hit it at all. And then gets punished. Remember, this is uh, first to seven, everybody. Yes, this is going to be a longer set of fights. We are in the finals more, now more time for a comeback more time to adapt absolutely we're in winner's final right now as soon as whoever loses this goes to fight shin in losers finals whoever loses that fight is in third and then the two of them will go to fight in grand but i misspoke earlier about shin uh, having hundred dollars guaranteed wait what my because I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, whoever loses this goes to losers finals, fights Shin, and that'll be the last three people. I 
I well, yeah, Shin, Shin, yeah, the, the lowest Shin can come in, though, is third place. Oh, man, the pressure. I guess that's true. So I was right. <laughs> yeah. Bungie could get $100 if if he loses to Shin. That's right. Assuming he loses this fight. But I, right. I believe in Bungie. It's not over till it's over. He's got three more rounds, too. This is not going to be immediately a, a loss here if he loses this next round. Uh, he's weapon swapping a lot. And uh, plus he's pretty good. He knows how to read most weapons. So I, this isn't going to be a huge problem for him. But I, I do think it's good to, to be able to mix it up a little bit. The the, um, the battle axe can compete with the messer on stamina, yeah. At the very least, you're not at dis yeah. a disadvantage that way. The the range certainly not, but the damage is actually going to be much better as well. That's good drags too I, for what it I is. I think the I think the messer is as good against vanguard as the battle axe is against knight. I don't think it's yeah, I don't think it's it can be a two hit kill. better. Yeah, I, I think it's a two hit kill for both of them. One of them has a little bit less range, or a lot less range, I should say. Oh, oh. big Unfortunate. Get him with the head. Get him. Get him. Yeah, get him with the head. Kick his oh, ass. Right away. <laughs> if, if Quasi would have been low health there, that actually might have been a win for Bungie off the, <laughs> the headbutt kill. That would have he he wasn't low enough health to make that happen. No, I know, but imagine. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Bungie switches to default. <laughs> oh, oh man, the nerve! He like, default well, mastered knife. How the hell am I gonna watch kid? this? <laughs> That's so All right, funny, <laughs> bro. Well, now what? Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll, I guess I'll just have to. Oh shit! I got it mixed up. All right. <laughs> right click on one of them and it'll uh, lock to them. I <laughs> should I? It'll show you their name so you know who's who. I'm watching Bungie. Oh, oh a big, Quasi's big not falling for it. Quasi. Quasi's at six. He's got match point here. Bungie's got to take seven rounds in a row to win this. I know Bungie's good enough to do it. But I think but I think Bungie's been. Be I, I think Bungie might be shooting the shit a little bit too much. Yeah, he's also doing a little bit too many too many swaps and then fucking around. Great sword it is. Great sword. Here we go. Back to the basics. Bungie, probably one of the few people I could say is better at great sword than I am. <laughs> the other one might be Colin, but I haven't fought Colin in uh, like eight months. So what? That was a I, drag. I can't. He landed one. I don't Colin's know. Colin's really good still. Colin's one of those players that like comes out of the out of the blue nowhere, hasn't played in three months, and is still gonna kick your ass. He's just <laughs> he's on another level too. Love fighting Colin. He won my second duel of the bandits. Yeah, Adrian still again. plays Red Skull. <laughs> In fact, he was supposed to enter this tournament, but he uh, he showed up three hours late because he thought it was at six instead of three. That's what prompted this, honestly. Started all this shit. Trading blows here. Nobody wants to give the other an easy kill. Ooh, Ooh. But Bungie Quasi, go Quasi actually oh. went for a gamble there. Quasi. He got punished. Quasi does like to initiative steal and gamble. He, he, he usually finds an opening for it when it's relatively safe, but sometimes sometimes he makes the mistake. But it's very rare. He won't do it again I, in this fight. I feel like it's those prods, though, that make him super dangerous because, like, you can't just play the defense game the whole time. Yeah. He will find the opening. Yeah. I, 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 that's, why I, that's why I think he's one of the best players is, is he has very strong fundamentals and he can play that defense game the whole time, but when he wants to and he sees the opportunity and he knows, he, he usually can tell when the tempo of the fight will allow him to get that in, he'll, he'll send it out and he'll usually land it. That makes him very dangerous. A risk taker, but calculated. Calculated risk. Controlled risk. Oh, 
Oh, another stab, but Quasi is extremely the, low. He's probably the jab. damage. I think I think Quasi's jab kill away. But I I I almost wouldn't even want to try. Oh no! Oh man, he's gonna go for it now. Oh, but he what? Dis disarmed with a jab. I'm gonna be what? honest. I, I can't believe it. Ah, wow! I that's such seen bad luck. from a jab and. That's the first time I've seen it in a tournament setting. That's insane. Wow. I don't think it should ever happen, but it happened. It does damage, you know? It's You had low enough stamina to block that low. That's it. That's insane. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Good fights from Bungie. Good effort. Quasi remaining dominant. Showing that he's now, still, the, still the top dog in the Trial by Blood tournaments. Uh, he's, he's, he's gunning for a second win. Bungie versus Shin. Go. Kuma Sagan and Shinbop look exactly the same, and I love it. All Somebody right, so asked Shinbop. how much stamina damage that does. Now, doing the math, it's ten damage. It it does ten damage. It does three stamina damage. First to seven. Here we go. Again, now this. The loser of this fight gets $100 guaranteed. The winner of this fight gets th gets $300 guaranteed. Whoever wins I, this fight is guaranteed going to be in second place. I just had a word from QC. I just hope everything is going well with him. He's all right? Yeah, he's a, he's all right. All he said he, he said he's happy with how he performed and he hoped the the rest of the tournament goes well but he had something come up and he just again. couldn't continue that's you know life happens man sometimes life takes I mean, life always takes priority that's totally okay hopefully we see you again buddy Here we go. The fight's now this is a, now this is an interesting fight. I don't think I've seen this one. Bull axe versus Highland sword. <laughs> oh Jesus! Wow, my lord. Oh, but Shin says not, not, not yet, buddy. Now this is a fight for one Benjamin Franklin or three Benjamin Franklins. That's that's three times. One. Oh my God! What a drag! That was disgusting. I'm fine, Prince. Ooh, I can't exactly on, chat right now because I'm, you know, commentating. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> she keeps killing Cody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop killing Cody, Bungie. Bungie, you so fucking bastard. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the the match is going. Wait, hold on, is it? Oh no, never mind. Nah, it's fine. Somebody was telling me to reach out the match because of the uh, the 35 cap, but uh, they don't know what they're talking about because Copelo is no. not in it anymore. No, yeah, we're good. D yeah. Daddy Warrior is not. We're fine. He says skill issue on top killing Cody. <laughs> <laughs> so toxic. I know, poor Cody. <laughs> What's going Defend on right yourself now? at all times. <laughs> I want a clean fight. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. Yeah, Coplo is uh, out. 
All right, there, there we go. There we go. I love you, big sword. Aw. Uh, oh, and he <laughs> avoids the punish. Yeah, that was crazy that he was able to footwork out of that. Oh, another good footwork uh, dodge there. But he gets uh, Axel somehow. I think he dropped his guard at the last second. I saw him blocking, so. Oh, wow, the double <laughs> slash Axel from the Highlander sword. That is insane. Oh, but he gets hit. Quick, quick slash. Whip fast. He's gonna he's gonna get throwing knife here. Did he Shin's just attack cancel throwing knife? He did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say Ooh, you can he can do that and that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately executed yeah, by an overhead axel. That's pretty nasty. Those attack cancels on the throwing knives are disgusting. I used to do that a ton as an ambusher. It would catch people so many times. Well, the really problem good. is it actually does quite a bit of uh, like throwing stamina damage. And it's like. Uh, if you try to counter it, they can punish you by, like, you know, mixing up the timing. So you have to parry it, and that does eat up your stamina. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the, knee, the knee jab. I love the, the... My favorite parts of duels are the parts where... Oh, oh my god! Famous. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> that was an incredible jab. Oh man, Highlander, it's insane. He needs to be careful with his stamina. He's about to get out stamps. Oh wow, the stab on the Highlander hits. Oh, he's going for another kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, the kick kill, tragedy. That's gonna be three to Bungie. Three. Three zero. And he's gonna run up and uh, kill Cody when kill he's not Cody looking. Cody again. <laughs> Why is he bullying Cody? <laughs> he's really bullying Cody. Stop bullying Cody, Bungie. Absolutely. Wait a sec. Shinbob switches to Ambusher. Oh yes! Oh, I can't wait to see this. And he's got the I've good never... skin. Yeah, this is great. Oh, fuck, I love this. Highlander versus Ambusher. I don't know if this is the best matchup for, for Ambusher. It could be. It depends on how you play it, but you have to counter everything or you're going to fucking die. The second you try and repost this thing, you're dead. But look at that stab. But he did. so quick. But he, there it is. But he did. He did repost that. You, you got one repost. You would have been out of stamina one more after that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what that's happens crazy. when one hit does, uh, what is that, like, three like bits of damage. somebody's stamina bar? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of stamina. So Chin's taking a round as an ambusher. I think that was enough to, to change up the change up the fight to make it uh, a little too confusing for Bungie. And what I want to see him doing now is, is, is pulling out uh, his throwing knives and uh, being able to, like, dive into range. And then dive out when he when when Bungie commits to an attack to, to hit him with the throwing knife. That's Ooh, the, the special misses. The special misses, yeah. Or rather, Bungie that. dodges it, whichever yeah. you prefer. Ooh, another quick. Problem with the dagger is that the slash is very poor damage. Dude, but, that's I mean, a hot he's doing a lot 30 of damage. To, to a to to a Vanguard, that's a lot of damage. Oh, he is really putting the pressure and on the Bungie. Throw. And he gets him with the throwing knife. Yeah, the second he committed to that attack, he was dead. He can't do that from that far away with that low health against an ambusher. That that is an instant death. Sure. I didn't expect this. I am I am all here for it though. I am this super is, this here. This really for this is ambusher. a mug moment. Uh, <laughs> switches uh, to spear. Mug moment. Oh, so he switches to spear. And Shin switches as well. What is what is Shin? Shin gonna do? Now, let's see. Bungie actually. Uh, there's a lot of disgusting tech with the spear that I don't think everybody knows about. Oh, it looks like he swapped back to Longsword. And then... Bungie also switches, and then Shin Buff also... All right. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right.
All right, Bungie has gone quasi. What about Shinbop? Where's Shinbop? Where'd he go? Shinbop has gone long. Counter pick again? You're going to jail. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't even be allowed. You shouldn't be. Well, I I think I think switching is fine, but you can't just like counter pick over and over again. Cause you can't just do that over and over again. All right, here uh, Shinbop is fighting Quasi Light. <laughs> I can't believe Quasi gets to play in the Losers Finals and the Grand Finals. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean... Oh, Shin Bop, oh, you Shin. dirty, dirty dog. <laughs> Just... <laughs> diet. Disgusting, man. Diet, diet Quasi. Quasi, that's what I was saying. Quasi light. <laughs> All right, we're back to Highland Sword. Zero sugar. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if I was Bungie, I would just stick with the Highland Sword. Even, you know, yeah. you can still take an Ambusher. You just have to do it right. Yeah. You can counter all those throws. That, that that's a good way to get to close distance and get stamina back. It's pretty easy to counter projectiles once once you figure out the timing for it. You have to be wary of Shinbop though because he likes to delay his throw. So if you counter too early, he could catch you and attack and beat and kill you or, or hurt you pretty bad. Oh, he's, he's man. You, man, just those animals. wild feints. Yeah. Like he, I, what he, would I, he, what would I do against that? I don't know. Yeah. That's There's scary. There's no way to read him. That's the problem. Is like you have. Are you okay? We may have lost Beard. Uh, Beard Beard may have died. That's so annoying. I can hear you, but I can't talk. Oh, there you go. You're back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Now I okay, can. Okay, because I could hear you the whole time, and I, my stream died, so... If you guys are here, make sure you guys use the multi-stream. It should be a command, exclaim multi-stream. Uh, you guys pull up Ziggy's stream just in case while I'm down. We should be back up here shortly then. Apologize for that. It ain't your fault. Well, same same thing with Short. It's not his fault his internet sucks. Yeah. It always happens towards the end too. <laughs> when it gets good. Yeah. Who do you have, Comcast? Uh, no, I have an even worse, like, shadier, like, small company. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop streaming and just restart it. Don't worry. It's okay. Ooh, man, Shinbob does not ease up at all. Hey, let me... Shinbop does not ease up at all, man. Like, like the pressure he's putting on. Bungie going spear versus. I think we're back. All right, the sweet. long sword. There Welcome we go. back. What's 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 the score at right now? Uh, four four. Okay, beautiful. Bungie swapped to spear. Bungie Spear is really gross. I wonder I wonder how he's gonna do though. Cause Shinbop is not going to make it easy to do all of his tricks. Yeah. He knows the cheese. He knows that stuff. Like he plays with it, so. Oh my god, what a 360. That was e well, insane. Even if, even if he doesn't know the cheese, because he may not know all of Bungie's stuff. It's not like Bungie's not gonna be able to do that stuff against somebody who's as wiggly and as unpredictable as yeah. Shinbop is. <laughs> Shinbop is a cheese connoisseur, my friend. <laughs> oh my goodness. He avoids the kick. Goes for another kick. Again. Avoids that one, too. Why did he go for two kicks? Now he's because, so low. Because Bungie was crazy. at kick health, I, I believe. Oh, is, is he? Or at least close enough. Mm, not anymore. Yeah, I don't oh. think he could have regen. It's close. There oh, it is. No, I he was, he was. Kick health. Yeah. I guess I, 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 it didn't. I must have had Shinbop's health bar. 
No, I, I looked. It looked like Bungie had more it, health, it, but it didn't it, the first time arms. I looked. That's because maybe it was just a bug. Weird. Hey, you know, th this game, unpredictable. Things happen. Unpredictable, like Shinbop himself. This is a really good fight. No, absolutely. Oh my goodness, Shinbop. Those feints are disgust. He's dominating him right now. I know Bungie's got it in him, but he's got to, like, get his bearings. Oh, that stab Ooh, combo was disgusting. 55 damage light stab. That, I think that does, like, 70-something damage. No, it does 68 damage to a knight per light stab. Oh, oh. that's it. No, Not it yet. One more. one more, one more. If, uh, if, if Shin wins, it's one more. I should say. It's six to four. One just got to lead with his best foot forward. He went glaive. All right, this is not his best foot forward. Uh, but God bless him. <laughs> Shinbop correcting in the chat. I, lo I love I love Shinbop's brand of of, of gamer toxicity because it's not he's not toxic, but he likes to <laughs> he likes to pretend like he is. <laughs> oh, that was a great in the head too. Oh. That's gonna do a lot more damage. Yeah, I think that's like sixty Ooh. damage. It's like. Uh, with the buff, it might be more, you're right. Because I remember it used to be like 50-something. He's already low health or low stamina. That was a great God, block from Bob. God, Shinbop, dude. Oh, but he's out of stamina. Oh, he's he... going to punish the glaive. Oh, it's not two over. hits with the glaive. That's like, that's oh. like one Messer hit. Wow. <laughs> that's like one Messer hit. <laughs> well, you can get two glaive hits in the span of one Messer hit. <laughs> that was beautiful. 5-6 now. Bungie could easily tie this up and make this match point. And again, guys, for anybody who's just tuning in now or uh, did not know, this is the Losers Grand Finals. Whoever wins this match goes to fight Quasi for the Grand Finals. And whoever wins this match, guaranteed, already gets 300 smackaroos. Whoever now loses this fight gets 100. Now, what's important to know, uh, and I don't want to stress out anybody. I don't think they're listening to me, so they might not get stressed out. You have to win against Quasi twice. Because uh, yeah. if you win against Quasi, Quasi gets sent to the loser's bracket. And then you have to fight him again. Yeah. So you'd have to win against Quasi 14 times. Yep. Lot of, uh, good lot luck. Wins. Good luck against, yeah, good luck against fighting Quasi that, that many times. Cryptic Ooh. brought it to that level Bungie. last time, and it was so close that Bungie. it happened again. So so low. All 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 Shinbop has to do is trade. One one throwing knife is gonna be enough to kill him. One Gia oh there it is. Oh and the Excel is so that was fast. A smart Axel. He was expecting a kick or a jab or a or, or a throwing knife and he just went for an attack. Bungie well takes home a hundred dollars, did a fantastic job. He he played great. He did, he did absolutely but I also, a great show. I also, th I feel like he wasn't taking it very seriously, up until the like the very last bit. Well, he'll be taking. Uh, I guess you know he, home pretty seriously. Yeah, he's taking he's taking a hundred, so he still did fantastic. There it is. Yeah, Shin avenged Cody. <laughs> See that? Yeah, that's why he lost because he he attacked Cody. Shouldn't have done it. And now, the big one. Oh, yeah. Can, can Shinbob beat Quasi 14 times? Quasi needs to beat... All right, so here, here's how it works for anybody who isn't aware. Shinbop is in losers. Quasi is in, is in winners. If Quasi beats Shinbop, that's it. But if Shinbop beats Quasi, Quasi gets sent to losers and they have to fight again. That is how it is. is this so Shinbop has to win marbles? two sets. If Shinbop wins here, he goes to another set here. If Quasi wins, that is the end of the tournament and he will be crowned Trial by Blood 2 victor and champion. And after already taking home the first one, I think that would be a very... Very strong statement. Uh, yeah, very strong statement for the skill level of, of that individual player. 
Shinbop uh, trading a little uh, bit here. Doing a nice job, but also taking a bit too much damage too. Oh my god, the spin what? spin <laughs> stab was amazing. I love never, it. Never never lose it. Up. Yeah, never stop doing that. It looks so great. Oh, what a great jab cancel. And he kills him for the first round of that set. Wow, excellent a strong job, start. Shinbop. That's a great start for him. That's going to be great for his morale. In the first trial by blood, uh, it came down to Cryptic, who was actually entered into this tournament, but he had to. He, he, dis he was disqualified. He didn't show up. Maybe he had something to do. And uh, Quasi. And Cryptic actually won the first set and had a reset, but then Quasi took it back in the second set. Yeah, it was, a, it was an insane event, and I was so mad because my internet connection drops. <laughs> It was so tragic. But, man, those, those fights were insane. This really is a mug moment, man. Absolutely. What an Axel. Wow. He's, he could have punished Quasi there. Wild. He did, he did, though. I think Quasi is confused. He's wild. He's a wild man. He's a barbarian. He almost got the gamble, <laughs> but he didn't Christ. get it. Yeah, I mean, he's a whirlwind of... Whoa. Jesus Christ! How did he land that? Where did that even land? I think I think, I think, think Quasi turned a little bit, and that went around his parry. Insane. Shin with two wins here. I don't Can know how long... I, I don't know how long Quasi's going to fall for this, though. Yeah, yeah, he's going to adapt again. This is one of those things. We, we get we get Shin Bop, and he is, uh, he fought... Uh, who did he, did he, did he... Didn't he fight Quasi earlier? I don't... Or was that yes. somebody else? Maybe? He did, and... I think, and I, I think what, yeah, I think Quasi sent him to losers. So that's, that's kind of a, uh, you know, he already knows how to fight against, oh my God, he's going to let him do it though. <laughs> oh, All right. Wow. That was, that was like an EU player. That was, that was dastardly. That, that was that's an some, EU play. That's, that's oh like something God. Guru would do, but it's, it's, oh my it's God. working. He's, he's got it's, the he's momentum. It, though. He really, he really does have the momentum. I think he's putting the pressure on Quasi. Yeah, literally somebody said something about cool. axling like Homer right now. <laughs> literally, exactly like Homer. Some EU plays. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I don't know why. That was a really limp-looking overhead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just like, whatever. Whatever, bro. You're fucking dead. Excellent job. Guy, guy's doing backflips on cartwheels, and Quasi walks forward and just whack. shaws him. <laughs> whack. <laughs> can't believe this the confidence you need to have wow yeah to play against the like arguably the best chivalry 2 player just just based off or, of tournament wins you know or like, at least the best insane. duelist yeah for sure yeah. for sure like just fighting the best duelist in a duel tournament and just going like a maniac yeah oh but quasi yeah, is just not having it this one yeah. Quasi, Quasi is, is going for a very basic playstyle right now just to stop that shit from happening. He's just throwing out stabs, he's throwing out axles. That's all he needs to do to really like play effectively against the kind of playstyle. Well, like my, welding teacher, yeah. like my welding teacher once said, keep it simple, stupid. Yep, there you go. Basics. Brilliance in the basics is always the way to, or almost always, the way to victory in these kind of fights. But Jinbop also has those fundamentals down. He just likes to throw in some flares. We'll see if he adapts his playstyle a little bit or if he keeps going for wild stuff. It seemed to be working for a while, but he may need to... Uh, You're well there. I was. Adjust. I was. Yes, I was. The cheese kind of sore, indeed. Now, if I was Shinbop, Ooh. I would... That toe drag should have landed, I feel Again, like. Again, I'm, I'm not any of these people. These people could beat me. <laughs> but I would... But I would, like, try and mix up, like, my wild stuff and less, like, normal, basic, fundamental robot stuff. Yeah, I, I agree. Ooh, well, he's, he's doing a pretty good job of that now. Oh, he got jabbed. I was surprised. I, I thought that Axel was going to land. Oh, nice. Ooh, what a, what drag a swing. There. Yeah. Oh! He's got the pressure, though. Mm -hmm. Quasi knows he's low stamina. 
Yeah. But that kick, but even though it doesn't break his guard, yeah, it makes space. It makes space. I love the kicks for that, just for that reason. Jab again. He cancels Did the jab. jab collide? Good the stab from Shinbao. stab, and he just yeah. backs up and starts hitting the ground. You know what I realized? When he backs up like that and hits the ground, unless the person like fully commits to chasing him, he can react to whatever the other person does. Oh, oh. he goes a little bit too hard on the trying to go for a strike. I think he gambled and got killed. Or maybe he missed his counter window. It was a little quick. Those stabs from the Messer are, are always fast. Quasi it's a three, tough, Shin Bop tough fight. Very tough fight. Shin Bop has to win five rounds here. Quasi only needs to win four. And uh, Qua now Oshino, this Shin Bop has to win a lot is more unexpected. Oh, a battle axe. I Have I ever I seen him use a battle axe? I've seen him use a battle axe one time. One time. He doesn't even have a skin on it. <laughs> he doesn't even have a skin on it. That's what you know. What? A 360 drag! Uh, and Unbelievable! It... Okay! Sure. Oh, oh, and that... I feel like he should have landed that. And he got that one, though. He may have hit the ground before wow. he hit the Wow! What a fate I, from Shin Bob. What a fucking weapon selection that just immediately... Wow. Yeah, okay. Okay, Shin Bob. Okay, we see you, buddy. We see you. Damn, shawty. Okay. Now. It, t it takes quasi a death or two to adapt to, to stuff like this, but we'll see what happens now. What is he going to do this life? This fight? He's the people's champion. Yo, it's tied up again. Another He's an animal. Axel. He lands it. That's going to put Quasi at just over half health. I mean, the battle axe is so... Wow, they both miss each other, but no Quasi is able to combo. It does uh, 68 damage on a slash, I believe. Yeah. See how often Shinbop is out of health or out of uh, stamina. It's insane, but he's so good at playing to that. I was talking about it earlier. Like he almost intentionally, because he throws out so many wild strikes and so many counters and uh, not counters, but uh, but uh, feints and, and attack cancels. He's almost always out of stamina, but he kind of uses that to his advantage because he uses those ground hits, those counters to get away and make some space and get stamina back. And it feels like he's kind of almost baiting people into thinking that they can beat him with that oh, low stamina. The jump but away. Yeah, he does get jumped. Quasi's a big fan of, uh, I, whenever I fight him, I, I like to go for the double overhead uh, drag, you know, with the Highland Sword or whatever weapon it is. Whenever that happens, he likes to do the jump, but the jump makes it just enough that the swing goes right underneath his legs. And he's very good at that. He's very good at finding that spacing and making that work. And he'll counter with his own overhead and instantly decap you. He swaps to War Axe. Shinbop keeping it wild. Oh, if he would have went for a regular he a regular Axel, he would not have uh, gotten there. Yeah. He got gambled. That kind of stuff just happens, though. That's what I was you know, telling you, man. Quasi knows when to throw out the Axel gamble. I mean, he threw it out at the perfect time there. What will Shinbop do next? He swaps to heavy mace. He, he's he's just making it. He's a wild he's man. Keeping he's it making it up as tricky. he goes, man. He's making it up as he goes. I love the heavy mace, though. I think it's a great weapon. It's odd. It, I it don't. I don't think it's that bad for this, but it's got the same thing as like other weapons that are blunt, where it just doesn't have the best stamina damage. Yeah. He's well, already out of stamina. Yeah, he's already out of stamina, and he's already got no health. Quasi just needs to win two rounds here to take the whole tournament. Oh. Oh. Just one more round. If Shinbomb does not take this and turn this around to make it another set, Quasi will become Trial by Blood 2 champion and Trial by Blood 1 champion, which is going to be an amazing feat in and of itself. Longsword, sword, and throwing knives. This is it. This is for all the marbles. 
quickly swap your armor to shin. To Somebody said you. shin tilted. Uh, I don't know if that 360 would be done by anybody who is tilted. <laughs> when he gets tilted, he just does crazier stuff. Oh, that was a oh. great heavy overhead dragon with the sword. Oh my god, he did it again in the 360! He's Keeping not ready it up. to give up yet. He's not ready to give up yet. Oh, but he gets baited. Will Shin Come be on, able Shin. to finish? Uh-oh, he gets jabbed again. How low is Quasi? Let's see. Quasi is, is kick health. Oh my god, what a crouch! But I, I, I Quasi knows that. Yeah, and Quasi knows, knows it though. That could be yeah. that could be the death of Shin if he just goes for like a lazy kick. Oh my God, he could have killed him there. He got footworks. A jab that did, that connected and didn't kill Quasi. It, Quasi was there just a buck. There we go. There's the. Quasi. It's not over yet. Ew. Can can Shin Bob do it? Can he bring it back far enough to be able to move to the next sets and give himself and another chance? And it, for anybody who's not aware with how tournaments work, if Shin did somehow make it to, to seven first, that would reset all of Quasi's wins because that would be a new, like, match. Yep. This is insane. Get hype in the chat, guys. Here we go. The 360 knife attack cancel. <laughs> He's got knives? crazy energy still, I though, so. laughing in the face of Quasi. Getting an Axel attack off immediately after just taking damage. Unbreakable spirit. Unbreakable morale. Another he's, quick Axel. He's, he's insane. He's making it happen. Oh, he did it again. Shin Bop. Shin Bop. Shin Bop has to win two more fights to reset this set. If Quasi no matter, does not kill this guy. No matter what happens, his, his spirit unbreakable. Unbreakable spirit. Will it be ended here? Or will Quasi finish? Or will or Shin Bop be able to continue this fight? Shinbop harassing the ref. Yeah. <laughs> Going for some wild attack cancels, trying to get Quasi to bait out an attack so we can throw a throwing knife out. Gets another Ooh. man. These 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 sword attacks he's got are stab. doing some really really Sneaks big in. uh, interrupts here. I think the messer stab and sword slash do the same damage. Yeah, it seems to be around the same. Quasi, or Sh Shimbop didn't go for a, a, a counter there, interestingly. Just went for a straight up block and no repost. That spin stab! Shin he throwing. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, throwing those knives. <laughs> he hit Bungie with it. I think he went to hit Bungie too. <laughs> Quasi not falling for those. Oh Ooh. man, they both were just out of range. Incredible! Oh, he got. I mean, he got Axel quickly there. Came up it's to be more not careful. over. What a jab, though! Come on, oh, Shin! Oh my lord! He's Shin, just out of range of stamina. Everybody, put your hearts together. <laughs> he needs your energy to make this tournament go on another 15 minutes <laughs> longer. <a> <laughs> <laughs> you have to commend his indomitable spirit. He's already won. He survives hours. another one. Oh man, I don't know how he's alive right now. Well, the master stab doesn't do a ton of damage. It's just really yeah, easy to hit with. Really quick. Oh man, he was able to barely re re like block and repost that. No! Oh. <laughs> and there it is! We have our winner! Quasi takes it home again, proving he is the best duelist on Chivalry 2 in the North American region, and dare say, everywhere else. Two in a row, I Good. think, is a very, very, very dominant exposure of how Quasi is so good at this game, and congratulations to him, congratulations to Shin, congratulations to Bungie, all of our cash prize winners. You guys are all fantastic, you put on an amazing show, and I have never been more entertained by fights than we have today. I think uh, a lot of people here gave Quasi a run for his money, but ultimately he is just indomitable. Like he's, he is he's insane an, on another level. I mean, it just it gets proven again and again, and he's just one of the best players in this game, and, and rightfully so.
rightfully so. But let uh, Shinbop probably had one of the more impressive showings I've ever seen. Like he, like, oh, the way yeah. that he could like get put into into like a six, like what was it, six two, six three, and he just yeah. did not give up. He didn't stop any of his antics. He just kept it going. And he that's almost the, came back doing it the whole yeah. time, which is just is. It was not only was it just in, incredibly entertaining, but an, an incredible show of skill from from Shin to be able to do that in a, in, in, a, in a real tournament with money on the line against our, you know arguably the best duelist in the game that we've seen so far. It's an incredible testament to his skill as well. So I mean, I may, I mean an, an amazing show from all the other fighters, not only just our top three as well. Just wow. I mean, I, I, I had a, I had a blast casting with you with uh, you know casting this with you as well, Ziggy. So. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for doing this with me always. We, you know, I'd be glad to do it again. Uh huh. Yeah, this was <laughs> nice. Oh, it was pretty nice. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to all the tournament ground staff. You guys are awesome. You know, thank you guys for putting this event together and letting us cast it and letting us host it. You know, we have so much fun putting these events together and watching all these awesome community members uh, duke it out for uh, for some really fun stakes. And again, thank you to. Thank you to oh, like oh this amazing game and uh, hosting this and allowing us to uh, you know do this without having any interruptions with your awesome mod team. So thank you guys so much. We really really appreciate it. Yeah, and, thank uh, you Torn <laughs> Banner. Thank you Torn Banner's moderators. Appreciate it. Make sure that uh, we're gonna go ahead and post a Discord link in chat again real quick, guys. If you guys want to be involved with the next events, the best place to do that is on the tournament grounds. Discord, the Trial by Blood Discord. Make sure you join that. It's the best place to stay updated with this kind of stuff. And if you want to participate yourself, oh. that's the place to go. <laughs> We're in double speed now. <laughs> well, I have to get into this now. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> this was, this hey, was really nice. Uh, that was awesome. Do you want to go ahead and uh, find somebody to rage again? What do you think? The tradition of our Trial by Blood tournaments. Rate right, right, somebody from the community playing Chivalry 2. Uh, one of my friends just started streaming Shiv 2. He, I mean, he's been around, but uh, that would be Doombringer. Sure, Doombringer absolutely. Four, Four six, five. Maybe. I don't even know how. I don't even know how good his stream is right now. But, but whatever, he's, he better figure it out right now. He better figure it out right now. He's about to get 100 plus people. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, Alrighty. for sticking around. If you enjoyed, make sure to follow me and Beard. We'll be doing all sorts of nice stuff. All sorts of stuff, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, uh, guys. Before you go, 